Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and I hope you're doing great. And welcome to one of the biggest... Actually, it is the biggest event of this year so far. It is called Cross the Pond. So we're going to be crossing the pond. And, and in this case, we're actually going to be crossing the pond partially. <laughs> and I'll explain that in a second. So look at that. We've got so, some good amount of folks here. All right, so we've got Ben here. Ben says Heathrow Atis says, welcome to CTP. All right, so Ethan says I'm back. And yes, uh, Ethan, good to see you. So you're the 7 8 behind me? All right, excellent. Ethan, good morning. Denise, hello, Joshua. Hello, you're Air Canada 8220 sound behind your gate 46. Excellent. Departure 1601 Zulu. Awesome. So if we'll have enough time, we actually could watch you land. So hopefully, if we're going to get, uh, you know, some, some delays, <laughs> then we'll, we'll watch you land then. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the flows real quick. Let's start setting up. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, we're going to we're going to try to test out the the pack X once again. If it doesn't work, we're going to fall back to the to the regular uh, <laughs> regular announcements. So let's just go ahead and uh, get start the flight. So let's go ahead and get the sim brief, and so let's hit next next, and we're going to do the custom safety brief. I have I have a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna do the Air Canada, so let's let's do that. All right, so can you guys let me know? Do you hear the passengers kind of chatting? A little bit, like a little bit. Jacob, hello, Oleg. How's it going? All right, welcome to the biggest. Once again, the biggest event is gonna be busy. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be flying for more than six hours. 
I got my coffee here. I'm gonna I'm gonna run and get a lot of coffee throughout the throughout the stream. So please do stick around. You know, keep the stream open. And uh, thanks so much for your support. And we will be flying from to, to Toronto from Keflavik. So what exactly are we doing? Let me just quickly go to the briefing room in just a second. All right. So this is what we're doing. We're crossing the pond. Well, partially. Remember I said partially because we're not crossing it from Europe. I used to fly all the way from Europe to Toronto. So we're doing a bit of a shorter stream today just because I wanted to I wanted to fit in the Boeing 7737. Of course, it's not max. No passenger sound. Okay, no, no, okay. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we'll try to we'll try to fiddle with that a little bit. And perhaps maybe we can try to fix it by the time we're gonna we're gonna be there. But I noticed that uh, when I switch the inputs, it should theoretically work. So if I go into here into inputs, anyways, yeah, you're not seeing what my screen now. Anyways, we'll try to we'll try to fix it real quickly. If not, then uh, we're we're not gonna bother with it. Anyways, so we're flying to Toronto. It is gonna be about six hours of flight. So we're gonna overcross the Greenland. It is quite a bad weather here in uh, in in Keflavik. So uh, we are in Iceland today. Uh, we there is no departure from Reykjavik, so we're flying from Keflavik. So it is going to be a nice departure. So we are not going to we we won't need to do the oceanic clearance. We essentially will be cleared for the oceanic route right away, and then uh, we'll brief you on that as we as we get there. And uh, of course, throughout the throughout the trip, we're going to review the procedures in Toronto, and that uh, should be a really nice and fun flight tonight. So. Awesome. Oscar says, I'm doing exact same route, but one after you in 77. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You guys are flying. So who else is flying across the pond? Curious. Because it is it is a really cool event. I love it. It's always um, it's always fun, and it's, all, it's always nice to do it. All right. Anyways, let's get going. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to tune in right away to uh, the clearance delivery. We're going to get the clearance for our uh, departure in just a second. So we got one to one decimal one. Sorry, one to one decimal zero. That's for the clearance, and we're gonna, gonna hear that. We hear the clearance shortly. All right, excellent. So you guys can hear the sound really well. Nothing. Uh, it's L three four six. Contact now. Ground one to one decimal minor. Okay. One more thing. I'm gonna get the mixer. There's the mixer. Okay, great. Mixer's running. Excellent. Fantastic. I'm out for the okay, first off, so out for the walk around. Let's quickly double check the overhead. So we're gonna just do the dim overhead right here. So, what do we have? Batteries on, position light steady. Uh, we've got APU is on the buses. That's good. IRS mode selectors are on nav confirmed. First officer did that right away. Perfect. Your damper is good. Okay, fuel. Uh, yes, we're going to turn on all the fuel uh, 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 fuel pumps. Uh, and emergency exit lights is armed. And Negative. passenger signs on and out to... Roger, then... Uh, we've got window uh, heats on. And hydraulics. Yeah, we're going to... Turn them on all, all around. So keep packs on auto. We get packs. Okay, isolation valves open and engine APU bleeds on. Perfect. All right. So personalization. We got cruise altitude. So we're gonna be flying at thirty-nine thousand feet. Uh, looks like this is what they cleared us to. So we'll see that. Hey, Drew, how's it going? All right, Priscilla. Hello. Captain Speed Candace isn't eight, doing nine, the punt. Oh, okay. That's so interesting. Oh, he's not doing it? Yeah, I, I reached out to PMDG. I was kind of asking them nicely, is this possible? They're like, nah. Okay, so. Too bad. No, Captain Candace, I was, you know, I was hoping he'd be flying too. Okay, so there we go. Enter IRS position. So we're going to go into position init and set the init position right here. Okay, perfect. So position init is good. Now, uh, on to the route. So 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna request the flight plan and before we do that we're gonna go into the EFB requested from the sim brief mm. some good coffee here all right perfect so there it is there's the route we've got all of that all of that good stuff here and let's take a look at the departure so our sit is it's gonna be Rallo 3 Charlie, I believe. Rallo 3 Charlie. Be Rallo 3 Charlie. There it is. I'm just going to pin that here. Perfect. So there's the sim brief. And select set payload. Set the fuel. So, okay, there we go. There's our block. Perfect. So. Fuel and payload okay. sets with selected routes. Let's request the flight plan. Mato, how's it going, Oscar? What's your takeoff time? Takeoff time is 16, uh, 15 36 Zulu. So, in about 20 uh, ish minutes. So, so, 25 minutes or so. Anyways. Thank you. Hi, the security and safety checks were all done. Are we good to start boarding? Are uh, we good to start boarding? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, so let's get the boarding uh, process yeah, started. Start boarding. Thanks. Press boarding. So, so I'm going to get the get the boarding started. So while we do that, uh, we're going to request the IFR clearance. Okay, so IFR clearance. So we've got, we've got, what do we have? So Air Canada uh, 915. We're at gate number... Gate uh, number seven. Two two okay, so we got information. One five one seven two Zulu. Okay, so Atis, we need to probably tune to Atis. So let's tune to Atis. So this is really realistic, by the way. We have to tune to Atis this time. So that's one two eight, one two eight, decimal three. Let's tune to tune to Atis. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting anything on the ATS frequency. I'm just curious why that is. Captain Zem says I'm doing. I'm not doing speed eastbound. Oh, eastbound. Eastbound's gonna be cool. So specs, you can you can just type in specs in the chat. Go like this specs. Specs, and that's gonna give you the specs. Okay, so we don't have the ATS identifier, but one thing's gonna. What we're gonna do is. I'm going to check the weather and departure information. Okay, so let's just let's just uh, contact them for now for, for the um, for the clearance request. I will have to talk with the CTP team. Clearance, good afternoon. This is Air Canada 915, gate number 7, requesting IFR clearance to Toronto. Uh, Air Canada 915. Kit destination, rail of 3 Charlie departure. Runway 19, initial time flight of 290, squawk 3262. Large clear to Toronto Pearson International as filed. Rally 3 Charlie departure expecting runway 19er. Initial climb flight level 290, squawk 3262 for Air Canada 9er 15. Air Canada 9 15, read the correct. Be ready for push at 1521 Zulu. Roger, be ready for push 1521 Zulu, Air Canada 9 15. Yeah, we have to hurry up then. Okay, so. Five, um, all right, so that is Rallo three. Speedbird eight nine five. Charlie Contact one nine er. Ground Speed. one two one zero nine er. Ground one two one nine er. And we're expecting ILS two three. Ready for the pushing start. Two three. And that's going to be uh, Aniba. Eight right, you can. Aniba nine er. Contact ground one two one zero nine er. On behalf of the cabin crew, I'd like to welcome you aboard our flight. As you find the seat, be sure to place your large okay, do you hear the, the flight attendants? 
if you have trouble finding a location should be able for to. any of your carry-on items, please take the flight attendant call button and over your seat. Somebody will assist you. If the overhead bin is full, ask you to put your carry-on inside of it. Please close the bin as a courtesy to other passengers. Once all your items are put away, please clear the aisle and sit down in your seat to allow other passengers awesome. to find their seats as well. November 9, 2002, Bravo Beach, Ski, carefully get the rubbery. Clear destination, lose at sea, channel departure, runway 19, initial climb, flight level 290, cruise level, flight level 290, truck 255. Awesome. Awesome. Feel free to use your cell phones during the rest of the boarding process, but we do ask that laptops, tablets, and any other... 2-1. We got about... Wait, I think we have got good time. No, no active sky. I haven't got it yet. I haven't got it yet. Okay, so let's load the perf first. Okay, good. Let's eat. Perf is good. And one limit. Yeah, we're good here. Take off. Flaps five. And we've got five decimal four four. Yeah, it's going to be quite a trim today. Quite a trim today. <laughs> we're going to be really heavy, so. Might even check. Or I guess flaps five makes sense in this Wind case. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. November three seven one five Charlie. The calculation. Your slot will now be one five five settle Zulu. Terrain. one niner. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Okay, so we got flaps five. Yep. Installation height is 25. Okay, runway wind is. Yeah, we don't really have it right now. It's not yet. Careful, Vic delivery. Speedbird, one thing of mic for IFR to turn to. I'm curious how we have uh, uh, one tank of carb. First tank of mic. You are clear destination by the daily two charter departure runway one niner. You need to climb side level two niner zero squawk two three four one. Be ready to push at one five two eight Zulu. TCAS test pass. TCAS test is good. Okay, yeah, perfect. The, the so, uh, to we're going to do departure. something else here. Let's double check all that. Um, an initial flight Sorry guys, I'm going to be a little bit busy. I'll be busy before zero, uh, two, three, four, Because we do one. have a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a crazy one thing, thing going on. So, I, I, one thing I, I, squawk, I 3262. And could you repeat the uh, seat up please again? B ready to push at 1528 Zulu. 1528 Zulu. 3262 on a squawk. Initial climb 290. 290. 0. 290. 29,000. 371 power Charlie. I got a release for you. 155. Settle Zulu. Alright, it's both done. Our throttle's off. V2 one plus 1.5, five five V2 1.5, uh, 1.66 six six for IS. Uh, 1.30, one one for runway 1.3. Condor 7, nine, ten, one nine. Seven, I can fight you. One nine zero. Okay, let's do the careful big delivery. We flight check this. Bravo, stand one zero nine on the east apron seven six seven three on the request for clearance to to roll to our south apron was fifteen twenty five. So let me just let me just remap this key once again. It happens. Yeah, clear the station. D is two charge departure initial climb flight level two nine zero squawk three two six seven B risk push immediately. I'm, I'm going to need that a little bit slower, sorry, Zap 6-9 Bravo. 
Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal. Auto. Window heat on. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Stop. Take my bar. We'll clear destination daily. Heading. To one, three, departure. one. Initial altimeter. Initial time battle. Two, nine, zero, 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 six. Heading. Six, one, three, one. Seven. Altimeter. One, Be zero, ready. Zero, zero, six, Flight Symphantic. So much for scrubbing. Still to travel. Initial climb flight. Two, nine, zero, three, two, six, seven. Squawk. Engine start. Uh, and we'll Cut off. Air flight checklist complete. Air flight checklist completed. And let's just set the, the, some lights, some mood lights here, because it is a bit dark. That's good. All right, so we are pretty much ready to, ready to push. Stop the tango. Contact. Good, that would be contact ground. One, one, two, nine. Ready for pushback. Okay, fantastic. That is Okay, so airports. So number seven, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push back at number nine. So let's see. Condor seven nine ten go. Stand by for release. Departure yeah. checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. I think we're we're good on time. Delivery good day, Nomadic four four send one one two. No information. Uh, request clearance to Chicago. There's the pushback trucks connecting now. Clearance Air Canada 9015, ready for pushback and engine start. Air Canada 9015, contact it already. 1 to 1, quick contact. Ground 1 to 1 decimal liner. 1 to 1 decimal liner for push Air Canada 9015, thanks so much. 1 to 1 decimal liner. Oh yeah, but he did say kind of ground. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need the small three for the tower. I'm gonna need the small three right away. Ground, hello. Air Canada 9015, ready for pushback and engine start. Air Canada 9015, hello. Pushback and start up to release point Romeo 9. Pushback and start approved to release point uh, Romeo 9. Air Canada 9015. Okay, release point Romeo 9. Air Canada 5, Tower 1, right, decimal 3, bye-bye. Tower 3, 4, 6, keep way to Cessna Longitude, coming right to left on November 4. After that, continue taxi to holding point runway 1, no area. Keep way to the right to the left after that on November and holding point 1, Okay, just one second, I need to quickly double check something. Ground the very good evening, November 9, and your two ground whiskey stand 110, we are fully ready to start. November 902, whiskey, hello, start up, correction, start up, approved, QNH on 006. So, Romeo 9, yep, one, that's zero, it. Zero, six, on the QNH, not approved. That's the one, so Romeo 9, nine is this one, that's the release point. Okay, good, so we're good to go. Uh, let's continue. Continue push back. And. No, no DI's treatment. So we're gonna do nose to the right, tail to the left. Release parking brakes, please. Park brakes released. Commencing and that, that six one and go ready to go. Perfect, there you go. That <laughs> happens sometimes. Uh, All right, so before start check this. Okay, so we'll just yeah, do quickly do the before start check this right now. Start up, we'll take to November 1. Uh, We're on your time now. Bridges. That's right. It's back X. Gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 9. We set it 8 to the right on the tower. Uh, one one eight, 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 one eight, one eight, one five hours. We set it 8 to the right tower. Please note the cabin door is now closed. We ask that you make sure that all devices in the airplane are in your large space are now shut down and stowed. If you have not already, please fasten your seatbelt and verify if it is lowered tight across your lap. The tray tables and seatbacks must be in the full upright and locked position for departure. Cabin crew, prepare doors for departure. Cross check, verify straps. V1, 1, 5, 1. VR, 1, 5, 1. V2, 1, 5, 5. CDU prefight. Completed. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the and zero. for an Taxi important and demonstration. Briefing. Completed. Are you sure about that? Yeah, we're, we're not going to do the briefing. On. Before start checklist complete. Start sequence is two, then one. Check. Two, then one. Starting engine two. Start engine two. Welcome aboard Air Canada. 
Bienvenue à bord d'Air Canada. Pour votre sécurité et votre confort, oh, nous vous oh, prions attentivement cette brève vidéo. For your safety and comfort, Hello, we day. ask that you pay attention to this short video. One, one. Please place baggage in the overhead bin and have your items under the seat in front of you. Veuillez ranger les bagages dans les coffres supérieurs et les bagages plus lourds sous le siège devant vous. En prévision du décollage, asseyez-vous confortablement, redressez le dossier de votre siège et rangez votre tablette. In preparation for takeoff. Make sure you're comfortably seated with your seat back upright and tray tables. Yeah, so many planes on that sim for sure. It's busy. It's really busy. For your safety, you must wear your seat belt when the seat oh, yeah, belt is turned off. Oh yeah, it is. It is really. And we suggest <laughs> wearing it even when the seat belt is turned then. off. Pour Starting one. Security. Gardez toujours votre ceinture bouclée lorsque Number la coussine est stable. allumée. Nous vous conseillons Start de la garder attachée en tout temps, même après, après l'extinction de la coussine. Attachez votre ceinture et ajustez-la autour de vos hanches. Pour la détacher, soulevez la partie supérieure de la ou Fasten your seat belt by adjusting it around your hips. To release it, lift the upper portion or press on the release button. Air quality is important to us. That's why we always ensure that you enjoy a non-smoking environment. La qualité de l'air est importante pour nous. Left is clear, right is clear. C'est pourquoi nous vous offrir un environnement sans fumée. À partir de maintenant et jusqu'à ce qu'une annonce soit faite à l'arrivée, les appareils électroniques portatifs doivent être réglés en mode avion. At this time, your portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode until an announcement is made upon arrival. The illustrated card in your seat pocket or magazine rack explains the many safety features of this aircraft. Please review it sometime before takeoff. La carte illustrée placée dans la pochette du siège ou dans le porte-avions explique les nombreux Start éléments de sécurité propres à cet avion. Veuillez en prendre connaissance. All of these are indicated by a green exit sign. Please locate the one nearest you. Il y a quatre issues de secours. Yeah, we should say it should be five. Elles sont toutes signalées par une enseigne verte. Veuillez repérer celle qui est la plus près de vous. Sure, wait, went all the way down. Un masque à oxygène ou une langue rouge tombera du panneau au-dessus de vous. Restez assis. Tirez la languette ou le masque. Flight control check. Flight control check. Utilisez ensuite la bande élastique pour maintenir le masque sur votre nez et votre bouche. Ground today, no medic four, four, right. Two, fully ready. Center, one, two, full up. No medic four, four, hello. Four down. Fady, Yusuf, hello. Grenade, center, one, zero, zero, six, start of the two. Left, no medic four, left. And a four, eight. Four, right. Center. If there is an emergency landing on the water, reach under the seat for the side of the vest. Remove the elastic band if required. Pull out the life vest from the pouch. Dans le cas d'un amerrissage, prenez la pochette contenant le gilet de sauvetage sous le siège ou près du repose-jambe. Retirez la bande élastique au besoin et sortez le gilet de la pochette. Enfilez le gilet. Fixez le crochet autour de la taille et ajustez la ceinture. Ne gonflez votre gilet qu'au moment de quitter l'avion. Pour gonfler le gilet, tirez la languette ou soufflez dans le tube. Slip it on. Fasten the waist clip and tighten the belt. Pulling the tab will inflate the life vest. You can also inflate it by pulling Before taxi the tube. The life vest should only be inflated as you reach the aircraft. Generators on the banana and the eyes of the Norwegian Brown Auto engine start to cheese continuous echo. Alright, the one. Checked. Si vous avez besoin de RDO, si vous avez des prêts, adressez-vous simplement à un autre. I controls. I can all check. Merci d'avoir choisi le voyage. Oh, it's zero again? Oh my god. What's happening? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, Festa Cruz freaking out again. <laughs> that's okay, Flaps 5. Flaps 5 said. I think we were just checking the flap movement. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, for the Twitch folks, you gotta, you gotta refresh the screen, unfortunately. That's the... Let's do. Okay, so we're good. We're good to go. Thank you. Uh,
one eight this one three. Take a right, that's six nine ten go. You flow ground in okay, and then one five ready taxi. Fly the deck. I got a 915. Okay, Goodbye. thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. Lab check rates. Um, yeah, we're gonna remind me to do it later. Well, flap movement check. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, because we don't need it. <laughs> Oh, well, Ramsey's here. Ramsey's here. Ramsey, are you doing the crossed punt? Okay, let's get back to work. Uh, Etihad 205, taxi to Holly Quad, Ramsey 19. Etihad 205, taxi to Holly Quad, Ramsey 19. Finesse. 915, copy, request taxi. Confirmed, ready taxi, Canada 519. 915. 915, taxi to Holly Quad, Ramsey 19, and you're November 12, November 4. Taxi to holding point, so runway 19, November 12, November 4, Air Canada, Niner 15. Excellent, alright, so there we go. Yeah, we're, we're cheating a little bit with the, uh, with the 738 because there's no max, there's no, uh, there's no 777, so we're gonna fly with whatever we have in the flight sim. You know, like, there's no, there's no proper aircraft no for this. Boys ready for taxi out. But you know we're gonna we're gonna pretend like this is uh, like this is the max I guess right. Taxi out to November one nomadic four four. Oh yeah, look how look how uh, sluggish it is. It's so heavy right now to taxi. Like wow. And November nine or two ground whiskey well so we're taxi. Oh my god! How do I get rid of these notifications? For some reason, after I have updated the flight sim, I get I get all these annoying notifications. I don't know how to get rid of them. Etihad 205, Tower 118, this one, please. Bye bye. Sub 69 Bravo, ready for taxi. Sub 69 Bravo, hold position, incoming yeah, Ramsey got married. Congrats. Looking forward to seeing you in Toronto this evening. Awesome, Mr. Flame, hey! Awesome. Love it. He's gonna be busy in Toronto. Wow, I can I can I can so already foresee that. Assistant setting, yeah, I tried tried that and it just there's no, uh, I turned off all of the assistance, uh, taxi point and it's still, uh, November, hold, point still Robert does that. November 1, uh, that six name Bravo. Go from hold, hold, stand, stand yeah, look how busy up. this is. All these people are flying uh, short, with us tonight to that, with the Cross the Pond event. So to thank you so much for tuning in once again, guys. I hope you're excited right, for this flight. You guys to see me so sit you here for like the next six hours flying the realistic flight. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Over to Tower 183. Thanks so much. Have a good night, Sir Canada 915. Tower 18 decimal three. And then we've got um okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have uh approach on 109er 119 decimal three. Wow, Ramsey just got married and he's here watching the stream. Dude, that, that's... That is so... That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Congrats, man. Behind the departure in traffic, uh, line up and wait behind runway 19. That's it, something good. Okay. So we'll just let them know that we're holding shorts uh, November 4 shortly. Oh, someone, someone's flying the Etihad Day 380. Wow, that's, that's impressive.
I'm not sure if these wipers are doing anything, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, excellent. Cross the pond, guys. We're getting ready for takeoff. IFR weather. Here we go. Six hour flight. Thank you so much once again for tuning in and welcome aboard Air Canada 9015 with service to Toronto. All right, here we go. We're just going to stop here. Well, just a bit past this ILS line. That's the whole short line. So it's holding short in November 4. Okay, Flavic Tower, good evening, Air Canada 915, holding shorts, uh, runway 19er on November 4. And uh, 9 15 Flavic Tower, good afternoon, uh, Air Canada 915. Hold position number 2 for departure. Hold position number 2, Air Canada 915. Okay, excellent. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Flaps. Flaps 5, green light. Stabilize the trip. 5.0 units. Before takeoff checklist completed. All right, fantastic. Let's do the before takeoff procedure. Before takeoff procedure. Okay, cabin crew, take your seats. Clear on the approach. Clear on the approach for number two. Ready to go. All right, here we go. Almost all set, guys. You got to let me know about the timer, though. So I, I, what I'm gonna, just going to use this clock, though, so... Tower, good afternoon. Is that 6 time Bravo, November 1? Okay, maybe Chrono, and then... Yep, and then uh, 6 time Bravo, uh, Kibler Tower, good afternoon. Uh, you have currently traffic in front of you, but you can continue to taxi via November. Because actually, that does the timer, too, right? So if November, I cross do this... One zero, that 6 time Bravo. Yeah. Tower, hello, Nomadic 4-4, four, four, November 1. Automatic 4-4, uh, uh, Tower, good afternoon, uh, taxi... Me and the clocks, all the time. <laughs> it actually can, it actually can. So, 737 MAX, does it better. This one's just not econo economic enough. I don't know if we're... I don't even know if we're e e top certified, to be honest. <laughs> but we're faking it, right, with this sort of winglet situation here, so... We do have a performance package as well, so that's going to help us. To the performance package, all of the all of the lights are aerodynamically modified. Oh, it's yeah. I can't take an engine time, so okay, got it. We're just waiting. Okay, all good. Air Canada, 9015, ready to go. Uh, Niner 5, Christian Niner 1-5, Line of Weight, Runway 1-9. Line of Weight, Runway 1-9, Air Canada 9 one five. Yeah, you can feel how heavy we are. We need like a nice boost of the thrust. Like a huge boost of the thrust to... to get us moving off the ground, because we're super heavy right now. We got 41,000, well, almost 42,000 pounds of fuel today as we're, uh, you know, about to take off in our, into our destination. We're flying to Toronto from Iceland on the Cross the Pond events. All right, so lining up, runway 19er. Here we go. All right. Oh my God, this thing is annoying. Sazen, hello. Canada 9er 15 after departure, contact Catholic approach, frequency 119er decimal 3, winds 160 degrees, 
26 knots, gusting 37. Runway 19, leave for takeoff. See ya. Move takeoff from 19 on departure. Contact uh, Kiflavik approach 119 and small three. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Canada 915. All right, awesome. Takeoff. Takeoff. And uh, nomadic uh, 44 uh, behind the departing 737 line of wait to the runway 19 behind. Yeah, departing aircraft still lining up runway 19 behind. Nomadic 44. Trust set. Yeah, it is going to be windy. They did not subject. Gusting 39. That is windy. Your speed's alive. Now, oh, good evening, November 9, I'm sure it's November 1, holding short. Uh, Rotate. Uh, November Bravo, whiskey, uh, Gusting 39. Uh, Gear up. 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 Command A. Command A. Auto by auto. Okay, so it's 119 or the small 3. Okay, Flavic approach. Uh, good afternoon, Air Canada 915. 3000 climbing flight level 290. Heading select. Heading select. Flaps one. Speed Air Canada 915, get back approach. I have to find. Proceed direct Ralof. High speed approved. Proceed direct Ralof, high speed approved. Air Canada 915. Flaps one, set. Flaps up. Speed checked. Flaps up. Yeah, we should have done heading mode before that. That's okay. Flaps up set. He flaps up set, and we don't have uh, any speed restrictions, so we're gonna we're gonna start climbing to nine or zero right away. I think it's because of the the spacing, so we're gonna go like this, and we're just gonna climb out at two nine or zero. Don't have any restrictions right now. All right, so there we go, Shahid. Hello. Flight number is Air Canada Niner One Five. All right. So after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine beats on max auto. Landing gear up and off. Flaps up. No lights. After takeoff checklist complete. You have takeoff checklist completed. Happy to release the cabin crew. Uh no. No. Okay. Not yet. Alright, it is it is quite a rainy departure here. As we are just we just took off from Keflavik and we're flying to Toronto. So hopefully we'll get to see some clear clear skies over Ice, uh, Iceland, perhaps. But well, we'll see about that. So we're direct Ravlov, just to show you what's going on. So there we go, we just departed Keflavik. And we're on our way to, to Toronto. One one nine seven. Thank you. There it is. He sits one one nine seven. Is it? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they help us off to. Key okay, set standard. Departure today, Nomadic four four two thousand seven hundred climbing flight level nine zero. Standard set passing flight level zero eight six. Nomadic four four keep flight approach identified. Proceed direct. Dallas, I should have Wonderful day, oh yeah. That's all you guys get to see from your passenger views today. 
for now, for now. It, it's going to be really nice weather in Toronto. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it will be nice. So it should be good. Ten thousand. Happy to release the cabin. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, we can now release the cabin. So ten thousand landing lights off. Everything's looking good. So we get some get some sun breaking through the clouds. Look at that. There's a rainbow on the right hand side. That is amazing. <laughs> Double rainbow. What's what's happening? Double rainbow. Yeah, it's two rainbows. Let's see if they count the third one. There you go. Double rainbow on the right hand side. Now past 2018, turn on larger portable electronic devices. This is also a reminder to please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the duration of the flight and do not form a line near the lavatory. All right. So do not form a line near the lavatory. And of course, you can feel free to turn on your portable electronic device, the larger ones. So there you go. All right. It's good weather here. Here we go. Careful, Vic. Good afternoon. Is up 16 Bravo passing 2400. Yeah, we burned quite a lot of fuel on the takeoff. Bravo, keep the approach. Good afternoon, identified. Yeah, maybe we could do, we could probably do 360, yeah, yeah. Let's wait. We can do 915, contact break, we control 119.7, bye-bye. 119.7. Or 3 we control 119.7. Okay, then 915. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I didn't think about it. I was, I was kind of... I was kind of thinking about uh, the the performance here, but yeah, you're right. One nine seven. Recavy control. Hello, Air Canada nine one five. One five fifteen thousand climbing. Uh, flight level two nine zero. We we can probably request uh, request it to be lower. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Maybe three six zero. I was thinking maybe three six zero. I confirm that control and calling Air Canada nine one five. That was Air Canada 9015. Air Canada 915, uh, Vicky's Patrol, hello, identified. Continue climbing initially, flight level 290. Continue climbing, flight level 290. And is it possible to request uh, final flight level 360? Yes, stand by, sure. Roger, thanks. Yeah, we'll probably do 360 on this. Okay, then 612, we're resting flight before 360. Alright, fantastic. Bye -bye. We're now just climbing. Standard Aven 3671, contact uh, Lake Vic 124, decimal 4. Uh, Lake Vic 124, decimal 4, Scandinavian 3671. Thank you for the Bye bye. Yeah, tick of 162. Yeah. Well, our. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we're pretty heavy, actually. So, 164, yeah. <laughs> I knew someone's gonna talk, tell, tell me about the wipers. <laughs> yeah, they're probably, yeah, so probably... Yeah, I can approve it to traffic amount, yeah. We'll see, we'll see.
But worst is the best, right? So it is uh, the even number of um, even altitudes. It is. Yeah, perhaps we should do that. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I didn't even think about it. I'm like in the summer mode now. Yeah, it is the minus three now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What's the flight time? Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be for a long time. It's gonna be for a long time. I gotta wait while to, while to push. Oh, interesting. Moto. KLM uh, 612 for your request. Contact Kavik 124. Hey, Eugene, you know what, what's bothering me? The, the fuel. Uh, 124, this is KLM 612. You ever flown Drammen is Brampton Flight Center? Um, no, not the not the Brampton Flight Center. I flew it to, uh, to Waterloo, but not the Brampton. Yeah, runway 23. Yep, not sure which runway you planned. Yeah, planning 23. Exactly that. So we actually did plan for 23. <laughs> so I guess that I was right. So I have a gut feeling. I have a, I have a gut feeling that we're going to have to cheat a little bit with the fuel, unfortunately. <laughs> but the amount of, amount of fuel we're eating right now. It's crazy. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But according to my calculations, I think we were good. Actually, I can have 262 uh, disregard that. Actually, instead of you can maintain 330 because I got slow traffic ahead of you. You will catch up. With yeah, I was thinking about it. I was. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we'll stay at uh, level 330. Uh, okay, actually, we should, be, we should be at 10. Okay. Good afternoon, that's 6 name Bravo, passing through Fort Wall 1, Yeah, final is 10, right? That's 6 nine Bravo, where I keep the code low, identified, continue to climb, flight level 29 at the road. Yeah. Continue to follow the plus 3. That's 6 name Bravo. Yeah, yeah, so... We'll see how it goes. Climbing on 2 9 just by the way that we're eating fuel now, it kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> like, did I did I screw up the calculations there somewhere? But you know. Continue plan flat level two nine of zero. Yeah, exactly. Canada nine one five plan flight level three two zero. Flight level three two zero. Canada nine one five. Player one. Three two zero. Yeah. Player one. Contact the right. Pick one two four. That's what I was thinking too. But then again, we're like full. We're full, right? So. It is a it is a first class config. By the way, it is a first class config. So there we have we have some first class right here. There it is. First class. Yeah, Riley, it's been a long while, a long time because I, I've been streaming on YouTube and you guys never came from Facebook. So I'm streaming to Facebook, by the way. Uh, so just so that my Facebook folks can see that that I'm online. Facebook gaming. Mr. Frame says realistically, sh flight shouldn't experience any holds because we're only expecting one for f one for 15 air cuts an hour on star. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because Mr. Flame, look at you. <laughs> are you on the? Are you on the? Are you which? which are you on the arrival or are you on the tower? Oh, you never know when? Because I usually, um, on YouTube, I s schedule the streams beforehand, so. All right. So here we go. Let's quickly just All right, can we control the evening, something. Number 902 Bravo, whiskey pass in fact, at 177290 in Bound Luton. Number 902 Bravo, Victor. Okay, uh, control, uh, sorry about this, uh, Right, let's just pull it. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I think we should take a look at the briefing package. Oh yeah, we're good to land. the The runway two three is perfect. Okay. Oh, in controlling tower, nice. 
Oh no, you're at 2 4 left? No. Just to confirm, uh, I was oh. cleared for last two mic oh, that sucks. arrivals. It would be awesome to hear you. Maybe you guys can just sidestep me to 2 4 left. No, no, no actually, the 2 4 left is probably not a good. Arrivals, uh, 2 4 left or 2 4 right? Uh, I don't know. Like, 2 4 left for sure is not good for us. But 2 3 is perfect. I think 2 3 would be the best. Kilo arrival, runway 1 minor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are we should be okay. 2 3 is like. The A380 lands there. Good evening, Speedbird. One finger, mic passing, flight level 135 for 290. Zoom out of Vatspy, looks like Black Hawk moving across the Atlantic. Oh, yeah, Vatspy. Let's. Okay, guys, let's take a look at how many aircraft are there right now. That's going to be interesting. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how many people are flying today. <laughs> that is crazy. That is nuts. That is crazy. Look at that. This is the time where you get to see Vatsim so busy. It's this time of the year. It's two times of the year where everyone's crossing the Atlantic like that. So many people. <laughs> and let's find ourselves. I think we're... And oh man, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be tricky. Let's see. Yeah, there. Oh uh, no, that's not us. There we go. That's us right here. <laughs> uh, okay, no problem. Thanks. Bye. Uh, let's go to yeah, and we we just started, so we are gonna cross over Greenland and then head to northeast of Canada and then yeah, and then land at Toronto. Right here, Toronto's not even online yet, so we got Mr. Flame here chatting with us, but he's gonna be controlling Toronto Tower. But yeah, this is how many people are flying right now. It is crazy, crazy. So we're, we're sort of like on the tail end because a lot of folks are already closing into to Gander. Yeah, bumper to bumper, yeah, it's it's insane, insane. November so lots of coffee tonight, so please keep the stream open if you don't mind. Random channel, thanks so much for subscribing to YouTube, appreciate it. Yeah, keep the stream open if you don't mind, you know, help us to gain some views. So if you guys do that, you're you're the best. What's up, flying level 290 and just for your information, we'll be able to flight level 410 by Luton, if that helps. So, Oceanic Briefing Package. So we're gonna be we're gonna be in the Reykjavik Oceanic, so we don't need clearance. And then we're gonna go to Gander. We're gonna do the cell cal check on Gander. I think we should do the cell cal check on Reykjavik as well. So. So we don't need to do that track for for any. So we're pretty much uh, cleared. That's a that's another cool thing about the. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's cool, but it's it's a it's a good thing. We don't need to do the the, the, clear, the oceanic clearance for us. Okay, so he's okay, so control to expect pilot crossing to the Atlantic to execute SLOP. Which is strategic lateral offset it's procedures. Entirely on their flight inside the NAT region. SLOP is safe to procedure. Okay, so offset clear route, flight in the right of the route center line between 0 to 2 nautical miles, maximum 2 nautical miles southwest. Okay, so offset. Okay, so offsets are clear to the right. Aircraft without automatic offset program capability must fly center line. So you must return to center line prior to oceanic exit points. There's no clearance required. It's procedure. And so we don't need to do anything. So we can, we can do the offset by two nautical miles like that. I'm curious if we can do an offset. Can we do an offset? I'm not even sure. Are we equipped? So 64 north, 30 west. The next waypoint, so we're going to be we're, we're going to be entering the oceanic shortly. Our nat track. Speedbird eight nine five. Uh, before I lose you, um, radar service is terminated. Contact uh, Shanvik frequency one three one decimal four five. One one decimal four five. Sub 6 9 Tango at 3 0 West, contact Reykjavik, frequency 124 decibel 4. 
Uh, 30 West Contact, 124 Decimal 4, thank you so much, Chief Mandanga. Nomadic 4-4, requesting higher. Nomadic 4-4, uh, continue to climb flight level uh, 380. Continue climb flight level 380, Nomadic 4-4, thank you. Sub three, sub six, nine, Bravo, climb flight level three six zero. Okay, so we have uh, Charlie Golf, Foxtrot, Juliet. Caribbean one Tango Mike, continue climb flight level three four zero. With a cell cow. Sorry, was there for Sorry, speedbird one Tango Mike? Team, well, are you speedbird one Tango Mike? I have your call sign as Bravo Whiskey Alpha. Is that correct? That's correct. What call sign that would be then? Bravo Alpha Whiskey. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Bravo Alpha Whiskey. You're locked on as Bravo Whiskey Alpha. Any chance you can uh, change that? Uh, yeah, will do. Sorry, uh, I'll rec reconnect with the with the Speedbird call sign. And the uh, flight level would be three four zero. Hey, firm. Initially, uh, and I'll call you back. Voitech, hello. Thank How's you. How's it going? Viking four eight zero. Oh yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see Greenland. Viking four eight zero at three zero west contact Let's see, Reykjavik one satellites. two four decimal we Oh, we might actually look at that. So if um, so we're at this whole like if you would if you do enhanced satellites. Control, very good afternoon. Yeah, we're through the thick clouds right now, but then we probably might see the Greenland as we pass through. Delta two, Bravo, Fox, hello, continue climb. It's gonna be light clouds here, but then yeah, we're gonna. Sort of C Toronto. Is there another departure airport to Crow? Oh yeah, there's tons and tons. So there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's a lot of people are flying from Europe right now. So if you take a look at once again VAT Spy, so we're gonna we're gonna launch VAT Spy right here. So I think the departure airports were. Uh, I think. I don't have them off the top of my head, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Delta nine five zero two. Yeah, look how who, look how many people are crossing the pond right now. It's, it's insane. <laughs> so many people are flying with us. So departure departure airports for across the pond. Where? Let's take a look. I actually know where. Departure right control. This is Speedbird One Tango Mike. I reconnected. Do I need to refile also? Okay. So actually, no. I don't even have them anymore. Recovery control. So, this is at eight zero eight. Had disconnected due to some client error. We are back online. Yeah, I don't have them anymore. <laughs> that's our information. Roger that. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. There you go. See, that's where you need an FO. Yeah. I didn't even notice the anti ice. There it is. <laughs> so many thoughts, man. Yeah. Consume your anti power. Yep. Anti ice is off now. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. KLM 611, stand by. So in Toronto, we're expecting Boxum Seven. Uh, sub six nine Tango at three zero West. Contact Reykjavik one two four decibel four. Radio record I know the three seven one Bravo Charlie with you passing uh Federal one seven zero. Whoa, did you see that? That's the that's the that was the weather refresh. <laughs> I think we need active sky for this. This is uh, yeah. Sub six nine child correction, sub six nine tango. Oh you're an observer I've been disconnected due to the server issue. Oh no. Sub six nine tango. I think that's what crashes the the VATSIM. Mr. Jet eight zero eight. 
So, but Vatsim says yes, almost at 3,200 connections. At 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 124.4. So we're going to anticipate that, 124.4. Say again. At 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 124.4. At 340 West, contact uh, Reykjavik Control 124.4 with Sajjad 80. Reykjavik Control, good afternoon. I say 525, passing uh, flight level 165 for 290 inbound Dallas. Hmm. Hamilton, congrats getting, getting the Chinook. Isn't it amazing? I, I love Chinook. And Alex, how's it going? Zero, I say, Alex, good to see you. Air Canada 915, are you requesting climb level 390 hero? I would like uh, 360 if possible for Air Canada 915. Roger that, climb flight level 360. Roger 360, thanks so much, Air Canada 915. Air Canada 915, radar will be terminated at 30 West, contact uh, Reykjavik 124.4. Roger at 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 124.4, thanks so much, Air Canada 95, uh, good day. Okay, at 40 West. All right, 4 zero west. Um, Confirm is KLM 611 calling. Yes, that's correct. In a few moments, we'll be starting our in flight meal service. Uh, KLM 611, are you requesting level 370? Is that correct? Stop by shortly for your yes. order. Right. If you would like to order, right, that, that should be item, okay for me. Climb flight level 370. Yeah, 4 zero west. That's going to be a while. That's going to be here in 250. Okay, so we're cleared for 360. We're going to keep it at 360. There should be a possibility as to what I can do for you. Initially, climb flight level 370. Yeah, 360 for cruise. And I think we'll whiskey. Uh, what are you looking for? I mean, uh, we can do anything. We can go up to uh, plan number 410 on the Manana. Go ahead, Turkey 915. Radar service terminated at 30 West. Contact Reykjavik 124 decimal 4. Uh, Roger, yep, we'll contact Reykjavik uh, 4 0 West at uh, 124 4 Reykjavik 5 good day. Okay. Rusted 901 climb flight level 360. You did tell us that, but we're just getting. Yeah, tell him again. Thank you very much. Someone's plane is going off. Yeah, Phone is going off. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's controller. Yeah, not mine. Mine is good. Mine is good. Mine is good. <laughs> mine is good. Mine is good. Mine is good. Mine is good. Climb flight level 400, United 390. Scandinavian 192. Scandinavian 192, good. Scandinavian 192, I just uh, wanted to make sure you're on my frequency. All right, Adverse says have a safe flight over the pond. Appreciate it, thank At you. Zero West, contact Gander, 131.575. Stay on my frequency for now. Reckon Victor, local 24 Papua Lima, 2 Canada 260, flight now, flight level 260. Canada 360, and would it be possible to get 350 today, or? Uh, a firm, but I'll get the next sector to the next sector. All right, we'll request the next sector, Canada 
All right, notice how the VHF, the radio get de degradates now, like it slowly. So that's the that's the beauty uh, of uh, that sim we'll simulation. I'm gonna make a photo for Instagram. And I know I was just maintain slower to it, correct? That is correct. And the other one again is Condo 24 Pabalima. You identified cleared by the Nazi to Mike arrival, sent via the arrival, flight level 100. We are cleared uh, Nazi to Mike arrival and sending via the arrival to level 100, Condo 24 Pabalima. Nomadic 44. Uh, no medic 4-4, go ahead. We have some disconnection from the voice server, but we are now back. Okay, no medic 4-4, at 3-0-West. It's a 3-6. Contact Reykjavik, six. one 2 4 this At 3-0-West, contact Reykjavik, one 2 4 this mill 4 no medic 4-4. Four four. Zeref, uh, off. No. Okay, same Eugene, problem. you're gonna laugh, man. I forgot about the timer again. <laughs> Sorry, who's your question number three, sir? That six name Bravo. That six name Bravo, uh, you see it. He's gonna hate me for this. I can offer you flight level 370. Uh, yeah, I'll take 370, that six name Bravo. Alright, climb flight level 370. Oh, cell cal, it's the, so it's the identifier, and you'd have to do a cell cal check. Uh, so basically, it's, it's like a little tone that gets broadcasted to get your attention, because you're flying, you know, in, at the point of not really talking to anyone, just monitoring. So to get your attention, they, 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 they give you this, like a call, it's like a ding-dong type of sound that gets your attention. So that's why you do the cell cal check. So our cell cal identifier today is... On that, how uh, Charlie Golf Foxtrot and, uh, Juliet and um, and yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you always forget about the timer. I think it's like I think I need to make like some kind of a merch with that. Did you forget about the timer again? <laughs> something like that. I don't. Know. <laughs> like, oh man, I need to make something like this for this flight some expo. Stop. Where? Yeah, so the cell count. That's 30 west over to 124.4, that's six name Bravo. United 9106. So, here we go. Cell count, right? So, system allows pilots to turn down their radios while on a high, uh, high uh, frequency, HF frequency. This is a very useful, there can be a lot of staff is, static, right? So we'll hear that static as, we, as we're going to get to the gender. Uh, and when told to maintain cell cal watch by a controller, it means that you no longer have time to monitor the frequency. And you can rely on cell cal. So we can turn it down if we if need to. Um, and, you know, the cell cal just kind of alerts you, right? So when on cell cal watch, you may step away from computers as you would like without requesting the request out of cockpit with a controller. However, you must be able to hear the cell cal ping. When you receive a cell cal ping, your request will respond on frequency within five minutes of receiving the ping. I also would like to note that uh, I'll have so to pay a So the call is Shandwick radio. So in this case, it's going to be Gander radio. And then Air Canada 915 responding to cell cal. So this is what we're going to do it when we're going to do the cell cal. And whenever I'm going to step down for more coffee, we're going to keep keep uh, on a listen for the cell cal. Thank you, Steve. One take or mic. So that's that's. Zero thing. west contact Reykjavik. One two four decimal four. So. At three zero west uh, over to Reykjavik. One two four. So I think we'll we'll, we'll, we'll keep the mic. three six zero. <laughs> I'm gonna get your necklace with the, like a fla flavor flap. So you don't forget about those. Yeah. <laughs> 
It should be like, I just get zipped, but uh, you know, when every time I forget it, but it. Or, you know, maybe I should get like some kind of a flashing light and you guys can trigger it remotely and then, you know, that kind of tells me about, it reminds me about the timer, something like that. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, Caleb 258, I think there is uh, something wrong with your flashlight. You're currently heading towards 66 north, 030 west. Okay, and so... And you should be going to 65 north, 030 west. Uh, please uh, check your booty. So we got about uh, yeah, exactly. oh, yeah, 40, 40 west, right? So 6340... Uh, sorry, you just were called up there. Uh, who was the calling again? Yeah, 408 heavy. Yeah, 408 heavy. Uh, yeah, Airline 402, continue climb flight until uh, 290 for Yeah, there's our fix right here. So we're going to contact Gander. Actually, no. If it's... So that is one, two, four, this is move four. Hey, fam, that is also what That would be Ray Cavic Control still. Ray Cavic Control. Roger that, but I'm thinking we're going directly now. Thank you. So we'll maintain this. So our next, next sort of waypoint where I'm going to control the. I mean, change the frequency to the Ray Cavic Oceanic is this, this point, so. 40 west. Um, 408. Alex, um, hello. Yeah, just stand by, but you should be another That's frequency. Great. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds and I'll check for you. Okay, yeah, I mean, the 125.7 guy, he, I guess, went off, but it's one over to you. Like, really, not really stall, real capability, but better. I craft to tell you not to go too far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, tell us, if it's possible, we can hide and slow to it, which is the first, but uh, just asking. That is oh. 408, uh, try to, uh, cut yeah, again, exactly. Right? Look at this. this one, yeah, no, there's right, no mistakes here for sure. Here. Yeah. So maybe we can do decimal, decimal eight. Uh, let's see. We do need to have, um, we do need to go with decimal eight, most likely. Let's go a bit. Let's go a bit faster. Are you really gonna sit for six hours? Yep. Yeah, this is the only time I get to do that is through this event because it is a special event. So it's it's uh, it's very interesting because you get to uh, you have control throughout the whole way and you're you're and I'm not the only one. Like look at look at how many people are are actually doing this. There's so many people. So I don't feel as geeky as as. Uh, as I could. <laughs> Moto, oh, you're still waiting? No way. Are you, so are you in, uh, wait, did you file a flight? Oh, were you, did you have a slot or, or you're, you're waiting? Yeah, because if you don't have a slot for across the pond, um, Jasmine says, what's the longest flight you've ever done? So, the longest flight, so I've done a very similar one. No, I believe not. So it was from London Heathrow. So if you if okay, you imagine the map uh, here, we actually flew from, from Heathrow. So London right here. Uh, I guess that's the well, longest one I've done online. And it's and no, it's no sort of like here. like this. Right, so so now we're we're cutting the cutting it shorter. <laughs> so I used to sit for like longer Skandinavian times, and uh, we used to so do the. Okay. <laughs> 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 as well. Yeah, I know, I know. You think you think we should decrease it? Condor seven nine Tango, you're cleared direct six three north zero three zero west. But continuing uh, direct uh, six three uh, north zero uh, four zero west. Continental. Let's see. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Six three north zero three zero west. So do we have seven eight before? 
Yeah, let's probably do some in the <laughs> Delta 2 Fox, I don't think it's going to give us that much of Delta a difference, Fox, though, Fox, right? Delta 2 Bravo Fox, but the uh, radar service terminated at 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 124 decimal 4. At uh, 30 West, uh, contact Reykjavik, It's already at 35,000 pounds. We'll see how if we can have enough fuel United for this. When it gets to miss, you're, gonna, you're not going to be good. Yeah, for sure. We have, like, a little window. Look at this. United 906. No error, no margins for errors right here. <laughs> Pushing, pushing every single, squeezing every single bit of, of, of performance out of this small airplane, crossing the the Atlantic Ocean partially. <laughs> when is the eastbound? Yeah, eastbound is uh, oh in like half a year, in six months. Lathe, hello, good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Reykjavik, Reykjavik today, ICR 419 Romeo at Akure. All right. 419 Romeo, uh, uh, go ahead with your request. I just got a clearance to uh, Kepler, please. Okay, that's clearance on request. Stand by, it's going to be... We do have a little bit of a wind. A little bit of a headwind. Retro, can we start up? It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Hey, firm, start up the proof, and I will get back to you with the clearance. It would have been better if we had a bit of a tailwind you know so it would be faster but you know it is what it is it is what it is so let's see if we have 229 and 47 let's see what the loft wind would be let's just experiment with something So we're gonna take a look for the wind. Right at five zero five. Right at five zero five. You're now clear, direct waypoint. So we are at flight level three. Let's let's say three four zero. Could you clear direct zero five one eight four? Uh, unfortunately, that will have to be with approach for now. Please go to uh, to Nasty. Yeah, see if we go if we go to three eight zero, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit worse. So three four zero is better. It get seven one Bravo Charlie after uh, sixty three north zero three zero west. You can expect doesn't get better really. So three eight zero versus three four zero. See the barbs change. So you're not getting anything. So we're gonna. Yeah, and then the, then it's gonna but be. But we have one Bravo oh, Charlie. Wow. However, descent now, flight level two nine zero, please. Descent uh, two nine zero and next. It will change. One it one will change, one one change later on. We're gonna have some tailwind no later uh, on, which is three. nice. Should have picked it. Yeah. <laughs> I should have. Well, I don't know. I don't like Dreamliner. It's. Okay, what's your favorite airport scene that you've bought in Europe? Oh man, this is a good question. Uh, so, by the way, I just got so so. I don't know if that counts. I just just got the. Um, I didn't buy it. Airsoft November sent it to me. But I got the Oslo scenery, and it looks amazing. I I looked at it. I, I'm, so I'm gonna do a re review actually on it, separate review. But it looks amazing, like really good. So I really like the Ukrainian sceneries, also. Uh, the other airports. That I have. November three seven one. Bob They're usually so so everything that that Drecky design makes is phenomenal. I'd say the Drecky Drecky. I think that's I said it right. The Polish Polish uh, developers. I think those those are great. Uh, but Airsoft also makes makes good scenery. So so there's a lot of. Um, I can switch to control uh America for eight eight at Black Apple one eight zero one second climbing uh, to Black Apple two nine zero. American four five eight, make sure you get five, climb five six seven. Oh yeah, zero. there it is. Three seven zero American four eight. KLM two five eight. 
Oh yeah, you're right. You know what? I didn't. I didn't. So let's do that. KLM two five eight. Just to confirm after sixty five north zero three zero. But I did change it in a in the in the FMS panel. Zero four zero west. So we've got the. Yeah, just confirm you're ruling zero. after this next waypoint. So after sixty five north zero three zero west, proceed sixty six north zero four zero west. Super, thank you very much. At 30 West, contact Lake Cavic Control, 124 decimal 4. At 30 West, contact Lake Cavic Control. Okay, so 30 West is coming up, so we've got it. Uh, 40 West. Do you know you said 40 West for us? Contact Lake Cavic Frequency, 128 decimal 6. At 40 West for us. That's going to be in 183 nautical miles. J13, hello sir. Zero out of ten. How we missed that? Airline 402. <laughs> uh, what is your request to flight level? I think I've got I've got a lot of them throughout this, actually uh, this uh, this flight so far. One of them is. What's our call uh, sign? We can for flight level 290. I'm on the way here. So uh, what's our call sign? Uh, uh, that's Air yep. Canada 915. Yep. You guys can track it. Uh, let's see. You guys can track it. Let me just. Uh, we can take flight level uh, three three zero. Right, so that's climb flight let level me, three three. Let zero. me give you a link. I'm just gonna pull this thing out of the way. Scandinavian one nine two. Scandinavian one nine two. Scandinavian one nine two. Radar service terminated at three zero west. Contact Ganda radio one three one decimal five seven five. You that's trolling here. Yeah. Of course, we got we gotta have some trolling. Come on, we gotta have it. At uh, thirty west, one three one decimal five seven five, and uh, it's gonna come for now. We're gonna we're gonna have him one minute. Condor seven nine at three zero west. Contact Reykjavik one two four decimal four. Okay, so we are Air Canada and 915. Okay, so, so you guys can, you guys can track us, by the way. So look how many people are flying right now. At three zero west, contact. Sorry, second please. At three zero west, contact Reykjavik one two four decimal four. That's us right now. There we go. At, at three zero west, contact uh, Kendrick one two four as before. So, I troll, no joking. Oh yeah, we know that. We know that. Like so the there's the there's the link to track uh, our flight. No, no Discord. I don't. I usually don't have it open. Four five five. Can we got it? Five. Continue climb. Flight level uh, three seven zero. Uh, so, Fonda Roma, we would be ready for uh, line and backtrack in the meantime, if it's okay. Right to that, stand by, Sean. Thank you, Fico Pro, I certify 01, flight level 340, Iman, all bomb. I say 501, Rekha Vinkelo, identify. And I say uh, 40 Romeo, uh, clear to enter, backtrack and line up on way 19, stand by for departure clearance. Good I'm going to check that link right now if it works. Yeah, I'm going to update it in my story, so if you guys want to track it. I'm gonna put that in my stories right now on, on and Instagram. And I said, "Four Romeo, have your clearance available? Are you ready All to right. come?" All right. Al John says, "Shout out, Captain, you're watching from Manila, Philippines. Captain nice." Captain, escort one, Charlie, departure, runway one nine. You need to climb flight level two two zero. By the south. Squawk, one, you have this amazing sticker, zero ten. Even better. One three six four squawk. Madam, uh, what's the PC? Yeah, it's specs. Just, just type in specs in the chat. That is correct. Uh, report ready for departure. Let's go. At Canada two two seven at three zero west. Let me, let me get the one two four decimal four. At uh, three zero west, contact Reykjavik one two four decimal four. We'll see you later, Canada two seven. 
Uh, control, good afternoon. Uh, Canada, 25 Tango, we're at uh, flight level 190, flight level 290. Uh, Canada, 25 Tango, well, it can be good at flight. Uh, initially climbed flight level 290. Flight level 290, Canada, 25 Tango. Uh, can you confirm you are not event traffic? Uh, pardon, uh, uh, repeat flight level 290. It is confirmed. You are not event traffic. Is that correct? 64 no, gigs of RAM. Yeah. You know why? Uh, I need it for the video uh, editing, so uh, climb, I need that RAM. Level, uh, and for a virtual machines. So I, I'm not only flying the sim on it as well, so doing a lot, lots of other stuff on it too. So That's why it's 64 gigs of RAM. <laughs> In case, I know a lot of people have been like, why do you need 64 gigs of RAM for flight simulator? It's a valid question though. You know what I get 0 to 10 for? It's it's I screwed up my controller again. Controller mapping. I can only I can only go left like this. I need to I need to fix my mapping. Maybe we should fix it. I don't know if we should fix it in the in the stream though. We will use this this view. Arrow West 455, contact uh, now Reykjavik Control, 128, this will fix. We might be able to see Greenland, by the way, so we are not so far away from it. We're about this, this far away from it. Um, so once we're going to cross the 40 West, we're gonna see the coast of Greenland, so stick around. And by the way, thank you so much for keeping the stream open, I appreciate it. Is that that sim event for today? Yes, it's only for today. It, it only happens uh, twice, uh, twice a year. So once again, Let me show you how many people are are on the on this event right now. Just so you know, it is a, it is a crazy crazy event. It's loading. Yeah, look at this. This is how many people are flying today. That's how many people are <laughs> that are flying with us today. So I'm one of them. I think I'm one of the. Okay, so. I'm one of these guys. We gotta, we gotta find which one, I'm, which one I am. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Oh, someone sidestep, sidestep to us from over here. I'm not even sure which, which one I am. I'm gonna find it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna search for us. 915. Okay, there. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, there are 2,650 pilots. There's over 3,200 connections. So, let's see. Yeah, my my iPad is being slow. Okay, one sec. Let me just let me just uh, hop to another Wi-Fi on the iPad. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Yeah, it's, it's, this is one of those insane uh, events. So I'm flying the 737 for the first time on Cross the Pond. Uh, we don't have the 777, so, you know, some people decided not to fly the event because of that, and that's fine. But, you know, we're still going to do it. Okay, that's us. We're approaching Greenland already. Look at that. Look at that. We already flew for so long. Wow. Look at this. That's us. And we're like this little tiny airplane. Look how 
I don't know if there's not a lot of tiny airplanes. We're the we're the tiny one. We're the flying the 738. <laughs> we're like daring to do this. So there it is. We're all to 35,000 feet. We got uh, 1,900 nautical miles to go, and we're approaching coast of Greenland. And um, and yeah, we're gonna switch to Iceland control shortly. Once for the small four. Sorry, Ray Cavi control. Ray Cavi control. So that's Cavi, the. Cavi one six. That's the. Uh, so what I don't like about Horizon Sim Dreamliner, I don't like the flight model. I like I love the devs and stuff. They're like nice, nice people and you know all that. But I don't think the flight model. It just it just doesn't doesn't feel right, you know. Like it's you can't flare it properly. It just it drops the nose and yeah. Are there any rules about posting links in the chat? No, please go ahead. You 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 can do that. Oh, it's it's good. It's good. definitely good. Yeah, i five. It's good. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. You mean I mean it's not perfect, but you know it is it is what it is. Walker three seven seven five. Three four three seven seven five. Walker three seven seven five at three zero west. Contact lake can be controlled. One two four decimal four. Eight four zero west. It's uh, three zero west. Contact lake can be controlled. One two four decimal four. That's the one on the Romeo passing 7.5, scanning 2 to 0. Yeah. So it depends what, what add-ons you're running, right, with the CPU. So it is CPU intensive, so you need to... Oh, by the way, here's what you do. Here's a really cool tool. See this little dog icon right here? This is what you got to use. It's called Auto FPS. What it allows you to do is it allows you to dynamically set your, your uh, T-LODs. That is your terrain level of detail. So right now it's set to 200. So my target FPS is about 40. So as I approach the, as I approach the, um, you know, an airport or or, or, or some sort of land, right? So it, as it as it is set to specific altitude, it automatically adjusts your terrain level of detail, and your FPS is get get so much better. So I suggest, I suggest you, you use this tool. It is amazing. Just, just use that tool. So 3080 Ti. Oh, Ben is at cruise seven miles to 30 west. I'm at, I'm at 40 west right now, almost. So we are on 100 nautical miles away from 40 west. And we're, we're, it looks like we're looking at Greenland right now. There's Greenland. There's Greenland. I think we're going to see Greenland shortly. And look at that. Clear skies. Clear skies as well. And fantastic. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for keeping the stream open. You know, uh, if you keep it open, you, you'd be the best. I appreciate it. It makes me feel, you know, feel good that you guys are watching this yeah, for six one, one, hours because, you know, I get to sit problem. here. Yeah, the coffee is cold. I'm going to get some coffee later in, in just a sec, actually. KLM 611. Uh, roger that. That is proof. Roger that. Here we're almost at the point. So let's do the notes. I'm gonna put the notes. Our cell cal is cell cal code ease. Charlie Gold Foxtrot Juliet. Charlie Gold Foxtrot Juliet. What's the best airline in Africa? Oh, I'm not sure actually. Oh man, Rams, you got chicken wings from hotel restaurant? That's awesome. Dude, you gotta have your honeymoon at in Vegas, man. Vegas, that's where it's at. You gotta you gotta go to FS Expo and go to the honeymoon. Go there. <laughs> Ethiopia. Ethiopian Airlines, yeah. Here, you guys gotta register at FS Expo. We get to party in Vegas. We get to uh, celebrate Ramsey's wedding, you know, let's do this. 
Let's do this. Just, just let's go. I'm, I'm gonna be there. I already got my hotel and air, airline tickets, everything. So lots of people are gonna be there. Lots of well, your favorite content creators, Captain Canada, you know, a whole bunch of others. Chewy. Um, who else? Yeah, there's whole there, there's a whole bunch of them. I, I don't want to miss anyone. Uh, so and then Orbex will be there. Aerosoft will be there. I'm not sure about PMDG because I haven't seen them. I've seen them in the previous one, but I don't know if they're coming to this one. But uh, yeah, everyone like Navigraph is going to be there. As you know, I'm a official Navigraph uh, ambassador. Can you Are you doing flight tomorrow? Uh, uh, flight as in a stream? Most likely not. This will exhaust the hell out of me. So I, my wife already told me, if you're doing cross the bond, you're not streaming tomorrow. I'm like, okay, got it, got it. So, this is a big one. This is going to be the big one. And that's uh, that's the reason why I'm not doing a flight tomorrow. And I'm not even doing a flight tomorrow on a real plane because we're stuck we waiting for our fuel pump to, to get fixed. So we had a boost pump failure and uh, we're waiting for this to get fixed. So I'm not even flying a real plane. No flying for me. Okay, so there's the... There's the 40 West coming up right here. So we're going to switch to it. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could do another stream, but you know, it's not going to happen. Okay, so there's the four zero west. That's uh, two four seven. Uh, like control radar identified. Continue climb flight to three four zero. Okay, so all good here. Oh, land altitude. Let's let's adjust it right away because, you know. I get a two five tango climb flight to three eight zero. Alpha uh, three zero. Two three. Okay, so we have uh, five six nine. Five six nine. Oh yeah. Okay, that that's already uh, set. TV control uh, midnight one five zero three eight zero. Nice. Midnight one. Uh, Vinicius Costa says hi, Captain. Watching here from Brazil. I wish you commando landing. Gracias. Obrigado. And uh, yeah, tune in on Facebook, by the way. Oh, sorry, on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, YouTube's got the best quality. If you want to, uh, I know I'm, I'm sort of restreaming on Twitch, and uh, I know Twitch not even working. Okay, okay. I have four hundred Let me just let me just turn on Twitch. Go ahead. You know what? Uh, you know, actually, four I'll just keep Twitch on. Well, yeah. Because uh, strong crosswind at one zero with twenty seven knots at the moment, uh, but we can check later on with the probe as well. Uh, I'm sure there will be. I'm in the boat to that. Uh, confirm you're requesting to check performance issues on the one nine for landing? Uh, yeah, we still check and uh, keep it right. Or I will uh, talk to your boat later on. If it's better for you. Easy for you. Roger that. How's the flight for me? Uh, it's good. It's good. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm so glad you're keeping the stream open. And I'm so glad to do this with you guys. And of course, I, I love this. I, I love flying across the pond. It's not as it's not that easy. But look at this. There's Iceland coming up. Iceland is. I'm gonna see Iceland. You can expect to be recleared via the by the Nesbutree Kilo arrival to be landing runway one nine. Nesbutu Kilo and runway one nine for the. So flight's going well. I say I've fallen over your weekly day with two kilo arrival landing on way one nine or deep set when ready flight at one hundred via the star. Okay, return is copy set David one kilo runway one nine and when ready one hundred via the star uh um, from an over. Thank you.
United 408. Go ahead. United 408 uh, at 30 West. Contact Reykjavik Control 128.2. 128.2 at 30 West. 120 West. KLM 6110. KLM 6110, right, Kevin? 6110, heavy, go ahead. KLM 6110 at 30 West, contact Reykjavik, frequency 128, decibel 2. Good evening, folks. Hey, Hansi, Schwanzi, hello, good evening. Welcome aboard. Yeah, Canada 915, a service to Toronto. We are flying at altitude of 36,000, 36,000 feet, uh, flight level 360, and we're going to be crossing Greenland shortly. 455 at uh, 30 West, contact So we are doing a special event once again, across the pond, two. crossing the Atlantic Ocean with a whole bunch of folks. So thank you so much once again for your support and enjoy the flight. Tango at 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 128, visible 2. At 30 West, contact Reykjavik, 1, Alpha. Go ahead, I said 1, Alpha at 30 West, contact Reykjavik Control, frequency 124 decibel 4. Yeah, let's, let's hop on to... 124 decibel 4, and stay with me, and then at 30 West, you switch the frequency. Okay, copy that. Um, I'm going to go to 8 0 uh, 3 7 one pound Johnny Short, leaving my airspace. Nothing further for you. Unicom, we're ready to the way. Have a nice night. So long. Now we'll just switch to them right now. So 4 0 West. So 20 miles more. We can control Air Canada 915 requesting SoCal check on Charlie Gold, Fox Trot, Julie. Wrong frequency, one three one this one five seven five. Is it wrong frequency? No. Didn't he tell me to, to hop to them at four zero west? Actually yeah, let's do let's do that. We'll go to Gander right away. So one three one five seven. We'll go to Gander right away. Scandinavian Yeah, we'll switch to Gander. <laughs> hey, Gabriel, how's it going? Oh, you got the food delivery. Maybe I should order something as well. And negative, you stay with me, sir. Okay, number two five eight, uh, Reykjavik. Yeah, 
United, uh, 4210, contact now, scan down, 135, decimal 150, shalom. 64 North? No, no, no. 135, decimal 150. Is it 64? Okay, Gander, yeah. Yeah, 131575. Hey, sir. I said 1398, you with me? Yeah, let's, let's do the gander now. So let me just double check everything. 63C. Yeah, you're right. Let me double check. This, there, we might have not. No, that's 64. Oh, it's 64. Yeah, that's true. I am on a. It is, it is doing the wrong route. We had some trouble with the onboard Wi Fi. Radio again, radio, Air Canada 8522 Frog Delta Julia. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's important to 636. Check received Air Canada 852. It's not in database. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's why it did that. Let's we'll see. It is the wrong route, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let me just double check that. Again, the radio, again, the radio, Canada 9 or 1 5. So, Cal check. Charlie Gold, Fox, Road, Juliet. Flight level 360, Mac uh, 78. Order copy, Martin Civil 78, flight level 360. Are you able, flight level 380? Roger, able, flight level 380. You're Canada 915. Canada 915, thank you, climb, maintain level 380, stand by for self check. 380, stand by for self Canada 915. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Three six. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's fix all of that. Okay, so we've got six four. Okay, so we're on the wrong one. Six. Okay, so let's do that. Six four five. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, and then we're gonna go like this. I don't know. We're probably gonna probably gonna really screw this up, but oh well, we'll see. Okay, so. Six four five and then six four. By five west. Then Ketla. I don't know why sim brief. So I did post, paste it in the sim brief. Yeah. Okay, so Ketla. Six five contact one two eight decimal six five zero good day. One two eight decimal six five zero traffic five. That's fine. We're gonna delete that. Hey Canada eight five two request step five out of four zero zero. We're uh, really, really screw this up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I think we got the road. It's okay. We're, we can still. Um, these are grips. Um, Jelko. Yeah, we're really, really not doing this properly, I guess. Okay, so to me. Reliable 262, get the radio. Uh, say your flutter phone, Mach number. Reliable 262, say your flutter phone and Mach number. That's a uh, file 400 Mach. Nobody's gonna know, yeah, exactly. Grade zero is gonna Yeah, I think we're probably not not able three three six zero. Let's three zero. Yeah, let's let's just let's just keep it at three three six. What's today's meal? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, there's the green line, but I'm gonna. We need to fix this. Uh, so let's just. Okay, so. Do we have do we have insufficient fuel now? Which doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Oh, I guess this might be wrong. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, it is wrong. Okay, let me just go to Kettler for now. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Shoot. I think I was I was right. It was it was right the way I had it. So 64 Two niners, that's that now. Contact Gander on one two eight, seven six five zero. One two eight, seven zero, bye bye. Thank you for the call. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I needed that. One two eight, seven six five. All the contact Gander on one two eight, seven six five zero. Good day. There we go. Because that was that was wrong. Thank you. 
because then that's going to be good for the fuel. So the one two kilo count, yeah, there it is. one two eight, that's the most six five zero, good day. Six four five, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I hope no one noticed. I hope no one understood what, what happened. Okay, it should be under the end. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Six, four, five. Yeah, yeah. I totally screwed up the... the totally screwed up the formatting. Yeah, let's let them know the Renable uh, 3s. Renable... But we're enable uh, 380. Thank you, Tonga 7 4 Remain on Soka. Watch no position for required. Uh, again, the radio, again, the radio, again, the 915. We're enable 380 to maintain 360. Air, again, the 915. Let's see if you have maximum speed. We have max 772 and 360. Canada 105 Roger, maintain Fellow 3. Actually, defending Fellow 350. Roger, send 350, Canada 915. Okay, 35. Yeah, another 105, you seem to be a little bit off. Try return to your track as uh, possible. Yeah, we're on the track now. It's uh, 645, uh, Air Canada 915. Yeah, we're on the track now. So Ketlak, then Grips, then Jelko, Tooney, 5376, then Gram, then uh, Yanko Tanki Sierra, then Dasuk, Air Kim, Boxen. Air Kim, then Boxen, and then to us. Yeah, I think we're good. We fixed it, so 3 5. FR2 remain on Soka. Watch no position for required. So six four five five, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. And there's Greenland. Get the same route, nice. <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> I fixed it though. We will fix it together. Thanks. So see, that's why it's awesome to have Eugene as a FFO. When ca when Captain C goes into pilot mode, Eugene to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a turbulence here. Go Foxtrot Juliet. Seven eight three five. Yeah, that was the weather change right there. You saw that? <laughs> okay, the radio, good day, Lufthansa, 24 kilo Yankee, sir, call check. Another 24 kilo Yankee, stand by number one. Okay, the radio, good day, Lufthansa, 4-6-7, Oh, there's the green line, awesome, it's beautiful. 
And can the radio or can the 915 requesting a cell call check? Uh, Charlie, Golf, Fox, Julie, please. Air Canada 15, uh, stand back on your change number three. Yep. Because we didn't get the cell call tone just yet, so we're gonna, yeah. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> I was like unable to feel like what's happening, why is it at zero? But then it's because I wrote into yeah, no, in the wrong coordinates. Uh, go ahead. There's the green lens, beautiful. Uh, okay, in that case, stand by number four. I guess we did a little bit of a deviation. <laughs> if you take a look at the track right now, it's so, so crazy. <laughs> Make, makes you wonder, like, what's going on? What was what was going on here? So we did uh, we did have a little bit of, a, I guess that that kind of that fits the two nautical mile allowed uh, deviation to the right. <laughs> hey, Lado, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Are you doing the cross the ponds? Active side is not good enough. I don't recommend to use it at least for now. There was there are comparison in real weather. I do you have the active sky? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to rush with it. Especially for something like this, I didn't want to do it, you know. There's the beautiful Greenland. Yeah, I wish I had time to do this, but not. No, yeah, it's uh, it's always about the time, right? You got. <laughs> I had to. I had to make a deal with my wife about this, so you know, I, I know, I know how it feels. <laughs> so it is, it is a, it is a crazy event. Yeah, for sure, the triple seven. I've been waiting for that one, but today I'm just attempting the not so possible with the seven three seven. So we'll see how it goes. Again, the radio, Canada 915, negative on the cell count. Yep, you have a standard stand by. Roger. Okay, so. Yeah, I would do across the pond, I don't feel. Yeah, sitting for six hours. Yeah, that's the thing, right? All right. Oh, nice. Lado says, staying away from Sim for the next few days. Oh, yeah, man, you've been. You've been like producing so many clips, and I know how cr uh, how hard they are to make. So, oh, I would imagine. I sometimes they're just like I, I don't want to, I don't want to touch the sim <laughs> for a while. But yeah, I love your clips, man. I'm congrats for the 300 followers on uh, on Instagram. That's massive, man. That's amazing. So happy for you. So, uh, are you going to the FS Expo by any chance? It'd be great to meet you there in person. Nice to, you know, party in Vegas and all that. Okay, so 3-1. You know, let's just get a little bit of light here. delete that fix oh it's more than three oh and more than that wow man that's that's impressive it's still in the air that's amazing impressive man that's awesome oh, 
<laughs> approach in, in in Toronto's gonna have a heart attack. No, I think they're good. I think they'll handle it really well. So last time I did that, um, uh, last time I did the arrival to Toronto, that was that was really crazy. That was like that had to be vectored left, right, and center. So I think the I think they're lit, right? So let's see how they're doing. I don't know, Eugene, I don't think this is right, by the way. I don't think this is right. Because I pasted the... Look, look, see? We're, I think whatever I had was right. I don't think this is... I don't think what we put here is is, is right. So... Gander, good afternoon from Postman 441 reporting at uh, 5930 North at flight level 390. Actually, never mind. It is right. Postman 441, stand by. Let me just... Uh, let me do this again. Let me see. Okay, so... Actually, yeah, it is right. We were, we, we were not on the right track. Yeah, I should have done this. Six, three. Yeah, yeah, we're not on the right track. I'm, yeah. I'm not on the right track. Oh, man. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah. I was not on the right track. I think it's because of the way I imported the, the route. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the, this... Okay, so scene brief, I got to be careful with it. So what happened was I um, I got the wrong one. Um, yeah, exactly. Nobody noticed it. So they should have let me know that I'm, I'm deviating from the track, so... Yeah, they they should have they should have uh, they should have told me. See, no one no one told me, and then I'm just like, okay, whatever. I think I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, let's at least let let them know. So. Yeah, it's like this major deviation. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, probably or notice it just didn't go. Oh, yeah, let's just let's just. Um, I'm gonna let them know that I'm proceeding the to 50 west six, six, four. Yeah, it's that's why I'm like, where's the where's the other traffic? I'm like, I'm this, they're not even there. Yeah, we're good on fuel. We're good on fuel. So we've got it. We're gonna have nine or decimal three. Uh, but it, so I did the P three P factor, so plus factor. So uh, again the radio, again the radio. It's again another one five. Another one five, then five hundred change. Give me five more seconds. Actually, five more minutes. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Five more minutes. Got it. Yeah. We'll just let them know that we had uh, there was a route deviation. Oh, a case will be open. Oh, you think? You think? Uh, no, I don't think. But I, I need, we gotta tell them. <laughs> They'll be fine. We, we have, we'll have a phone number to call by the time we arrive. <laughs> We're going to have to call the phone number, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, at least, at least we're looking at the snow, um, snowy uh, Greenland right here. 
<laughs> it's so snow. <laughs> oh my god. We had a we have a track of our own right now. What a fail. <laughs> I should have double see I didn't have time to check the the right um, the right coordinates, but I appreciate it, Eugene. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I I screwed up the I screwed up the uh, um, my oceanic route because I've imported it through Simbrief, and I had to I had to kind of so I I did paste the original route in Simbrief, but then you know how it overwrites it, so it or it it overwrited it, overridden it, and then what happened was I kind of gotcha. deviated from my original track, so it's. We're gonna have a little bit of a, a little bit of a detour. A little bit of a detour. Yeah, the the yeah, the scenery for Keflavik is amazing. I agree. So I hope they don't mind that, but we will have to report it, unfortunately. So the deviation was major. So now we're just going direct to our to our track, the 64, the 50 west. So, <laughs> I'm going to double check the, Yeah, if you even take a look at my track, it's pretty bad. But oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. for Air Canada 915? Negative. Okay, got it. No, it's not for us. Yeah, we might be because we're switching tracks. We might be in a. On a
Uh, again, the radio, Air Canada 9 or 1 5. Uh, just checking we're in the right frequency. Yeah, Westside 2350, have a radio to Westside 2350, you can uh, stand by and talk out once. Oh, it's it's still it's still wait wait is the ads are the ads now on? Okay, I gotta I gotta disable them. Uh, just disable them. This time, four three four contact the Gander one two eight point six five. One two eight six five. Lufthansa four three four. Thank you. Bye bye. Radio Lufthansa 24 Kilo Yankee, request aircraft check. Now, all the aircraft requests to your check, just stand by, we're just finishing up the control attention, I'll be right with it. Yeah, I gotta disable that. Just do that. Done. Gander calling Air France 32. Uh, Air France 32, gun. Air France 32, contact Gander 128.65. Correction, 125.075. They want 25075. Yeah, I think they're just. <laughs> I'm not sure why the. So so, um, Scott, you, you you didn't notice that. You should give us the the zero to ten because I was on the wrong track for some reason because of sim brief. So now I'm just I'm just taking a little bit of a detour getting back to our track. So that's the that's the crappy part. But I think we're still good for the fuel. So and the fuel still be fine. Should be we should be fine. Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. That was a major one. <laughs> you missed the zero to ten opportunity. <laughs> I guess no one cares. I don't know. I don't know why they they didn't let me know. They they were just they were just assuming that everyone's gonna be on the right track all the time. <laughs> so they never told me. Oh man, dude. You missed the you missed the major one, so I was on the wrong track because of sim brief, and nobody noticed. No, not a single controller noticed. They're like, "Yeah, you, you've deviated a little bit from your track." I'm like, well, "That was a major deviation." <laughs> I think they'll have a they'll have a number for me to call when I when I when I get to Toronto for sure. It'll be like, "Here's the number to call," you know, all that. <laughs> They're not even responding to me. So. Yeah. No, no. We so we're over Greenland. Um, no, we should be even higher. We're even even higher. No, actually, we didn't cut the fuel. We. Well, actually, yeah, we did cut the fuel. Kind of. <laughs> Um. So let's see. If uh, if you take a look at the run line, I don't know. We're we're actually not we're not gaining that much. No, not at two one two four four. I'm already at Gander. So twenty five two zero five four Zulu. We're at two zero five seven Zulu. That's my that's our ETA. Contact Oops, I know, I know, it's major, major deviation. So.
Uh, again, the radio, again, the radio, Air Canada 915. We're in the wrong track, we're fixing it now. Um, could you confirm the right frequency, please? Air Canada 915. Air Canada 915, yeah, it does appear that you're deviating. I believe you're supposed to be with me. What track are you on? So we're going back to. We're going to track Bravo um, for Air Canada 915 and uh, direct uh, 50 West. Yeah, so, so, yeah, please don't. <laughs> this is so, it's so horrible. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a, it's a fun one. I've never had that happen to me. So usually I put the sim brief does it correctly. So. No, no, but, but it is real time. It, it is real time. <gasps> it's not real time? Oh, okay. I thought it was. It always resets for me for some reason. The Austrian requesting a step climb, call sign only. So, question. For the, uh, so... So, Scott, you should know this. Do they see us on the radar? Like, or do they just do they just assume that we enter the track? Because it doesn't make sense. Because they they should let they should have let me know right away. Oh yeah, twenty one forty five Zulu. Yeah, there it is. Go ahead. Seventeen. Here we go. I always thought it was real time. I don't know why it didn't. Um, uh, six, nine, three. Can we have to press A, uh, South Austria, Egypt, 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 Can your radio Air Canada 82? Can we step away for 10 minutes? Yeah, Air that's Canada 82, a good question. By the way, I want to just double check for the. the Oh, 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 another weather, another change, the weather change. That's fine. See how, you see how fast this is? It's so weird how like the weather changes, triggers this. Can the radio look down to for Kilo Yankee request the call check? Found the two four killer Yankees soon, by. Yeah, I know they, they they didn't tell me, right? So they should have told me that I deviate at least at the very beginning, right? So. Air Canada 915, Air Canada 915, contact uh, Rektovic uh, 124.4. Or 3 Air Kavik 124.4, Air Canada 915. Air Control Air Canada 262, we've reached flight level 360 uh, at a speed of 0.82 uh, Mach. Air Canada 262, thank you. Uh, Viking 40, uh, pass request again. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Leave the contact for 
Viking uh, 480, uh, you are going to another frequency, so contact Gander 135 before 150 and pass your request there. Uh, well, they won't be fine, but... Uh, one three five one five zero. One three five one zero, and uh, we'll uh, also post that uh, party four eight zero five. One three five one five zero. Nice drone as well. Nice. No, that's awesome. One three five one five zero. Good tell. Disconnect. Yeah, I disconnected for Taro, like quickly. Call Genda one two eight four six five zero. Oh, so once you disconnect, it yeah, it stops the track. Interesting. Six five zero. I didn't know it. Uh, it stops the track. I just five wanted to zero, recycle it. Swiss two one five to central two eight zero. Oh, so two that's eight, why eight, they didn't eight. see it. Okay, maybe that's why. Ray Cavi Controller Canon 915 well, 350 requesting a cell cal check and uh, we deviated from our track earlier. I have a 915, we don't use the code check. Yeah, we don't normally even have to sell cal. It doesn't even work for me. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Denise, hello. Earthquake control, I can attend two seven across the South Couch check on uh, Delta Hotel Fox from here. We don't use fake hotel. So that was uh, 280 or 380 or 384 system or five. 280 with 215. Okay, 205, uh, call now Ganda 128.650. All right. I think we're good. No one, no one cares. I, I messaged them and they're just, they're not even, they're not even, um, <laughs> they don't even care. <laughs> they were deviated from the track. That's okay. William says, how you been? Doing great, doing great. Thanks for tuning in on Facebook. Bill says, I missed the flight sim being away in Meta Quest VR world. Oh, yeah. Eugene says, sorry. What, what, what happened? Air Canada 915 on frequency? On frequency right now, okay, 915. Okay, I just uh, saw you on my radar. You are aware, of course. Um, were you with the Gander before? Uh, affirmative. Yeah, we're we're direct uh, five zero west right now. We're getting back on track. Uh, sorry about that.
Yeah. Air Canada 915, left heading 200. Left heading 21, Air Canada 915. Is it 21, sir? Confirm a uh, left heading 210. Left heading 200. Uh, left heading 200, Air Canada 915. Yeah, Eugene, I'm not sure why they're, they're doing this right now. Wait, why are they why are they to let telling us to go left heading two hundred? Another nine one five call again. The one three one zero five seven five for mine. Uh, Rick, have a control confirm. Uh, what track would that be? Is that track Bravo? Actually, uh, I'm not sure because uh, your flight plan seems uh, pretty messed up here. Oh, Roger, let me, f uh, I'd, I'd like to fix that. I know I filed the wrong one. Sorry about that. Yeah, I filed the wrong... Oh, no, Air Canada 615, a correction, Air Canada 915. Can you proceed to like the 64 North, 055 West? Uh, direct 64 North, 55 West, uh, Air Canada 915. Then I'll try to fix it for you. Roger, thanks. Yeah, I think I filed it wrong too, so there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, I fi so Simbri filed it wrong as well. So we'll go direct, direct the 6455. We'll, 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 join the, we'll rejoin the track. We did a bit of a deviation. That's fine. <laughs> it's better now. Oh man. <laughs> this is what happens when you rush everything and you don't check your waypoints. That's what I did. Uh, so I rushed it. You know, mistakes happen. That's fine. And you know, uh, it's just. So this is what happened. The reason why they didn't tell me anything is because they um, they followed my wrong fi flight plan. So hopefully I could fix it. Yeah, I'm doing S maneuver now <laughs> over, over the green line. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get in trouble for this. Jeez, this is so bad. There goes the cross the pond. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Okay, no, 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 Uh, flight level 37, sir, Canada 915. 370. Well, let's try 370 for now. Let's see. Probably with this weight, we'll probably be able to now. 370. At least, at least it's not as boring as it should be. So there's the, there's the, I guess the, Fun factor to this, right? We get to, you guys get to laugh at this, and you know, <laughs> it's other. If, if it was, if it was, if it was proper, we'd probably be sleeping by now. But at least it's, it, you know, it's something for you to laugh at. <laughs> so there it is. So let's try three seven three seven zero, and it all started so well so well and I'm like where's the other traffic I couldn't even see another traffic so jeez 
I, I can't even imagine what's gonna happen when we're gonna arrive. Like, this is gonna be really crazy. Yeah, this is so crazy. <laughs> Okay, I think for yeah, Canada, two, six, two, call Ganda, one, we three, should be five, fine for four, fuel, one, though. Five, six, Fuels five. should be okay. I'm gonna burn a bit more fuel here. Possible impossible service is gonna wait for you on the ground. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. At least we get to see Greenland. For, we got we, you guys got a tour of Greenland. We did some S turns, you know, a much better tour of Greenland. <laughs> oh man, it's so bad. Pilot, this is a, this is like a true pilot moment right here. If you ever wonder what pilot moment is, that's what it is. We were flying on our own track. We had our own track. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Okay, at least we're kinda kinda back to it, right? So kinda back to it. Yes, yes. The the deserved boilet sticker. Well deserved one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> one thousand to level. One thousand to level. United nine zero six. Call Gander one three five zero four. One yeah, the passenger spilled the drinks for sure. Uh, confirm uh, Gander radio on one three five five seven five for a Canada number one five. Yeah, Gander five seven five Canada number one five. United, oh, United, United. Okay, called Gander, one, three, five, four, one, five, zero, four, five. Never mind. That was not for us, even. United, nine, zero, six, Reykjavik. You have a VIP train. <laughs> you guys ben, gotta come up with so many jokes Gander, about this. One, two, eight, zero, six, five, zero, four, five. Step six niner tango. Step six nine tango, my apologies. Call Gander one two eight decimal six five zero. What's that? Uh, that is tango. Thank you. United niner two six. There is your service. Finally. Back for our list of complimentary and premium drinks. Premium drinks are available for a small price. Call Gander one two eight decimal six five zero. Uh, one three six five zero. Zap six nine Bravo. <laughs> Next to that's announcement. Please write your band across the pond. Yep. <laughs> this is how not to do cross the pond. This is like a perfect tutorial. So. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna collect like all the mistakes. Um, uh, who is calling? All the mistakes that I've done so far. I think it, I think I got lots of them already. So I, uh, you should be with uh, pro flight. So that it is a little bit embarrassing, but you know it is what it is, right? And I think I guess that's what makes it fun. So let's see. So we've got uh, 26.6 for our, the 5.5 five West. Yeah, exactly. I'm streaming the name it to how not to cross the. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll change the description. <laughs> oh, man. This is so bad. Yeah. We should do that. We, we have our own VIP track. That's the, yeah, that's the... Thanks, Eugene, by the way. You know, um, actually, what we should have 
what we could have done is we could have flown that that track and no one would have noticed, but you know, we, we just did the proper way, right? United um, Manor Physics, yeah, I called you several times. Call again, that 135 to 4. I could have just flown that unknown track and you know, no one would have cared. Yeah, at least you won't have to wait. Yeah, exactly. I'm on Horizon 77. Yeah, Ben, um, are you... So, you're with us, right? The, you're, you're flying the event, the actual event? Yeah. Yeah, 787 is, like, harder to land, for sure. Yeah, I think we're on our last track, so... Same route. Where are you at right now? Well, I guess find me first and then let me know, like, how, how close am I to you. Blank shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Share cockpit. That's awesome. Oh, Eugene, maybe we should have done that with you. Ben, are you streaming this or no? Oh, we just passed 50 West. Okay, yeah, you're you're good. We're you actually. I'm actually very close to you, so I'll get to see you guys probably on a, from the right hand side. No, you're not streaming. Yeah, see, I'm 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 streaming the, this embarrassing track. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why Simbrief did this to me. Well, get nine uh, one nine uh, zero call Genda one three five to four one five zero four five. It should have it should have like not rushed it. I uh, one three five one five zero. I rushed it a bit, and zero. that's what happened. Okay, 115 from 50 West. Oh, you're ahead of me. Wait, so 115 nautical miles from 55 West? Or 255, okay. Oh, okay, so I'm, um, I'm around 71 miles to 55. So yeah, I guess Ben, I guess we'll get to watch you land for sure. So that's awesome. We won't have to wait for you for long for you to land. So, what's your ETA right now to to Toronto? So mine is twenty one fifty two. I think yours is fifty seven, right? Thank you. Yeah. Ten center system five. Can we get a bit higher? Negative. with 2-1-5 uh, uh, non-event traffic you have to stay as well as you wait 21-27 oh yeah you're faster yeah we'll probably slow you down okay Uh, yeah, I forgot one thing. This this thing is slower for sure because you're flying it like my Mac eight, right? So, oh wow, eight seven, that is crazy. Okay, then uh, two three one, hello, identify climb out of two seven seven.
They were going eight. So yeah, eight, eight, nine. Oh, wow. That's insane. I say one Lima Bravo, hello. I didn't define climb flight of 280. So we're getting back to our track now. Climb flight of 280, I say one Lima Bravo. All right. Uh, KLM 258, call Ganda 135, decimal 150, right? Ganda 135, So 52 nautical miles until um, we get back on our on our proper track. So yeah, we'll we we'll start. We're gonna start seeing other aircraft shortly. That's for the performance implications. Okay, so we're at seven eight now. Yeah, I think it's good. So, two, are you going to have 2,000 pounds? 2,000 pounds by the time you arrive or extra as in plans? I hope that's not your reserve. You should think. I think you should have more reserves. Eight seven Quebec, like we can identify. Aurora says I. You on Instagram was an event without booking, but my sim crashed. No, Roro, that's not good. Well, I, I, I gotta admit, I screwed up the track, so I'm getting back to my original tracks. So I don't know what's better, sim crashing or this. <laughs> you can have three, but I can use flight sim magic and that more. Nice. So we should see the other traffic sh soon because we're back on track. We got a good fuel flow. Hey Oli, good. How are you? It's been yeah, it's been a long time for sure. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, we're crossing the pond right now. We're flying. Um, Flying to Western Canada now, because we just crossed the Greenland. Okay, we're pretty much on track, almost. There it is. So once we're gonna go direct, 64 North 55 West, we're gonna go to Katla. Quebec, you can be away for 30 minutes. So we'll hop on Gander right here. And we've pretty much crossed the pond, almost.
Thunder 433, Thunder 433, negative, you are none of traffic, so 280 is the high speed. Very nice, just touch down in Doha and turn on the left. Proceed direct Ketla. Proceed direct Ketla, Air Canada 915. I'm going to cut it, cut it shorter a bit. I guess they are they're trying to fit us in now. Now that we're back on track, I'm yeah, not. One, I'm not sure uh, about. Nine one five call uh, Gander one two eight. Just move six five to one five. Over to Gander one two eight uh, six five zero. Thank you so much for your help and sorry about that. Uh, Canada nine one five. Good day. You're welcome. Have a safe flight, away. Bye. One two eight six five. Again, the radio, hello, Air Canada 915, flight level 370. Canada 915, Gander, 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 control Air Canada 899. So we're back, back on track now, good. Now Air we're, Canada 899, now we're good. very good. Day. Recycle transponder, new squawk code for you is uh, similar. Canada 899, Fox 4615. See you in TKS, nice. Air Canada 899, 4615. Oh, there's other traffic now. I would love to, but you have to contact Montreal. Contact them, 134, that's about 32, they should be able to approve it. So it's 134320 Canada. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Cheers. We'll take a couple of Yeah, squawk two zero zero. Exactly. I didn't even I didn't set that squawk. To be honest, I screwed up. So my I'm actually squawking what uh, three two six two. Air Canada eight nine nine. Contact Montreal one three four decimal three two. Good day. Okay, so let's double check everything now. So we have Grips, Gel Code, Tuni, and then 5376, and Graham, Inkotanki, Sierra, Dasug, and then Irkim, Boxum, and then Boxum Arrival here. Everything else looks good. Yeah, you you're you're correct. You should be squawking two zero zero. I I didn't do it. I, yeah. I guess it didn't matter in this time, right? So that's what I should have done. But you should be yeah. You should be squawking two zero zero. That is correct. Oh, thanks, Ollie. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in.
Canada, hello, Delta 2 Bravo, Foxtrot with you, flight level 350, inbound Catlin. Delta 2 Bravo, Foxtrot, Scanner, sir, very good morning. Yeah, so 92, 9.2, 9 and then uh, 2154. Yeah, 2154 for the time. Eugene, what, what's what's your progress? What, when are you going to be on? Double if you were to do this uh, originally, what, what would be? What would that be? Uh, four five one three coming up Delta Two Bravo Foxtrot. Okay, yeah, there's all the other traffic. All spaced out. I'm going to double check what's the situation right now with... Denver Center, Speedbird, one tango mic, flight level 340. One tango mic, Andrew, good day. There we go. Really close to these guys. Okay, you caught on 6-3 North and playing all the way to 6 one. Okay. You're pretty much in time. Okay, good, good. <laughs> oh, man. We did our own thing. We did our own thing completely. There's just no way I even heard that over the dog working here. Canada 804 US Center. So we're pretty close, closely spaced out here. There's Ben. Austrian 6 8, Gander, you with me? So Ben's flying um, 787, seven, and then we got. 6 8, Gander Center. Tibor. Yeah, I guess like we could probably see Ben landing. Yeah, so 227 is what Ben is flying. Yeah. Uncle Austrian 6, Bravo Lima, flight level 390, inbound road boom with you. Austrian 6, Bravo, Lima, Center, good day. He's a 7, 8. Center Walker 2717, flight level 300. Walker 2717, Yeah, we're going to be over in Montreal shortly. Gander Radio, Gander Radio, Air Canada 227, request cell call uh, check on Delta Hotel, Fox Drop Sierra. Yeah, we didn't even get a cell call. Cell call check received, Air Canada 227. Uh, Gander Walker 2717, I guess we'll do our cell call check too. Okay, our code is uh, Delta Juliet Kilo Romeo. Yeah, we received it, thank you, Walker 2717. <laughs> So 
eighteen six. But three and a half hours to go. Papa Romeo Foxtrot Hotel, Austin Six Bravo Lumont. Cell call is your Austin Six Bravo Radio United uh, 3 Niner Heavy, yeah, flight level 400, requesting stop call check. So, along this total flight time, it's rough, roughly around six hours. So, yeah, probably around six hours or so. Sorry to pick that up, say again. Okay, so you're 15 knot commands ahead of. Yeah, so, okay. Get list 25. Okay, so I'm, uh, yeah. So, I'm at. Now you're not our Alpha Sierra Golf Lima. No, Ketla is 66 nautical miles away from me. Yeah, you are ahead of me for sure. That's why if I flew that track, then I, yeah, would have would have been in a better shape. <laughs> so, it is going to be a bit longer. But still, total time is roughly around six hours. You know, based on the headwind yeah, as well. Yeah, good afternoon. ICF 525, flight level 380. Zero. 525, again, very good. And ICF 525, request cell call check. Bravo, Golf, Delta, Sierra. Uh, cell call received, ICF 525. Cantor, good day, this is Cantor 65. Cantor 65, yes. Cantor 65, requesting radio check. Uh, sorry, I saw the check. <laughs> no worries, go ahead with the phone call. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. I'm good. Oh. Cell call, flow back from your Charlie. Oh, Ben's yeah. gonna, Ben's gonna like totally go, go ahead of us. We're gonna be slower. Yeah, Was that you, Ben? For to the sound? It is a, it is a realistic sound. Though. It is a eight five Mike Romeo, Papa Sierra. Mike Romeo Papa Sierra, at your date five. At your date five, cell code, code, okay. And this is the 436 Yeah, so cell call check is like a tone that you get uh, to catch your attention. So we can, we can, we can do a cell call check right now. Oh, get a radio, get a radio, Canada 915 requesting a cell call check on Charlie Gold, Fox, Trot, Juliet. What was the last two visits? I got Charlie Fox. Uh, Charlie Golf, Fox, Trot, Juliet. There you go. Roger, cell call received. Thanks, sir, Canada 915. Yeah, did you hear that? That was the cell call check. That's, uh, that's exactly what we're... Okay, uh, we're expecting. Climb level three nine zero, and I'll have a new spot for you. 
Maybe I should get some food. You know. I didn't cook anything, so maybe I should order something. Uh, GPS one one Alpha Bravo, request no call check, Charlie Hotel, Alpha Kilo. So call check received, GPS one one Alpha Yeah, it is a different one. <laughs> How many close calls will we get? Again, the radio, we got, we got so many clothes. Well, so we were deviating a bit from our flight yeah. from our flight path, but otherwise it was fairly Canada smooth radio, flight. Good afternoon, UPS 93. UPS 93, Canada. Good afternoon. It's up to 436, block code 7377. This is a 436-7377. Get the radio. Do you back registration? No, you just just do cell count check and then you say the designator, right? So in our case it was Charlie Golf Foxtrot Juliet. And the radio check Bravo Golf. Eight five eight turn out broken second. told is Quebec one mil Bravo Golf. Nice. Look at that. Someone's racing with us right there. I'm gonna see Ben soon. I'm gonna wave to Ben. He's gonna catch up to us. Canada 858, Canada 858, uh, I'll see you next time. Lift comes a 65 request. Sub 65, stand by, break your Canada 858, climb the level 390, sir. Sub 390, thank you, Canada 858. Is there a with the request going out? Uh, let's come to 6-5, can you do one more cell call check on a Quebec Romeo Charlie Hotel and request in 380 if possible. There's a cell call check and I'll check on the outside for this time. Cell call received, let's come to 6-5. Right here. Play at 3-4-6, contact Montreal, 1-3-4-9-1-3-2. Montreal, 1-3-4-3-2, it's our defensive thank you. Sir, what was the altitude that was requested there? Yeah, direct head went here. Los Gansas 65 was requesting Cherry here. Sub 65, that's approved. Trades are approved, Los Gansas 65. One to three, let's count to six five. The group of all of us together at different altitudes, yep. For sure. UPS one one alpha bravo, uh can I with it? Except I I'm the one who flew like the UPS one one alpha bravo, go ahead. In like not standard UPS track today. Bravo, squawk, six, four, six, <laughs> totally. Squawk six four six zero, UPS one one alpha bravo. Hey Joshua, are you flying with us too? So what's your registration? Oh, look at that. Who's this? Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's United uh, 39. It's Chicago. She's doing 450. Yeah, my ground speed is way slow. Yeah, So that is the yeah the United uh, Dreamliner right now flying above us. Austrian six Bravo Lima Center. Austrian six Bravo Lima Center. Roger 6 Bravo Lima, recycle transponder to squawk 2522. Squawk 2522, Austin 6 Bravo Lima. We're going to be going through a handful of squawk coaching, so uh, aircraft listen to your call sign. Again, Austin 6 Bravo Lima, flight level 380 with you. 
I'll turn six for Romeo over Ramos Center. Good night. Not three and six, Romeo Bravo, Squawk four six zero two. Squawking four six zero two, I'll turn six from the Bravo. Thanks, Jared. I'll turn six, Bravo Lima. Uh, thanks, Jared. On my level three, nine right there. Tempo 6 5 center. 6 5, go ahead. I get a squawk 6 1 2 3, please. 6 1 2 3 is already in the box. Uh, let me enter it one more time. No worries, it might be on my end as well. I'll see if I can reset it if I have to. The Tempo 6 5, try the new one 4 5 1 5. Okay, I'll do it to via the client, and it's going to 6-5, seems like something's wrong. It's likely a duplicate code. Tender radio nomadic 4-4, four four, uh, requesting cell code check on Kilo Romeo Charlie Clevin. Sorry, it was Kilo Romeo Charlie, what was the last letter? Kilo, Romeo, Charlie, Quebec, Nomadic 44. Nomadic 44, cell call received and request client flight level 390. Nomadic 44, I'll check on the three right now. James, how's it going? Yeah, good, down good. We're center flying center. at uh, altitude uh -huh. of 37,000 feet. Six, uh, we're three, over Labrador Sea, we're already across the Atlantic. Right Nomadic now, we're on our way to Toronto. Four, so. Thanks for tuning in and uh, stick around for landing. We'll be in Toronto in about, oh geez, about, well, at least three hours. So three hours left, but we're, we, yeah, we're at like our halfway point right now with the crust of ponds. It's always this crazy, um, crazy flights crossing the landing on the flight simulators. So imagine doing this every day for you as your job. Well, not every day, like the, you know, Imagine doing this a few times a week as your full-time job. Now, that's crazy. <laughs> In real life, that is. It gets quite tiring, though, at home, so... Yeah, that's why flying Dreamliner is better. There he is. Flying faster. Gander, hello, Super 4 and I'm excited about 3, uh, 900 inbound Lopsy. Super 4, 9 on the mic again. Walker 2717, contact Montreal, 134, that's Contact Montreal, 134.4, 32, Gander. 134.4, 32, 34 in the mic. Okay. Gander Center, or Canada 915, her request. Canada 915, I'd like to step up five minutes if possible. That's approved, report back. Roger, report back, Air Canada 915. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly grab some coffee. Can the radio air west uh, 455, five, five, slide 430. Yeah, 455, yeah, they're good then. Yeah, they don't think this is <laughs> the same way for sure. <laughs> the best office for sure, totally. <laughs> no, no, 100%. Canada 453, contact Montreal, 134.32, get out here. Canada 453, Gator. 
the sense of it. Uh, six five center. Six five, go ahead. Hello, six five, contact Montreal, one three four decimal three two. Good day. One three four decimal three two. Have a great rest of the day to you. Cheers. Delta 592, squawk 4067, if you're able. Uh, Aircounter 889, uh, flight number 408 inbound to Pinto. Canada 889, Canada, good day. And Canada, my apologies, having Mark finish you feel from Montreal, 134, the 4325, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the event. No worries, cheers. Level 592, contact Montreal, 13432. Good afternoon, Ekanada, T5 Tango, level 400, uh, 0.85. Canada 2.5 Tango, Gander, good day. Air Canada 2.5 Tango, recycle transponder, new squawk 4551. Uh, recycle transponder, new squawk 4551, Ekanada 2.5 Tango. Canadian 420 would be a flight number 360. And 420 again, they're going to. 134325, Zap69 Bravo, thanks very much. Cheers, thanks. Yeah, the center, Kellen 65 Lima, would you fly level 380? Kellen 65 Lima, center, good day. Kellen 65 Lima, recycle, transponder, need squawk 4543. Squawk 4543, uh, for Kellen sure. 65 Lima. The big, big check. We have smoke 4537. Thank you. And Canada 915, we're back. Fine. Canada 915, welcome back. And uh, Kalen 745, is that you calling? Mr. Kalen 745. Go ahead. No paychecks here, unfortunately. Good evening, Star 16 bound, 55 west, 11. I didn't turn on the ads, too, so we turned them off. Good. 
So with paycheck comes a bit of a dose of radiation. <laughs> that's another. That's another thing about the you know flying frequently, especially crossing the the Atlantic. Is you get relatively high dose of radiation though. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, public information about the contract. Let's say they receive 350-ish per hour, then seven-hour flight is going to be 2,450. Not so bad. Oh yeah, that is not so bad. Very good. Yeah, I'm not. Well, <clears throat> when you're when they're not. Flying, they're actually not getting paid, right? So every time you do a walk around, you're not getting paid. Aircraft flying is very, uh, very bubbled, say again. Can I have some four five request that was good, please? That's a risk. Yeah, what's the maximum we can get? Can I have four five? Can I have four five? You're coming in novel, but you can just in that uh, frequency text and set sync. Eddie had 85, contact in Montreal, 13432, good day. 134, this is Montreal, Eddie had 85, thank you for the service. Nice job, thank you. Cheers. Canada 858, contact in Montreal, 134, that's all 32, good day. Can you see for Canada 858? 134, that's all 32, one three four does three two. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Cheers. United seven eight seven recycle transponder. New squad code United 787, Gander. Oh, they received some extras, yeah. Uh, well, do, I guess it depends on um, on the airline, too. Yeah, Mo, hello. Squawk code for you, uh, 4524. Copy, 4524 in the box, United 787. It's funny how they say in the box. I don't think that's the correct phraseology, though, right? It's more like um, jargon, I guess. Okay, that is 58, sorry, my mistake. What's this? 124, 325. Hey, affirmative. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry. Okay, the 453 contact Montreal, 13432. Good day. 3432. Yeah, I, I agree, James. I agree. No, I know. Yeah, I know. no worries. Thanks. I gotta admit, I would love to. <laughs> the Tesla Cargo 383 contact Montreal, 134 decimal 32. Good day. Yeah, I see your captain uh, gets uh, around 350. Contact Montreal 13432. United 787, contact Montreal 134. That's almost 3. Yeah, that's a lot. 400k. Oh, like USD, Montreal, that's 34. really good. For sure. But it depends, right? United it depends which airline. Like Canada is the four, worst. 4547. 4547, four, four, United 39. Yeah, I don't think they'll get 400k in Canada. But it is a pretty good salary, I gotta admit, that's that's really good. Which way are we going? We're going westbound to Speedbird one Toronto. Time, Mike, requesting one minute away Crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Zero one take I think that's a bridge report back. We'll go.
Canada 227 Recycle Transponder Squawk 4556. Uh, recycle Transponder 4556 Air Canada 227. Delta 2 Bravo oh, really? Fox Squawk Code uh, 456. Can you show me where you are in the map? Absolutely. So we are just about four, to five, cross four, six, coming up Delta 2 Bravo Fox. Western. Uh, well, sorry, northeast part of Canada, so we're right here. So we are in. Um, so we're over Labrador Sea, and yeah, we're about to Hello. to enter it's Quebec time shortly. Three. We'll Northern uh, Quebec. Step climb, There's a lot of. Uh, Let me check for you. There's a lot of uh, reserves here. First Nation people live here. Fox. What was the altitude request? Uh, that wasn't Example, this one. Okay, sorry, what was the aircraft Jack. wrong with the request? Column 693. Column 693, sorry, the last aircraft just stepped on it for a second, that's all. Oh, no way. So, not a lot of people live here. If we ever make an emergency landing around here, okay, it would be in, like, a forest. 420. That's approved, climb level 420. That's no Thank you. More like Rockies, actually. Cause it's, yeah, it's mostly Rockies. Three, request to so they're about to hop us off to Montreal, so we're going to watch out for that. Yes, Over grips. Thank you. So in 43 nautical miles. And we're going to be over Montreal, Quebec, uh, Northern Quebec, and in Montreal Center. Alpha, Gander, good day. GPS 93, contact Montreal, 134, decimal 32, good day. Yeah, that's UPS. 134, decimal 32, UPS 93, good day. I wonder how much GA passenger carrier pilots make Cessna caravan. Oh, not a lot. Like very minimal. Depends where though, right? So I'm not I can I'm I'm not even sure how much the caravan pilots make, but they don't make a lot. That that's for sure. Uh Southwest pilots do two to four day routes, just staying overnight in hotels and back to base. Interesting. Nice. Ben's catching up. United 39, contact Montreal, 134 decimal 32, good day. 134 decimal 32. You're going to help us up now. Speedberg, one thing on Mike, back at the wheel. Sure, one thing on Mike, thanks, welcome back. Back in the wheel. Oh, no, 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 Ben's catching up to us. Look, 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 he's like right here. He should be, I think, yeah, he's, there's Ben. There's Ben. He's right here. That is Ben over here. <laughs> hey, Ben. You're faster. Oh, man. Ben Aviation Center. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Canada 227, contact Montreal 134, decimal 32. Get it. Montreal Center 134, decimal 34, at Canada 227. At 134, 32, 34, 32. 
Hey Brett, you should head over to YouTube, it's much better quality by the way. Your correction, uh, KLM, uh, 693, contact Montreal 134.32 and let them know the altitude change. No worries, 134 decimal 32. There's Ben. Aviation Central. He's watching us now. I hope he is well. Three, four, uh, okay. Oh, uh, just, uh, I'll write it down here. 132 decimal, 134, question, 134 decimal 32 and, uh, uh, something about the altitude, I'm sorry. Even I type it up. Got your center, Tom, coming on your four. Can we get out the cockpit for 20 minutes? Hey, LAX. I uh, probably can't get 20, but 10's approved. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome aboard, Air Canada 9015. We still got about, a, well, a bit like maybe a bit less than three hours to go to Toronto. Gander Control is using ICE. Air yeah, one leave a Bravo, Federal 280. Get some chemtrails from Ben right here. One contact, Montreal 134, that's a little 32. Super 4 Iron Mike, contact Montreal 134, that's a little 32 if you're not already there. Clam six nine three. Uh, the frequency was one three four to three two five, right? Hey, for us. Yeah, thank you. Finally, seven three seven. Yeah, that's why. That's right. We're 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 like, like we're using seven three seven to cross uh, the Atlantic. One three four to three. I think we I think we're good so far. So far. Hey, okay. Yeah, no worries. Just don't use the last bit in Canada. No worries. Clam six five Lima level three zero. Clam six five Lima center guy. So, did you have a frequency change for Speedbird 1 Tango Mike? Uh, negative, not yet. Have it shortly for us. And then, oh, excuse me, Gander Control, what's that, uh, 2055 level 400? Is that 2055, Gander, good day. Hey, are we back in domestic? Sorry, say again, you're cutting the little part there. Are we back in domestic airspace? Sam says, wonderful. Sorry, I have a dog barking in the background, so whatever you're <laughs> saying, you must not like. Can you put it in text? All right, Sam, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Awesome. Welcome back. Okay, I'm going to control Yeah, well, let's, let's ask them for a frequency change because I think we just crossed the point. Uh, 390. Gander Center, can I? Gander Center, Canada 915, frequency change. Canada 915, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to approve the handoff. Stand by. Roger, thanks so much, Sherkin. Sure, Another one. Five. Okay, so they know about Canada us. Canada God, thank you so much, Eugene, for hundreds. Canada 915, Canada 134, that's three, two. Good day. Oh, Montreal Center, 134-32. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good day. Air Canada 915. Cheers. Delta 2 Bravo Fox, differently than you filed, which is leading wow, to the confusion. Wow, Eugene, thank you so um, much for the super <laughs> chat. Here we go, little donation. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Polski Zloty. Appreciate it. Bro, thank you. Uh, You're the I've best. I got you flying to. I don't know uh, if I deserve that for that deviation, but you know, thank you so much for your support. B A F A L. Bravo. We'll Alpha definitely buy Alpha something Alpha with Lima. that. Oh, you know what? Um, something's that's coming. I'm pointed. gonna. So, um, I'm gonna be. Contact Montreal Center 132 I'll let you know in just a second. Let me just check in with these guys. Hey, Francois. I'll uh, head over to uh, 1362. Um, we've locked in the flight that uh, the, the booking. Uh, the flight plan that we were given. Yeah, uh, 
Austrian error 6 7, there just might be an error in the system. But uh, yeah, it's center 132.62. Okay, so no problem, we'll switch over and uh, see if we can sort it. Uh, 242, uh, requesting uh, flight level 400, if possible. Uh, 242, yeah, climb flight level 400. 400, uh, 242. Uh, Roger, 561, thanks. Roger, 561, thanks. Roger, that's a good day. Delta 2, Bar Fox, with you, flight level 350, inbound uh, 606. Yeah, Ben, we just saw you, like, zip past us. Delta you're, like, eight, you're, like, already out of here. Montreal, good day. Montreal, good afternoon. ICF 525, flight level 380. ICF 525, Montreal, good day. Montreal, sensor, Montreal, Air Canada 9015, uh, flight level 370. Air Canada 915, Montreal, good day. Montreal, center, Speedbird 1 Tango Mike at 340. Speedbird 1 Tango Mike, Montreal, good day. Actually, it's not even evening. Osprey 1, Montreal, Montreal. Center, now 132.62. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, Montreal, Center, Osprey 1, Montreal, Center, now 132.62. Uh, Bonjour, that's what I should say. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what? 34 Canadian, are you kidding me? That's a lot. Wow. Eugene, that's crazy. Thank you so much for such a generous donation. That's that's a crazy. Uh, there, it should be like seven, there, no more than five bucks, man. What do you? What? That's two, a three, lot. Three, seven, Thank Montreal, you, today. man. Thank you. You're the best. Can be some tool or scenery. Oh man, you're the you're awesome. You're so awesome. Thank you so much. That's so generous of you. That is so generous of you. There you go. We got a paycheck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're you're also a supporter. Okay, so appreciate it. You don't have to, but uh, you're the best. Thanks so much for your your generous uh, donation. Appreciate uh, it. That's insane. Three four cat. That's that's crazy. Wow. That is like a scenery. It's like a it's like an airplane almost. Wow. So so you know what I'm planning to do. So I'm planning to do the. Uh, the extra 300 experience in Vegas, so like flying the real extra 300. And I want to, I want to shoot a video. So there's that. Um, planning to do I'll that. Contact Montreal Center so now. hopefully One, that's going to happen at the FES Expo. If not, I'm going to another uh, another Montreal, event in Vegas. Um, it's my wife's uh, work event, so I might just do it there. Do it then. So. Written in description here. Yeah. Rotating to Toronto. Alpha, Montreal, good day. Yep, and that's bad sim. That's right. I know we got some folks in uh, in Facebook, so I'm uh, also replying. But uh, primary stream is on YouTube, so Canada, eight, eight, if you'd like correction, it, uh, Air Canada eight nine two, nine two, contact so Montreal Center one three two decimal six two. Welcome to Montreal one three two six three. Okay, eight nine nine five seven one. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's aerobatic. Yeah, aerobatic. So it will be. So I'm gonna do two flights. One of them is in in uh, Burlington here, and then the other one is in uh, is gonna be in Vegas most likely. So two of the two of the uh, extra flights. We'll see. I'll see. Um, you know. About the budget, so much budget I have for that. But uh, yeah, we have one in, we have an extra 330 in, in Burlington as well here, here in, here in Ontario. Oshkosh, so it's a good question. I'm thinking about it. So, would we take the diamond there? Um, when is it, by the way? Do you know, do you know when, is, when it is? Um, I'm going to take a look. Well, I had a friend, 7-0, I was just about to call you. Um, what's the fastest what's in you July? get that thing going? You know, maybe... Um, what's your mock speed and how fast can you Maybe I might fly, fly to Oshkosh. Uh, so we'll see how it goes with, uh, with, with our airplane. So possibly, possibly. 
Uh, Air France 7 zero, yeah. Uh, uh, increase your speed, Mach decimal 8 zero, please. Mach decimal 8 zero. And Singapore, one, two, three, uh, same mock speed, please. Yeah, 4, 5G, maybe even more. I'd say up to 7. So that 3 extra can take up to 10 Gs, so... Singapore, one, two, three, Montreal. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, Singapore, one, two, three, say your mock speed, now. please. So our Mac Singapore, is 7, one, two, three, slow to mock decimal 8, zero, please. So, Charles, thank you. Oshkosh actually is not that far. It's um, five ish, maybe six ish hours from, for Oshkosh. Uh, it stops and all that. So, I probably I would probably fly with the uh, IFR pilot for sure. So, I do have um, my, my buddy who's like, we're flying with him. Uh, flying with him to to one of the festivals, actually music festivals, probably. So I'm still thinking about it, but we might might fly together on a diamond. So uh, he'll be my safety pilot, and then the backup for IFR. So in case we do get into the IMC conditions, he'll be able to fly the plane back or through that. You guess one one Alpha Bravo. Yeah, let me know when you're back. And, uh, yeah, Diamond will be fun. Hey, Diamond's uh, fun. Zero, I'm going to be handing you off about uh, three it's, minutes. It's a fun so, uh, cross-country um, plane. If you sure. can stick around, that would be helpful. Roger. All good here. Yeah, Condor 1980, just uh, let me know when you're back. Thanks. Still 2155. KLM six Papa Tang six six Papa Tango Montreal now one three two decimal six two one three two six two KLM six six Papa Tango thank you very much for the light. Shy of passing Jelko. We're gonna be at uh, yeah Jelko in about so five seven about eight minutes. So yeah, we're definitely slower. And look at that! Look at that headwind. It's pretty bad too. Uh, squawk four zero one seven, please. Four zero one seven, four zero one seven. Speedbird two three Alpha, contact Montreal Center now one three three decimal nine seven. One three three decimal nine seven. Okay. So there we go. That's us. Ben's already Ben's already um, ahead of us. So yeah, there we go. Four two eight. Four nine four. All right, he's way faster. But anyways, we're already um, uh, three hours away. Look at that, Montreal is online. We got Toronto online. Caitlin 745, Montreal, good day. Air France 70, Montreal now, 133.97. 133.97, Air France 70, Montreal, thank you, bye-bye. 79, yeah, let's do that. Montreal Center, Canada 915, currently at max 78, requesting max 79. Canada 915, stand by. Uh, Singapore 123, Montreal on 133.97, see ya. Singapore 123, Montreal on 133.97, Montreal 123, Montreal 123. Yeah, we'll do that. Canada 857, nice. Canada 915, approved as requested. Roger, over to Mac, Mac decimal 79, thanks so much, Canada 915. Montreal, yes. So, Air Canada 857, nice, let's do that Just real quick. Air 
Airwest 455, Montreal, good day. Let's do that. So here it is. Yes, Singapore 123, 133.97. Three, oh man, look at that. So many. Okay, so Simmer Singh is flying Air Canada A57. A57. Nice. I think that's you, right? No, Royal wait. Jet 561, Montreal now, 133.97. There we go. Was that for us, by the way? Did I miss it? Montreal Center, Delta 592, Delta 592, Montreal, good day. Enter, Canada 804, Montreal now, 132.62. Etihad 8 go ahead. Yeah, that's that not for us. Yeah, that's right, that's you. Etihad 8 oh, yeah, man, look at that. You, you just passed Greenland, that's awesome. Okay, thank you. So you've also flying to Toronto, that's amazing. And you're flying the, yeah, the the Dreamliner. So us, I'm at uh, Air Canada 915. Air Canada 415, So let me, let me update that. Air Canada 453, yeah, let update, me know when you're back. Update description. Let me just update it. And Indonesia 1, Montreal Center now, 132.62. 132.62, Lucian Expansion, Indonesia 1. Lucian Expansion, Indonesia 1. I'm going to update that, so... Awesome. Yeah, there you go. I got your, I got your message. Uh, Gunad, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So. Let me update that now. Okay, so there it is. Perfect, there it is, just updated that. Air Canada 453. Air Canada 453, Montreal. Top of the send is in thousand nautical miles, still crazy. I know, right? Wojtek, hello, hello Wojtek. All right, so we're still no, Air Canada, four, five, three. we're still storming along. So seven nine, we're hopefully gonna squeeze every single bit out of that speed. I don't know why it's going a lot faster now. You guess one one Alpha Bravo, thanks. So let's see uh, progress. Yeah, that doesn't really add anything to us. But we're still gonna be we're still gonna have the eight American forty two ten. 8,000 uh, pounds, so we're still United, safe. 8,000 pounds in, uh, in Toronto, so that's somewhat safe. Okay, one six nine three, you're good. Okay. I had a feeling. We're in uh, Hudson Strait right now. Hudson Strait. Actually, yeah. Let me let me just charge my iPad, so I'll show you exactly where we are. KLM six five Lima Montreal. Good day. Good day. Yeah, Wojtek, I did uh, see it. So, uh, one thing is, yeah, I did. I did see a message. So, I don't like. I really rarely fly EasyJet. I haven't even flown EasyJet. Um, yet, so we try to fly all airlines, but I'm gonna I'm gonna join your your events. Just let me know when when, um, when you guys are flying together, so we'll stream it. But I don't know if I'll have enough commitment to join the virtual airline, because um, I'm like doing streams all over the place. Because I know it, virtual airlines are like such a commitment, because you got to do it all the time. So thanks for the invite, by the way. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's no alternate. 
Yeah, we can go to... Well, there are alternates that are quite close, right? So we've got... We've got Hamilton, if anything. Montreal, we've got... Buffalo, Kitchener, Morocco. so we could theoretically have enough fuel to, to go, you know, to alternates. France, hello. Get some folks on, on Facebook as well watching. Awesome. Gonna switch the views here. Nothing but the clouds. So we're still we're still over over the water. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to the North Quebec land shortly. So in about about 120 miles or so, we're gonna go through it. I check Southwest Virtual, it's the required to report your flight to schedule. Do you have an app for this? Yeah, right, so just tuning in, what's your ETA? So ETA is, oh geez, Montreal, it's, around, it's, around three, it's around three hours still. So we're still flying, right? So I actually have 1,200 nautical miles until Toronto, not even 1,000. Eugene, I don't know how you got the 1,000, I have like, so 2154 Zulu. So that's going to be, yeah, yeah, 1754. So about three hours, less than three hours. So okay, two hours and, and four minutes. No, no, two hours and 56 minutes. There you go. About five planes behind you. Oh, nice, Moto. Nice. Sounds good. You can fly anytime you want. But I'm my opinion, very relaxed. We're trying. We announced flights on Discord. We're we average about 15 people. Oh, nice. Okay. Blizzcock for one zero minutes. Yeah, I could join the, uh, for like for an event with you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, top. Of, oh, top of the descent. Yeah. So top. Top of the descent is uh, 1,061. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I, I. Yeah, yeah. You meant. You meant the descent. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's like 1,000 nautical miles until we descend. That's crazy. <laughs> so it is good. Uh, you're like seven, 60 to 70 nautical miles ahead. Oh, wow. Okay, so I didn't deviate that much. <laughs> so did you take off at the same time with me? Or no? Crazy long haul, but I didn't actually realize the flights from Iceland, North America were so long. Oh yeah, it is long. Because we're we're not even we're not even flying it with a fast plane, right? It, we're at like max seven, eight, six right now. But there these hops are long. So I really wish we had the the seven three seven max with this, but it's not released yet. So it is like a six hour flight. So I gotta stop sometimes and stretch. I'm gonna actually do a stretch right now, I'll be back. I gotta get some water too. And you know what else I'm gonna do? It's uh FedEx four three six Montreal one three three decimal nine Corona time. Oh two one three three decimal nine seven for Montreal. Thank you, have a nice evening. FedEx four three six. Oh Eugene, that's awesome. You join us observer? But you put ignore and line up runway together with you at the same time. So, by the way, this is uh, Corona Zero. <laughs> In case anyone wondering, I don't know, I actually like this. It's it sounds it's it's like it tastes like a real Corona, but it's not really doesn't have alcohol in it. Just so that we can still fly. 
So Max is not really, well, it's kind of like long hauler, right? But it's, it's got a better performance. So it performs better because it's got the newer, um, you know, Air engines. Cargo 242, contact Montreal Center now, 133. So nine, more efficient engines, got more efficiency. Yeah, you got you got three hours Zero left, and you gotta spend it somehow. Yeah, so let's chat about nine. something. Let's 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 put some topics for discussion, and uh, let's have a discussion with you guys. What do you think? See, the good thing is we're only doing these streams twice a year. So I used to do a, a, a charity streams, but I fortunately cannot do a charity stream on YouTube just yet because I'm not at, at, at uh, ten thousand uh, subscribers yet. But on on Facebook Gaming, we raised like thousand bucks to Ukrainian charity to help with the war uh, at one point back in the day. So that was awesome. That's when um, when I had like a lot of viewers on uh, on my streams there, and then Facebook Gaming broke everything, and then I had to start all over on YouTube. You know, it's so kind of that is what it is. But thank you so much, guys, for supporting me on YouTube. You guys are awesome. I'm not even like I. I didn't even expect for us to be like 19 people watching yeah, on, on YouTube right now. That's uh, that's incredible. Uh, you guys are so awesome. Uh, Air Canada 453, uh, slow mock decimal 82. Rock decimal 82, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Eugene says, I almost do not drink alcohol. Yeah, actually, you know what? I stopped drinking alcohol as, like, as much as I used to. But then again, I was also always a social drinker. I kind of like the the Corona Zero because it's, you know, it tastes like Corona, but it's it's not really a real Corona. And um, and yeah, Moto is asking any advice for PPL getting their any advice for people getting their PPL. Okay, so I have lots of advices, by the way. So one advice is get a simulator. Make sure you practice on a sim. Practice your procedures. Use VATSIM to your advantage uh, to learn about the radio work. And then use VATSIM to learn about radio navigation, but don't rely on, uh, sorry, flight sim to learn about radio navigation, but don't rely on flight simulator uh, on, on uh, handling. Because, because you'll have a lot of that bias when, you, when you're going to start flying. So use simulator to advantage, but don't overuse it. Do you have a Discord? Oh, okay, nice. Spencer, of course. Uh, let's do this. I think. I think that should work. Discord. I think that should work. Yeah, here we go. There's the Discord. Should do polls like people who prefer one thing over another in some long haul short flights. Yeah, I, I, I know we should do the polls. Okay, Tom says thoughts on the unusual number of runway incursions in US uh, this past two weeks. Oh, I don't have a stats on that, but. Yeah, so Twitch lifted the ban on streaming on the other platforms. However, the problem with Twitch that I have is that I stream at the higher quality. Therefore, you know, like it can it gets you get a dark screen, but by the time stream ends, you look you'll be able to see the whole stream. So, Twitch is still a little bit behind in terms of the, you know, the bitrate that you can push. I am a big fan of a higher bitrate, so I push like around 8,000 to 9,000 kilobit per second. And, but when Twitch switches you to another server, the one that does not support that higher bitrate, they just they just cannot um, you know cannot encode the stream. But I raised this issue with Restream because I use Restream. I said, well, why don't you just you know compress the output for Twitch and like well, you know so that so that way. Pay for something that's that's because uh, you know, I, I pay for restream, and then they should provide that as a value. Otherwise, it just doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't work because you could restream from uh, you know from from OBS. So so yeah, but they did lift the ban. Yeah, I'm I'm a Twitch affiliate, and they don't care if you if you um if you restream. You just says, I like to go to Steakhouse and then order rebuy whiskey sour. Not always. So I've had three whiskey sours. Oh, interesting. So when I go to the Steakhouse, I usually like to order. Well, OK, rebuy is great. Um, I like the filet mignons typically um, or New York steak. And I usually get like some sort of a matching red wine. 
that, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon, for example. Four nine Mike, Montreal Center now, one three two decimal six two. So. Montreal Center, Montreal one three two decimal six two. Thanks very much. We were four nine Mike. Okay, yeah, there were pretty big and almost incident this year recently. Oh, I'm gonna look into that. So, runway incursion spike over the last two weeks. I'm not even sure what would cost that. Montreal Center now one three two decimal six two. Have a good flight, see you. Nice. Then it was my friends in Antwerp and last month and had like two, two and a half liter of beer during two days. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, if you go to Germany, I'd say, why wouldn't you, right? Germany is like the country for beer. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> United 2410, climb flight level 360. Oh, Parker, I, I love the question. So, what do you think you do some sanguine ops down to Caribbean soon from Canada? Oh man, that's a long stream as well. So, I usually do them when there is um, when there is an event going on. So something like Cancun to Toronto, the one that I flew just recently on Sandwing. Um, you know. Yeah, I guess Sandwing does operate the seven two seven eight hundred. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a good good stream, but. I don't know if there's enough interest there. Oh, look at that. We do have a turbulence. It's a bit of a turbulence. Guys, right here. So, yeah, the sun wing. That's a, that's a good one. So, hopefully, if we have a that same event like that, like cross the land, you know, across... Uh, North America, we should probably do a Sunwing stream. But it requires controllers to be on. Yeah. Or, yeah, we could do, yeah, that's, yeah, like the the short hops, right? So we could do something like, yeah, the, the Florida to San Martin, yeah. Yeah, exactly, fast as, <laughs> we had the fast as <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Zero that's ten for that. Rush, I always, I always forget about that one. Uh, Those yeah, S maneuvers, exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Considering the S maneuvers, that was a good idea. Especially they didn't know the captain's like enjoying the Corona uh, here. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a couple minutes, please. Yeah, I can. Yeah, the sound wing ops. Hmm. I like that. Usually, going three alcohol drinks to do. Do drink on occasion, but go buy drinks if yes, it's a special one, one occasion. Oh, yeah, same. Montreal Center now on 132.62. Yeah, Vasovation has many examples and we're at a for another Tenerife. Yeah, especially if you have the simultaneous operation runway operations. So I did see one uh, runway incursion when someone just went straight into the runway on. Uh, on take I think it was Air Canada. Reminds me of a movie flight. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that clip. In Vast Aviation, yeah, I love that channel. It's great. Channel's awesome. All right, so we got some minor turbulence here. Can you get some Tims on this flight? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think that's what we're serving there in the back. I think it's Tims. Hey, what are you guys serving there? You can't even open that door, by the way. Is there one else on my shelf since you're late? Jason, I don't think you're late. I think you're good. If you're going to stick around, you're going to see the landing, but that landing is not going to be on for a while. So we're going to have about two hours and 45 minutes um, until until we land. So we've got so 2120. So we got almost two hours, well, two hours and ten minutes until top of the descent. So we're going to be descending in in twenty one twenty one Zulu. So <laughs> Bobr, you should you should say Bobr. <laughs> ben says, "Can I get a double, double, triple, double, Watch double, out, triple, triple, double, and some tidbits?" <laughs> <laughs> so that's like a that's like a typical Canadian test. You know how Ukrainians have this like Ukrainian Ukrainian test. If you know Ukrainian, you ask them what's uh, if you can pronounce. Balenitsia. Balenitsia. 
65. But at least, yeah. Uh, and then in Canada, a yeah. uh, Canadian test, you'd be like, first of all, do you know what Tim Hortons is? And then second is, Montreal, do a double double is or triple double? <laughs> or Timbits? If the answer is no, then that's definitely Canadian not a Canadian. Canadian Thank you. Yeah, so that's the. What do you think? Uh, what's the What's the typical American test? Someone that Americans would know, but let's say Canadians wouldn't know. Do you guys know? I'd be curious. So let's say if you're somewhere in Europe, for example, and you didn't know if you know if someone's American, how do you test that they're they're American? Oh, another thing is, I know how to identify a Canadian from Toronto. So you ask them, how do you, how would you say Toronto? If they say Toronto, that's not right. <laughs> if they say Toronto, that means they're from Toronto. So, so the, we say Toronto. <laughs> so no Torontonian that I know of would say Toronto. <laughs> how much is the average cheeseburger? Oh, okay, that's a good one. There, <laughs> in America, one, can you seven. recite the McDonald's? But McDonald's menu is pretty st uh, standard, right? It's, it's very standard. Ice there, ice there, one, three, nine, I guess, um, oh, you know, I got a good one. You'd be like, do you know what's in and out right? So in and out is something that's very American. It's probably more West Coast, but I, I think everyone knows what in and out is. James is a... <laughs> Have you drank that Long Island iced tea? Uh, contact Montreal Center now, 132.62. Well, Actually, that, I don't know what Long Island iced tea is, so this, that's a good one. Tor Toronto Axis is way different. Yeah. Okay, what does AR-15 stands for? If you see, if you, if the, if you see assault rifle there in the mirror, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yep. Because AR-15 is a civilian you know, non-automatic rifle that's... In, in Canada, it's the same thing. They're calling them assault rifles. Like, well, what the hell? <laughs> and so in Canada, for firearms, we have these classifications. Yeah, so there's prohibited, the which you, that you cannot buy. It's only grandfathered. Then there's restricted and non-restricted. So AR-15s, even M4s, used to be restricted. Now they're prohibited. But you can still get a 50 caliber sniper rifle and, and, and that's going to be non-restricted. So, like, what the hell? <laughs> so in Canada, it's all, like, mixed. And then you've got all these folks in, um, in you know, <laughs> all the politicians calling everything that looks evil, they call them assault rifles, which is kind of kind of strange. And, and, uh, and, you know, banning all of those uh, didn't really decrease the crimes. Yeah. Okie dokie, Jason wanted Fallout TV show. Yeah. Watch the... Okay, well, fall, yeah. I saw Toronto. For, I'm from Vancouver. Nice. What is your, uh, what is your favorite food from Chick-fil-A? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so I would fail the test because I, I... I've had a Chick-fil-A, by the way, with King J13. We, we had it at the previous uh, um, FSX. Where he's like, you got to try this, you know, awesome fast food it is not actually i like the in and out better and in and out is amazingly good and so me and my wife we have this um, we have this thing every time we go to vegas we go to in and out and uh i think in and out is is so good I, I wish we had it in canada it's for those of you who don't know what in and out is in and out is the burger chain in in west coast in the U.S. So they have them primarily in California, but then they also have them in Nevada. And uh, what I like about it is it kind of reminds me of McDonald's, the way the McDonald's used to be. You know, so I, maybe I have that bias, but I, I think McDonald's used to taste better before. And um, in and out meats, so they don't freeze the meat. And then what happens is Eight, five, eight. They even have the, the, the now, one, three, two, decimal, six, two. okay. That's not us. Uh, they even have the old school menu every time you go there. So so yeah, it's it's awesome. Okay, James says it's an alcohol cocktail full of liquors that make look like iced tea, but nothing, nothing but alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's a crazy one. I, I should try that one. 
Okay, so Moza says best best food in fit boost blah, best food in Toronto I had was Shelby Shawarma. I should I should give it a try. Where is it exactly? Hmm. I haven't tried it. So Surgeon says, do you speak Russian? Yes, I do. I do. Is there five guys in Canada? I hope King J3 is not banned. Can you please double check that King's not in. Oh, oh my God! Did because I I can't see. Did we ban King? Jeez. Oh my God! Okay, let's see. How do I how do I check for that? Uh, okay, so let's. I'm gonna enable moderation activity. How do I check for that? Did you ban King J13? <laughs> oh my God! Let's see. How do I how do I check that? I'm not even sure. So let's see. Oh my, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty bad <laughs> if we did. <laughs> we both get a zero out of ten for that one. Um, you see, you're the mod, but I think you mis misclicked, right? Because that happened that happened to me many times. Nine one nine zero. Request me for cockpit for five minutes. Oh, okay. Nine one nine zero. Yeah, let me know when you're back. Yeah, I gotta. Nine one nine zero. I gotta message him. <laughs> he deserves it. I'm just kidding. Is Russian your first language? Uh, yeah. It is. So I used to uh, I used to live in Russia. I was born there. Uh, I came to Canada in nineteen ninety seven. And then, yeah, I was here all, all this time. I did go back to Russia a few times. Well, many times, actually, before 2013. 2013 was the last time I went there. And then it just started going downhill, so I haven't been there for, for a while now. And not planning to. Because you guys know exactly why, right? In a few moments, we'll be starting our in-flight service. We will be Ooh. serving complimentary drinks and snacks. Drinks and snacks. That's for our awesome. List of complimentary and premium drinks. Premium drinks are available for a small charge. Premium drinks for a small charge. Oh, jeez. Only accept credit cards. Yes, only credit cards, guys. Only credit cards. So I was in Cancun. Yes, I was in. So remember how I did not stream for? Well, so it was a week ago. I came back a week ago. I was. I did not stream for about a week. I was in Cancun then, so me and my wife went uh, for a vacation there with a, with a little one. So before he turns two and we, we get to enjoy the fact that we don't have to pay for him, for his flights, we had to go to Cancun. Well, we were in uh, Riviera Maya, right, so Playa del Carmen, actually. No more shit. Okay, let's see Discord. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Discord. Drink starting at 20. Walk, uh, four, five, oh no five, no no! Zero, I hate when Discord does that. Just takes over the whole screen. It's so weird. Let me just um, decrease that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna message him. Sorry, one second. Yeah, Montreal Center, Canadian four two zero. Just wondering if you have a squawk code for us. Uh, yeah, Canadian 420, sorry, we're still having some issues with coordinating with Oceanic still with your tag. Um, squawk 2227. 2227 for Canadian 420, no problem, thank you. Yeah, we're going to get King J13 to come back. Can we get a butter, butter, butter? Yeah, for sure. Turn on streamer mode. Yeah, I should. Let me see. I should do a streamer mode. Okay, 420, thank you. Identify. Um, Air Fox 81 Charlie, contact Montreal Center 128, a small 775. Let's see. Contact Montreal on 128, a small 775. Yeah, There we go. Streamer mode on. Ice Air 3 Tango Whiskey, contact Montreal Center now, 133.97. 133 decimal 97. Thanks, ASF, I appreciate it. So you drink vodka? 
Um, <laughs> so, I actually don't like vodka. I used to like it. I, I don't like it anymore. What's the streamer? Uh, streamer mode truncates the names and stuff like that, so... So I used to drink it before, like when I when I go to Russia, like my friends would be like, yeah, let's go drink vodka with us and, you know, this and that. Um, and then I kind of started disliking it. But you're right. Russian standard is good. It's a good one. But uh, I also like the, you know, the Ukrainian horilka. Horilka is pretty good. Horilka is amazing with, with pepper. Uh, they used to have this Nimir of horilka. What's the best city in Canada? Oh, man, I don't know. Canada's gone like... Gun strange. I used to. I would. I would. I used to. I would used to say that Toronto is good, but it's. We're actually not Kalen, doing great, six, nine, unfortunately. Three, Montreal Center now one three two decimal six two. So I'm not even. I'm not even sure what's the best city in Canada. One three two decimal <laughs> used to be six, Toronto. Two, used to be Toronto. Six, nine, three, thank you very much for have, James says I. I know. It's not the basics in Russian. Still stu You're studying Russian, really? That's that's cool. But what for? <laughs> Orande is joining us on Facebook, says, hey, pilots, pilot. Oh, thanks for tuning in. Okay, so, yeah, let's, let's continue discussion. <laughs> I like that. I love all the, all this stuff you guys wrote in the comments. That's, uh, that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's, let's discuss some more things. So, James, if there's anything you want me to tell you um, about Russian language, and perhaps uh, Eugene can tell about uh, Ukrainian. By the way, Ukrainian and Russian are somewhat similar, although Ukrainian is uh, is definitely more closer to Polish and kind of Latin. So, St. John's, hands down, best city. Oh, nice. Okay, I should go to St. John's sometimes. I only flew to to it on a sim. So St. John's for sure. KSF says, a really long time ago, my uncle would drink tons of vodka. He's Russian. There was a red cup of vodka in one water. From there is history. Remember still to this day. Oh, wow. So he would, he would drink the vodka and then he would chase it with water. Wow. That's, that's a way interesting way to put it. <laughs> United six seven X ray contact Montreal Center now one three three decimal nine seven. Yes. So are we gonna be one three three? Probably one nine seven. Yeah. Let's let's see. Okay. Air Canada five five four nine. Uh, can you make three four zero? So Eugene says, I speak both Ukrainian and Russian. On top of that, Russian is my first language. Because I'm from Kharkiv, which is the east part. Yeah, east. yeah, exactly. A lot of my Ukrainian friends, uh, they still speak Russian. Some of them stopped doing that, but a lot of a lot of them, yeah. Especially those who are from east, from Kharkiv. Uh, Kharkiv. Yeah, they speak, uh, they speak uh, and Delta Russian contact dominantly. Delta 592, Montreal Center now, 132.62. decimal six two. Okay, no, there was two cups. My cousin was thirsty because we were outside the whole day, so... Just took a huge gulp of all. Oh, oh my God, that must that must be cruel. <laughs> Get a gulp of vodka instead of water. That must be cruel. <laughs> oh, Moto, you just heard yourself. Nice. What, what, what's your call sign? Gustavo, hola, amigo, hello. Yeah, Thanks so much. It's nice to no, you'll you. be in conflict before you get out of my airspace, so I just may take care of you. How does it feel to be overtaken by me? Oh yeah, Ben, you're the man. Joshua and Ben, the you guys are crazy, doing Mac eight nine. It feels it feels like I think I wrong a I feel like I picked the wrong plane. That's how it feels. And on top of that. I also screwed up my my route, so there it is. I got zero, zero out of tens all along. There we go. 
so thoughts on the whistleblower info this week regarding this 77777 do you foresee mandatory D checks absolutely 100% there will be D uh, delta checks on the fleets but honestly though so I'm not sure about the whistleblower on a Dreamliner so this engineer is you know saying that there's huge gaps I'm, I'm not sure about that so we'll see. Well, I'd say I would wait until FAA comes out with the, with the report. Your Ken A fifty three. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we'll see how it goes, but there will be mandatory checks for sure. Yeah, not a problem. It's, it's out there. It's a, it's public. Roger. And FAA is is already on uh, Boeing. So so Boeing's not doing great. Uh, I gotta admit. So it's it sucks. So we'll see how it goes. So Eugene says I speak Russian at home with my wife. Same here. When I call my parents, I don't know, I don't really like the idea. Everyone must switch to, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. It's very, it gets very political. I think it should be, it should be the choice, right? And that's what and Ukraine all was all about. Center will be away just for one minute, please. So in Ukraine, you know, you could speak both Russian and English used to, right? But because of some political, well, well because of the political situation right now, everyone's kind of switching to, to Ukrainian. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that myself, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah. So Barker says, I'm going to put to Canada, Dominican Republic, three weeks, Sunwing 73. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, Sunwing, typical Sunwing fleet uh, with a 737-800. Same, exact same plane we're flying right now. Motors Air Canada 5549. Nice. We'll watch out for you. And Josh is just saying that Mac Decimal 89, we're going fast, feel the speeds. Oh, yeah. We're going... Max seven eight nine seven nine. <laughs> We're slow. <laughs> All I could say. <laughs> oh man. I have, so ASF says I have asked before. I don't remember, but I have you flown Project Mega Pack A three thirty. No, I haven't. So the only A three thirty I'm waiting for is the Airsoft one. So I did try it, and we're on the Airsoft list. So when they're gonna come up with it, we will have the Airsoft A three thirty for us to test before it gets released. So I'm waiting for that one until it comes out. I think the only planes that I'll still be flying is Phoenix, this one. Of course, we're waiting for 757, 777, the A380 from Fly By Wire, that's another one that we're gonna try. So yeah. Oh, so engine start is epic, nice. So Eugene says, I'm not sure about people in Ukraine now, but it's hard to speak Russian there now. Yeah, it is. When I'm here, I can speak any language I want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure now it's probably going to be very, very tricky. Even when I was in Ukraine in 2021, so we did freely speak Russian there, but in Kiev, um, when we were, when we were uh, like ordering something in the restaurant, we had to switch to English because the by law, they they were required to speak Ukrainian only, or English, so we just switched to English. Yeah, I can't imagine how it is now. Yeah, it's so we speak Russian, English every day. Sometimes Ukrainian, Polish, and it's all good. Nice. There you go. You get to practice all of them. <laughs> yeah. So we're um, yeah, we speak Russian at home, like with with our parents, uh, even. Even our son, right? So we want him to yeah, eight five, contact no Russian. Montreal Center now, one three two decimal six two. One three two decimal six two at eight eight five. Thank you for the cooperation. Six and back. Austrian six Romeo Bravo. Is that for us? Montreal Center now, one three two decimal six two. Switching to Montreal Center, one three two decimal six two. Six and the power is back. There's Ben. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, Ben is like not too, not too far away. Okay, we got Sergey Lukashenko. I'm flying from St. Petersburg to Toronto. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a long one. That's a long one. Are you gonna do the real world routes with A380? Um, 
Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. So this is fun how people affected by all this before, especially in 2021. Yeah, Claude does not say that you cannot speak right. It says that you must be companion by default. Yeah. Canada 889, contact Montreal Center, 132.62. 889. <laughs> James is <laughs> they don't have a Russian keyboard but I can tell you what I know but you have to read the English like it's Russian yeah for sure yeah that's the so that's yeah 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 then yeah 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 you know, get to, <laughs> but it's a pong. Yeah, the pong. It's you should be just just p o po. Po. So I'm not sure, man. Like I'm not sure what was the TPA PNA. Like I don't get Vatsim sometimes. It's um. Sometimes there's all these, uh, you know, like crazy flights out of somewhere. Like there's an event, but then there's no event announced. Six two is not a problem. Let me know when you're back. And then you, you can never know who's online when, if there's not an event. So it's, it's really strange. So the tempo, yeah, yeah I've, no, I've noticed that too. I've noticed that too. Yeah, the Florida saw, like the Florida was online a few times, uh, but it was not announced. I have no idea how they, how they do this. Anyways, how are we doing fuel? So we got 18,000 pounds of fuel. I think United we're still, still Contact good. Contact Montreal Center now, 132.62. Copy that. Switching over to Montreal, 132.62. Copy that. Switching over to Montreal, 132.65. United 787. Have a good one. All right. So what's your favorite food? I think everyone loves talking about food, especially me, because I'm super hungry now, but I don't feel like ordering anything. I'm just eating in front of you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably eat something when I'm gonna be done. So most likely gonna cook, cook something. Got uh, tons of stuff that I can, I can cook, but how far, far to the top of the sense? We got 798, uh, 97 nautical miles. So based on that, so we're gonna be, uh, yeah, like less, still about two, bit more than two hours. Exactly, you're exactly right. So 795 nautical miles. So yeah, about two hours. Chef Poilet, yes, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I'm a chef. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Malaysian food. That's nice. Yeah, Malaysian food is great. You know what? You know what, what I like? Indian food. I love Indian food. But not all of it, though. So some of the dishes. So, of course, everyone's favorite butter chicken. I can actually make my own butter chicken at home. So, like, biryani, rice. You know, I like, like Chinese. Chinese is good. And then, of course, all the steakhouses. And, okay, so do, do you have Boxum 7? Absolutely. Boxum 7 is what we have. So we're expecting Boxum 7 and ILS 2.3. ILS 2.3. Okay, your favorite type of food is soup. Well, like, probably my mom's borscht. Oh, borscht, nice. Anything chipotle, nice. <laughs> KLM 745, contact Montreal Center chef. now. One, three, two, Toilet six. videos. Do you guys really? I, yeah, I think if I'm gonna post some kind of a recipe, I'm gonna probably like have so many people un unsubscribe from YouTube. Oh, sushi! I love sushi. Yeah, sushi is good. Mm. So all all sorts of rolls, and uh, I love the uh, sashimi. Sashimi is amazing. So Russian food. Okay, that's that's a good one. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> so borscht, of course. Although borscht is arguably Ukrainian, so borscht is, is amazing. Um, borscht pampushkami. That's the Ukrainian version of it. I'd say uh, pilmeni. Sometimes I feel whenever I feel like and uh, olivier. That's the Russian Russian potato salad. The one that you you get to make, uh, you know, in New Year's, because it is not good for your for your for everything. <laughs> so it's it's just mayo, potatoes, you know, eggs. Jeez, uh, what else? Yeah, like whether it's chicken or or, um, or bologna, right? So it's basically all mixed together. It's like a potato potato salad. It's really good though. Cargo three eight three contact Montreal Center now. So there's that. Um, there's almost all of Russian food is, is, is pretty good so I also like Georgian Georgian is pretty good that's the that's the region kind of south of Russia yeah really not a lot of good sushi restaurants in Europe I thought it was all about sushi um, I know Eastern Europe is there's been uh, there's been a lot of sushi restaurants there oh yeah Olivier and Pilmeni oh yeah oh yeah that's that's like default thing that and then red caviar <laughs> yeah that's good too yeah red caviar too like red caviar is what Russians love and I I, I, I usually buy like the containers of like one kilogram of it and you have it with the with with the sort of like pancakes pancakes and red caviar or black caviar is even better this will be served in first class by the way if you if you upgrade to first class. We do have first class in this flight. So we got... Um, what do we have that's upgraded first class? Yeah, we have Eugene that's upgraded. So Eugene's going to enjoy the black caviar right now. <laughs> Imagine if uh, there were no Apple pilots. So I started flying it. Oh, you guys, are, you guys are flying together, right? With Josh? Joshua? You guys are doing the, the, the shared cockpit, right? I think I missed that. I think it's you two, right? Ben and Josh? Air Canada 853, contact Montreal Center, 133.97. So 853. Good day, Montreal Center. The Flug from the cargo 383 for the D60 inbound north 53 and west 072. Sounds of Cargo 383, Montreal Center. Uh, please contact Montreal Center 132.62. Nice. Oh, yeah, I love Boston. Boston is, a, is an awesome city. Montreal, good afternoon. So, Boston's got a really cool lounge in, uh, in the Logan Airport. I love that lounge. So, I went there for work once. So, Boston Airport has this really cool lounge, and, and KLM so I only had a, Center now, one, three, two, decimal, six, two. one pass there. So only one, one pass. Three, two, decimal, six, two, uh, otherwise, four, next uh, next KLM would be seventy five dollars. So my five flight five. got canceled. I was sitting in that lounge for like five hours. I enjoyed the massage, yeah, all the cocktails, uh, and then and then there Ken is like, yeah, my flight uh, is canceled because of the weather. So they gave me like the hotel voucher and um, yeah, midnight one. Uh, let me know when you're back, please. But then they came back to the airport and then they went to that uh, lounge again. Um, oh, that best memories from Boston Airport. <laughs> I love it. That lounge was the best. And then I got to expense my lo second lounge visit, and that was awesome. Expensive with work, so it was because of the flight uh, cancellation, because that counted as a meal. So. Mm. I don't know why we have this red black caviar cult, but it's like a must for now. New Year dinner and so on. I don't really share this. <laughs> no, for sure it's it's a funny one. But I love the red caviar. I know, like I'm, I, I love red caviar. It's so good. Oh sweet! So, just as me and Vision Center flying together, he's pilot flying and pilot monitoring. Excellent, nice. When it comes to sushi, there's good restaurants. Probably ten percent of what we offer sushi. Nice. I think you and Captain Kenneth should do a shared cockpit together. That'd be epic. I don't know. Um, uh, so I met I met him 
one, uh, at, at the FISEX. Great guy, by the way. I don't know. 1673, contact Montreal Center, 133.9. If he's up for it, I'd love to do it. If he's not up for it, you know, then I don't think I, uh, you know, it's, it'll be. But I'd, lo I'd love to. I'd love to. He's a great guy. But, you know, I don't think uh, my small channel, you know, with uh, what, like 6,000 subscribers would, you know, you'd be interested. I'm not at his level, you know, for, at, in YouTube, so. But that'll be great. I, I'd love to. You know, if he's, if he's up for it, if you guys know him, you know. Maybe I should message him. I, I'm, I'm in Discord. Uh, so with, with the content creators, so maybe I should, I should give, it, give him a shout. Josh said, recording yes, our shared Abbey, Montreal flight Center, as well. Yes, please send me the video. Please send me the video, I'd love to see it. Nothing worse than being stuck in extremely luxurious airport launch. At least you guys are flying the correct route. I get like a 0 out of 10 for this, for, for deviation. So, you know, maybe I should, uh, I should Canadian title... 420, Montreal Center now, 132.62. I should title this as like common mistakes during uh, Cross the Pond, like don't do this. Maybe I, I should uh, do a video about it. So... That'll be 132.62. Perhaps, what do you think guys, should I, should I do a video on like a story behind this flight and maybe, you know, share it as... You know, don't forget to do this. I, I think what my, so I had, so far I had a few mistakes. So, I did not set my transponder to 20000, and then another one is I, I put the wrong uh, route. So I think the I think that should be educational enough, and you know, and uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see I want to see your video, guys. Just send it to Discord. Nice. And landing too. You guys should stream it too. You know, streaming next time. All right, we've got we got about two hours now, so two hours to go. So 1944, uh, a bit more than two hours. So two hours and ten minutes. Nice. I'll fly, time flies by faster when we guys chat. That's amazing. So, you know what's interesting? I was on an Air Canada flight. They used um, A330 for a flight from Toronto, from Montreal to Toronto. I was on an A330. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So, it was, and it was full, like completely full. So. Lufthansa well, uh, 3 Sierra Tango, Montreal Center, 133.97. Nine on Polish Air Force, 130, Montreal Center now, 133.97. Polish Air Force? Who's flying Polish Air Force? <laughs> this is flying Polish Air Force. Uh, you should record your landing as well. Okay, okay. Oh, so, um, yeah, good. Good. Uh, yeah, that's a good call. We can uh, we can replay it, right? So do you want me to record it and uh, do the replay like we usually do? Yeah, I could probably do it. Yeah. Pull the share for us, yeah. You know what we can do, uh, Eugene? Can you can you please um, can you please remind me to save the state? So we're going to do something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the state uh, when we're going to be landing. And then we're going to we're going to replay. When we're going to replay, we're going to load that state in. So that way, you know, we'll have the state. So uh, state save. Yeah, like we could we could save the state uh, for the landing. Seven three seven, landing after a six-hour flight. Yeah. Okay, it's okay though. I hit Soga, but I still had four percent and one barely made it off the runway. Oh wow. Moto, are you? Are you? Did you already land? That's crazy. Oh, PLF call sign. It's Polish Air Force call sign. Nice PLF. 
let's see bullish okay yeah so there it is there is there he is bullish uh, air force So he's flying a 738 from yeah to K Flavic to interesting. So two three three seven. Oh, you're still behind me. Okay, got it. So there's Ben and Josh. There's me. Okay, we're almost at the end of the event, almost. So it looks like there's no holds. They're vectoring everyone in. And yeah, it looks like there's folks doing the 2 3 and then 2 4 left and 2 4 right. And Pearson is very busy there we go we got a first warning for the fuel so we're gonna turn off the the center fuel tank so we got 17 decimal 2 so we're going to have the 8.6. Eight we're still good. We're still good for the fuel. Yeah, safe state and record before landing will do. All right, cheers. Thank you so much. Toronto ATC is probably having the terrible time. I think they're having a best time. All right, C. Reynolds says, I thought I have something... Uh, something's wrong with my sim where the whole map was green and it wasn't until I zoomed in and realized across the pond yeah it looks nuts spotting in the trail excellent yay Reynolds yeah welcome to the stream and yeah Diminished says hello hey Diminished how's it going so we are um, we're pretty much in Montreal Montreal like Quebec northern Quebec airspace so I'm now gonna project the iPad just to show you guys where we are right now we're gonna be descending shortly one sec it's gonna come in come in there we go so here we are so we've got about roughly roughly about two hours left until the end thanks so much by the way for sticking around thank you so much for tuning in and um, and yeah by the way I need to delete this in this so Here we go. So about an hour. So this is about 60 minutes to this. And then I'm going to be descending over Timmins. And then we'll see how it goes. Anyways, that's where we are right now. And we'll start to prep shortly. Oh, by the way, you know what? Let's just quickly check the weather over Toronto. <laughs> Toronto and Singapore at 77. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be running on fumes. And we'll crash and burn halfway uh, along the way. So it's probably not going to happen. Anyways, so the weather is... Oh, look at that. Perfect. So 17 gusting 23 for the wind. Solar cast at 800... Uh, sorry, 8,000. Uh, temperature 6, uh, dew point minus 2. 3001 for altimeter. And for the TAF, we do have... Uh, Air Force 3, temporary Montreal Center now. 133.97. Yeah, temporary showers. So that's going to be at... 2018, 2019. And Viking 480, Montreal Center now, 133 decimal So not not for us. Over, overall, we're gonna have eight. Yeah, it's gonna be a three zero zero Zulu. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be windy by the time we arrive. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes.
Okay, one sec, guys. I'm gonna step out for just a second. Just a second. Delta T3, Victor, contact Montreal Center, 133.97. Yeah, 205, contact Montreal Center now, 133.97. Oh, there was uh, just 2055, right? No, Etihad 205. Etihad 205, Montreal. KLM 690 with you at flight level 360. KLM 690, Montreal, good day. And then there's Canada 857, you get flight level 400, keep coming back home. Canada 857, Montreal. Etihad 205. Eight seven Quebec Montreal Center Squawk four five five two. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to step out for a sec. Okay, so we got the fuel. It's off. I don't know how people. I I, I don't know how it, how I'm gonna do the. I I don't I don't do the long calls Los often Angeles, though, so Quebec, that's the thing. I don't have that much time. <laughs> But the, the cross the pond, I usually do, so. Okay, so let me see. There was a, there's a Amazon uh, return that I had to process, so there it is. There's the guy, I can see him in the camera. There he is, yeah, he just took that. Yeah, let's send Let me know when you're back. There it is, I watch him, you see, there he is. He just left. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Okay, there you go. Can't wait for the SoCal Crew World Tour event. Oh, that's interesting. SoCal Crew World Tour event? What's that one? Golf Charlie Lima Alpha, Montreal Center now, 133.97. See it. ET, oh, air throttle disconnected, so there it is. So some controllers are going offline, but we still got the coverage. So as you can see, the the gander, gander is still on. So we'll have these controllers go offline, but we're still, we still got the full, full. So we're at the tail end of the event right now. Nomadic 4-4, go ahead. Nomadic 4-4 You have trust issues instead of amazing system could have a trust to get through the long haul. Yeah, Nomadic 4-4, four four, let me know when you're back. Yeah, especially after a sim update, you want to kind of question that. Look at that, there's the, there's the north east part of Canada. Get some, some good views here.
Speedbird One Tango Mike. I always forget about the seatbelt stereo. Speedbird One Tango Mike, go ahead. One Tango Mike, same mock speed, please. Point seven nine eight. Speedbird One Tango Mike, thank you. And Ice Planet Five Two Five. I say five two five. I say five two five. Same mock speed, please. Uh, decimal 82. I uh, say 525, slow to mock decimal 80, please. Decimal 80 for I say 525. Thank you. Two zero five five Montreal Center now one three two decimal six two. One three two six two. Uh, it's those West Chits. Canada 2337, contact Montreal Center now, 133 decimal 97. Okay, 2337, there you go. So we're going to get hop on to another frequency here and then on to the Toronto Center after that. Uh, so we're at Canada 2337, we're here. Yeah, you're kind of 2337, Montreal Center now, 133, decimal 9-7. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do, 9 seven, 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 seven. Yeah. It's probably going to be us as well. That's... So we're uh, expecting a hop off in about 24 with, minutes. Yeah, United 39 or US for a while. Daniel says the only one that cruised to 81. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we can yeah, go faster. Go up, it's well, probably gonna, to, not going to uh, be a good idea with the fuel we have. In about miles. So you're not crazy, you're good. <laughs> I think some people set it to 8.9, like Ben and Josh. <laughs> so we got... Um, yeah, 463 on uh, ground speed, so I think we're fine. Yeah, there's our top of descent, and our top of the descent is... Hey, Taro, 346, contact Montreal Center now, 133 dust, small 97. In 600 nautical miles. So 2120. Yeah, in one hour and 20 minutes. That's where we're going to set the... We're gonna start descent. Yeah, we're getting another chrono. I'll be back. I think our um our cross the pond is all about Corona Zero. <laughs> so, so far I had uh, two cups of coffee and I'm going to get the Corona Zero for this one. Here we go. ASF says, Mr. MSF is so cool seeing land pass by his speed above it, especially since all flights are real time as in real life. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and this land is like one to one to the real one. So, exactly what how the satellite imagery is. And MSF is just incredible. 
I think we live in the best times. I yeah, midnight one. Is like back. I started with Microsoft Flight Simulator for Windows 95 and then moved on to Fast 98. Nice so, I think we've came so far now. I, I can't even imagine what's going to happen in 20 years. Uh, we're, it's going to be even more crazier with AI and stuff. Right? Uh, United 151, uh, standby. So we're, we're already using, well, I mean, Microsoft already uses AI to place the buildings on top of the textures. So they use machine learning to place the objects. And that's already happening. Just over two petabytes of data is used for this. So it is incredible. I think that's uh, that's fantastic, in my opinion. United 151, contact Montreal Center, 128.77. Decimal seven, seven. Yes. The OG makes field in the Fest 95. Oh man. And the Fest 98 as well. The makes field. I love that. In Chicago. Oh geez. Delta 2 Bravo Fox are requesting one zero minutes at a moment. Delta 2 Bravo Fox. You guys know about that Easter egg, right? And uh, that you can you can play the first flight simulator. If you spawn in makes field, so makes field is in flight sim. If you spawn in uh, and you turn on the the ELT. You should see that on my on my um, on my yeah, YouTube. Reliable uh, two six two. I'm just trying to hand you off to a lower sector. Um, try and contact show that to in a second. Let me decimal show you two. Six two. Because I did have it on my on my channel. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, if we did, if not, so let me show. And it's called Easter egg. Oops. So what do you do is, oops, sorry. Ah, okay, there it is. What do you do is you spawn in the makes fields. So you gotta use the that twin. One second. Yeah, that twin is the yeah D sixty two, the diamond twin, and then. And then you spawn and, and you turn on ELT. Montreal Center now, one, three, two, and when you turn on ELT, look what's gonna happen. Yeah, you have to turn on ELT. And then boom. You can play the 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 first versions of Microsoft Flight Sims, so FS1, FS2, FS3, and FS4. So you can play that on your in your MFT. Joel says, yo, hey Joel, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome aboard. You're Canada 915. With service to Toronto. All right, yeah. So that's the Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah, you can fly it from Makes. Uh, you know, on your MFD. So there's that. <laughs> Brings you memories. I've I've never actually played uh, FS one, two, and three, and four. Those are for their OGs of simulation. Yeah, so check out the video on my on my like on my channel too. That's how you can turn it on and play it. It's pretty crazy. Eh? Yeah, there is a wild sim inside the sim. Yep, Inception. Video games on MFD would be amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> imagine, imagine like on a Tesla playing a video game on the screen. Uh, Delta 641 Heavy, uh, stand by, I'll have the frequency for you. Yeah, Delta 641, contact Toronto Center, 134.42. Oh, sorry about that. 3445, thanks. Okay. Air Canada, all right. 857 requesting breaking forces in five minutes. Okay, 857, yeah, let me know when you're back. Okay, I'll report back. How do I, um. We're back on the company, Lufthansa 8 7 Quebec. Lufthansa 8 7 Quebec, thanks. I think, how do I put distance? I guess. Maybe like this. Maybe like that. Yeah.
Yeah, not sure how to put the fixed distance, but <clears throat> it's ABM. Oh, slash 30. Okay, got it, got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Oleg, you're still here. Nice. Okay, so is it slash 30 here? Uh, I'd see it like... Or maybe, maybe here. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Nice. Appreciate it. To 30 nautical miles. Great. It's like a little bit of a gentle reminder for us. Thanks, Oleg. You're the best. By the way, stick out for landing, by the way, because we are going to be landing in 21... So 21.55. Yeah, that's that brings it to... Yeah, a bit less than two hours. So we're going to be in Toronto at 21.55 Zulu, so it is 20.08. So less than two hours now. So uh, top of the descent will be at uh, 21.20. So in a bit less than an hour, we're going to start. A bit, actually, a bit more than an hour, we're going to start our descent. So we're going to be starting our descent in one hour and 12 minutes. So it is, um, I know, like the, the last like hour and a half is like the longest one typically. So thanks for th thanks for sticking around, by the way. This is the busiest uh, event, and um, and yeah, and Ben is like, oh, look at Ben flexing. I arrive in one hour. <laughs> oh my God, point nine. I don't think we can go to the Mac nine, unfortunately. What's your call sign? Um, oh, for Ben's call sign? Yeah, it's he's. Um, Okay, let's see where Ben is. Contact Vancouver, uh, correction, Montreal Center now, 133.97. Port of 133.97, Air Canada 662, thanks for the service. Yeah. Okay, so there's Ben. It's not that far away from us, but yeah, so he's doing, oh my God, five in the 511 ground speed. That's crazy. Mac 1, yeah, you should do Mac 1. <laughs> I think you got a better wind, right? Wind's much better. So, yeah, there's Ben. And 262. Show the outside view for sure. There it is. Unfortunately, I, yeah, let me just, let me use this view right here. That's the outside view. There's our beautiful Air Canada 737-800. Oh, 288 at 30 is the wind where you are. Okay, let's see. 288 at 30. Yeah, it's pretty much similar to what we have right now. Very similar. Is there an event going on? Lima, Bravo, contact Montreal hmm. Center so, now. Uh, 128.775. So the reason there is an event here is because this airport right here, the the Luis Munoz Marin San Juan actually no this one um, that would be Princess Juliana um, in San Martin that's actually an event airport that's why that's why this uh, there, there's people flying here so I think they're flying to um, EJSJ and then, and then TNCM so both are the event um, airports 
Air Canada 227. I'm showing traffic at my 12 o'clock and uh, 100 feet below me. Uh, Joel, awesome. Yeah, you can, you can leave the stream open if you'd like. Miles, uh, same I'd be appreciated if you, left to right, be no if you leave the stream open. Roger. And uh, yeah. So be back in less than two hours because that's where we're going to be landing. But uh, have fun doing homework. That's awesome. I wish I, I wish I was in the times where I had to do homework. <laughs> oh man, enjoy this time. <laughs> Okay, we're getting some turbulence. Okay, flight entertainment. So far, we have 94% of people satisfied. Uh, let's see. Air Canada, 847, heavy back in cockpit, and we have traffic in sight, 10 miles. And uh, is it possible to let's get, get a what? drink request from flight attendants? Hey, uh, can we get something to drink up here? Air Canada, 857, no maintain flight level 400 zero, zero, and stay mock speed, please. That's the cool part about the back X, you can actually request. <laughs> okay. But if my mom sees me, I'll be flying up there with the plane. Oh, man. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Just don't, don't watch them. <laughs> we don't want you to get in trouble, man. No worries. <laughs> hmm. Tracking you on Vatastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. Patrick says, I was able to take a nap. I'm satisfied. Excellent. So, Patrick, get ready. We're going to be descending soon. So, we are good on fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, these, uh, this is not a default um, uh, sound pack. This is the... Um, FTCM Plus. I like this one better because it, it sounds a bit more raw. So I like that raw sound of um, of the of the engines on this. Yeah, I sir, one wing Rambo uh, one two eight seven seven five is ex expecting your call. Uh, Roger, I called the multiple times. Nomadic 44, I think I did not uh, yet uh, report back in cockpit, but now I'm back in cockpit. Nomadic 44, thank you. Top two, our folks are back in cockpit. Top two, bro, Fox, thanks. Patrick says, totally trust the plane, yeah. So it sounds better, right? Yeah, I, I love the, they get, just has that better, like, raw yeah, sound to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, step away for five minutes. Just just through, yeah, sounds realistic back. when you're flying in a, in a passenger seat. Roger. And Air Canada 857, climb flight level 430. 430, wow. Vina was like, you're not staying Mach 9, put the speed down to Mach 8, 9. <laughs> How mean. <laughs> wow, Mach 9 on the Dreamliner, that's crazy. So Joel says, I have to do 13 well, exercises. Perfect altitude, our just paste your stop here, let's uh, let's do the homework together. Let's just, let's do it. We'll help you. Okay, 57, what altitude do you want to fly at? Dennis no, is going to download good now. Yeah, you got to just uh, become a member of this guy. He's um, yeah, he's got this like 
membership thing for three three dollars. Something like that, yeah. It's got really good sound packs, but I think the CRJ sound pack is better from Boris Soundworks. Boris got the best one. You're in Spain. So Spanish homework. Oh, he's in Spanish. Yeah, oh, okay. Bravo. Contact Montreal Center now. One three three decimal nine seven. Hablar español. A two three driver just landed in Boston. Nice. Sorry, that six nine Bravo. Was that for me? It was six nine Bravo. One three three decimal nine seven. See it. How was his landing? One, three, three, seven, oh, two, about one were there, uh, like yeah, probably fa fantastic. He's, he's a great, great six, nine, Tango, Montreal Center, one, three, three, decimal, nine, seven. One, three, three, nine, seven. That's fantastic. Thanks so much. Thank you for making the event. See you later. Air Canada, two, two, seven. Also, one, three, three, decimal, nine, seven. Montreal Center. Have a good one. One, three, three, decimal, nine, seven. Uh, thank you, Stop. Have an awesome rest of day. Air Canada, two, two, seven. See you. Yes, there we go. There you go. That's Ben and Joshua. Just heard Montreal him. Center, hello. Sorry to bother you again. Ice Air, one Dimo Bravo. Si, sí, yo vivo en España. Hola, hablo español. Si. Yeah, I have one two eight decimal seven seven five for Montreal Center. Share a few screenshots on Discord. Iceland going to Toronto, by the way. I'm flying by Ryan today. Right. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta ask the Festa crew to uh, give me the the Ryan, Brian. Oh, so did you name him Ryan? I, I name him Brian. Brian. <laughs> I'll ask the, I'll ask them. They'll, they'll. Boston Dave in Facebook's asking, "How are you doing, Mr. Poiler? Doing really well." Doing really well. By the way, we're gonna recycle the Facebook stream once we're gonna start descending. So. Um, just watch out for those, for those guys watching on Facebook. Uh, we'll recycle that stream. Our Canada, Canada eight five seven requesting uh, normal speed. Yeah, our Canada eight five seven resume normal speed. Thank you, our Canada eight five seven resuming uh, resuming normal speed. If I fall asleep, call uh, Mayday for me. Yeah, I've landed one wing of Bravo. Oh, David Jones says, hi, I'm just trying to keep up the great work. Dave from Rex and yeah, Wales. Thanks so much, David. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, and saying hello. Wrong. My apologies. I pushed the wrong push to talk. I forgot he's Brian. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> Brian is good, too. He's, he's good, too. <laughs> did you update to Iraq? Absolutely. Oh, that's the first thing I did. So both for the charts. Well, charts are updated by default. But yeah, I got the Iraq cycle from from uh, Navigraph for sure. You know, it's typical for uh, Canada to change the IRX frequently, so we did that. We did that. So do you attach Navigraph data to your flight sim planes? Can I fly on one yeah, yeah. Bravo? I just spoke with uh, Montreal Center on 128.775, who has your tag and is awaiting your call. Um, contacting, uh, being in contact with other aircraft on that same frequency. So you just updated here, right? So there is, um, so you just updated okay. here and Drain. yeah, that's, Drain. that's how you do it. Navigraph hub. <gasps> you got cut. No, 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 no. It's no. still Montreal Center, yeah. Oh man. I hope you don't United fly it. United Heavy, Montreal Center, 133.97. One three three decimal nine seven United uh, three nine heavy coming today. United three nine, so that's um, oops, I'm not even looking at the right one. So there is United three nine. Okay, so we are not that close. We're on a. I, I sent some screenshot from flight. Oh, for sure, I'll I'll check it out. Oh man, Joel, feel bad for you, man. All right, here we go. Squawk seven seven zero zero patrol. No, no. 
I mean, I, I can't even imagine why you're still watching. Though that's, I guess, you got caught, but you're like sneaking it in. <laughs> I got a two five tango requesting two minutes off cockpit. You got a two five tango? Yeah, let me know when you're back. Let's see, yeah, we got uh, just a couple of aircraft on the TCAS. I'm gonna double check where they are. Yeah, I'm oh, there, there. And here we go. Nobody around us. Sorry, just switching views. Here we go. That's a better view. Charlotte Parker just followed us on Twitch. By the way, Charlotte, so make sure you check out the stream on YouTube. That's where the best quality is. It is uh, same Dot handle. Well, actually not same handle. It's the at flight streamer on YouTube. Dot com. Dot com. So. Two one zero Lima. Say your mock speed, please. How many uh, more hours left? Steven's asking. Eight, Steven, eight, see you. Uh, right, so we got uh, four hundred. Uh, uh, 335 nautical uh, miles away from our... Um, so we got one hour away, one hour, a bit less than one hour, 57 minutes until top of the descent. And 2155, so one hour and about 30 minutes until we land. So it is... Um, it's getting closer. So one, one hour and 30 minutes. Mock speed is decimal 860 for KLM 690. KLM 690, roger, thanks. So here we are. We're uh, approximating the handoff roughly at around here. So to Montreal Center and then to Toronto Center. And then, yeah, we're pretty much almost there, right? So we flew all the way from, of course, we did a bit of a deviation and we had to kind of go back like this. But otherwise, we're good. Steven, make sure to check out the YouTube stream because that's a better quality. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking around on Facebook, by the way. We're also restreaming to Facebook Gaming and Twitch. Twitch is kind of like, uh, because it cannot handle our quality of the stream because we're pushing about 9,000 kilobits per second. Uh, but Twitch cannot handle that quality, but YouTube can. That's where we're we're primarily on YouTube. Pneumatic 44 Montreal on 133.97. See it. 133.97. Nomadic 44. Thank you. Goodbye. You know what I wish YouTube uh, live streaming had? I wish they had like notion of raids so we could raid like new streamers and i wish we could get raided by other streamers as well that'd be nice you know that's something that you that facebook had and um you know before so and twitch i think has that too So 14,000 pounds of fuel. So the point of gram, we have 12.5 and then 8.6 by the time we reach Toronto. So Toronto altimeter currently is 3002. back in the cockpit. Here can two five tango, thanks. Or two. <laughs> Boston says, you're too classy for other platforms nowadays, way better than the original streams and the what not to do demonstrations. Oh man. <laughs> I think I had a lot of the what not to do happen on this stream, by the way. 
so we deviated from our from our route. So boilet uh, times. Okay, fifty-seven Roger. So okay, is, it, is it way better? I'm going to have you off to another controller in about 20 miles if you can just stay put for a bit. I was thinking of doing one to our flight with CRG. Nice. So you, you want to do it now? Um, I think you know what you should do. So Chicago is probably... Uh, you should probably fly the... You know, you should fly the same way. So I'd suggest... Go from uh, Washington, because they're gonna they're ex gonna expect a lot of arrivals. Go to Chicago. That's what I would I would recommend. Russia ninety one ninety Montreal Center now one three three decimal nine seven. Yeah, I guess you could you could do Cle uh, you know Cleveland. One two three nine seven. One zero. To New York, but I don't know if New York's gonna be online by the time you arrive. So it's best to go other way. <laughs> Ben's like, well, 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 yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It's best to go other way. Look at those beautiful Rockies. We're still overflying the, you know, First Nations territories right now. It's not a lot of, um, yeah, not a lot of cities around here, because it is it is colder and it's um, not a lot of agriculture friendly land in this uh, in this region so Dean's saying have a wonderful flight to Canada appreciate it thank you we're already overflying Canada and we're gonna be descending shortly to Toronto thanks so much for the wish okay not sure if those are real world routes I'm trying to make it real world yeah I usually do fictional routes because you know you never know right so Oscar says hopefully Toronto will stay oh I, it absolutely will stay online they have to uh, cater for us because there's still quite a few people uh, flying right so we are still on the schedule and we they will be online for sure there's still quite a few people right so there's um, oh Oscar oh yeah oh you're okay oh for your flight yeah there it is so Oscar, you're still on. Yeah, yeah, they'll 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 be online for you because you're not too far away from me. So yours yours Air Canada two five Tango. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll stay on for you. Yeah, you're Air Canada to Vatengo. Yeah, I see that. JFK Cleveland is good. Two yeah. Bravo Foxtrot. Contact Montreal Center now. One three three decimal nine seven. One three three decimal nine seven for Delta Two Bravo Foxtrot. Thanks. Have a great day. Okay. So that's Delta. So yeah, as as I've. Um, Indicated on my fix. Yeah, we should have that pop off happening shortly. They try to go fly and just call an emergency, they'll stay. <laughs> yep. By the way, Dave, I, I don't think the fails went away. They're, they're still happening. So that's why the stream is entertaining. Um. <laughs> We've had a couple of fails today already. Air Canada 857, contact Montreal Center now, 132.62. 132.62, RTL to Toronto, Montreal Center now, 132.62. So they're hopping off to 132.62. Montreal Center, 132.62. Yeah, that's not for us. 690, yeah. And that's not for us, so... 
Yeah, we're gonna be hopped off in any minute now. Sorry, we're talking on my problem. Did you say something for KLM 690? Yeah, KLM 690, contact Montreal Center now on 132.62. 132.62, one, two, one, two, one, two, so we're going to <laughs> Bales are always great, but old learning helicopter streams were classic. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> are you talking about the the four, Bell 407? The, is that the one? <laughs> yeah, we should do some helicopter flying. Oh man, the old streams. I looked. At, I I was watching the the, no, old, under, the very uh, first uh, streams that I did on Facebook Gaming. I was like, oh my god, what the hell was I doing? Yeah, let me know when you're back. Those were the cringies, cringy Let's streams. <laughs> Not that Let's these ones are. Seven, Quebec, contact Montreal Center now. One three four decimal eight five. You guys, your guys are the judges, you know. Oh, the national park. Oh yeah, that one was hilarious. Oh, you remember that one? Oh, that was. <laughs> then that was a while back. That was a long time ago. Wow, that was that was one of those first streams. I think. Uh, that was when King J13 gave us so many zeros out of, out of tens that uh, it was just... Okay, so Witty says, how's flight going? Step in a 915, contact Montreal Center now, 133.97. See ya. Over to Montreal Center at 133.97. Thanks so much, have a great night, and uh, thanks for the AT here, Canada 915. Okay, so there it is. Montreal Center, Bonne Journée, Air Canada 915, flight level 3, 7 0. Air Canada 915, Montreal Center, good afternoon. Perfect, Montreal time. We were at actually at Montreal, we, so we're just on the other frequencies, so they're going to hop us off to Toronto Center shortly. Um, let me see. Um, I'm not sure which one it would be. Montreal, hello. UPS 982 Heavy, flight level 360. UPS 982 Heavy, Montreal Center, good afternoon. Do your own stunts, yeah. Yeah, wait till we... Um, yeah, and that's for the crest. Should we go over to Toronto Center, look at the cargo plate, please? Negative. Flight's going well. Flight's going really well. We're going to be descending soon. Soon. Okay, so 350 until top of descent. So that's 21, uh, 2120. So in 50 minutes, we're going to start descending. You should do a stream doing some missions in the Chinook. Yeah. So I did the I did the Chinook stream um, for the uh, for the supporters, where we had we would hold a couple of trucks. But yeah, I'll definitely going to do some mission streams. Um, that's a good idea. I'll probably do it. All right, we're still in Northern Quebec. Montreal Center. About to cross Paper Ontario. One tango Mike, flight level 340. Beaver 1 Tango Mike, Montreal Center, good afternoon. KLM 258, heavy contact, Toronto Center, 134.425. Yes. Uh, please repeat Toronto Center, Montreal Center, good afternoon. KLM 258, heavy contact, Toronto Center, 134.425. No barrels. Toronto Center, 134.425. Yeah. So I went to I went to Vancouver. We're gonna fly to Chernobyl next Friday. Oh, you know what? We actually will. We let's do it. So that's uh, 26th is the next Friday. Okay. Zap six nine hmm. Tango. What's your current Mach number? Current Mach number is decimal eight zero. Do you guys do you guys United like the landing challenges streams? Do you guys those streams? Do you guys like those streams? Should Mach I should I do them do them again? 
Because I haven't done it in a long time. <laughs> I always thought that no one likes those streams, so I kind of stopped Montreal doing Center, good evening. Uh, ISAIR 525, flight level 380. Yeah. ISAIR 5, I think we should fly to Chernobyl Center, for sure. I, I'll, I can tell you all about my trip to Chernobyl as well. And maybe if I'll be able to, I might release that first episode of my trip to Chernobyl, actual trip to Chernobyl. So a, a lot of people have forgotten, and I know I haven't been doing, I haven't been releasing the videos, but... Um, Air Canada 915, what waypoint are you currently direct? Uh, direct ramp uh, this time. Okay, Cameron 915, did you happen to, uh, when you departed, get a root amendment? Um, we actually, I actually had a wrong route in, um, in this, in the Vatsim flight plan, so if possible, could I, could I message you the amended one? Yes, please, I would appreciate that, and I'll put that in. Roger, thank you so much, uh, we'll do that now, Air Canada 915. Okay, yeah, they're probably... Yeah, just, uh, keep flying direct ramp, and... Uh, then we'll figure what's going on. Roger, direct ramp, and I'll, I'll miss you the, the amended flight plan shortly. Contact Toronto Center 121 decimal 225. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the frequency for 262? 121 decimal 225, good day. Order 121 decimal 225, Air Canada 262, have you? Have a good one, thanks, sir. Delta 592, contact. Toronto, one three four decimal four two five. One three four decimal four two five. Delta five ninety two. Have you see Delta four two zero. Contact Toronto Center. One three four decimal four two five. Three four decimal four two five. Four two. Delta four two zero. Heavy. Thanks for the ATC. Good day, Center, Air Canada 5549 at flight level 340, kicking in. Air Canada 554 and Niners, Montreal Center, hello. Your yeah, flight to Vegas to Calgary. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Kiev is going to be offline, most likely, but we can do that some flight. Yep. Yeah. Oh, new, challenge, new landing challenges. But do you guys like the landing challenges? Yeah, on Friday it's going to be April 26th, so we're going to be flying to Chernobyl because it's going to be the anniversary of a Chernobyl catastrophe, so it's... Um, okay, 915, thanks for that. Uh, are you able flight level 380 now? Uh, Roger will be able to flight level 380 on Air Canada 905. Roger. 380, yes, so good. Montreal Center, good afternoon. Air Canada, 25 Tango, flight level 400. Air Canada 25 Tango, Heavy Montreal Center, good afternoon. Montreal Center, reliable 262, Heavy, flight level 400. North Star 262, Montreal Center, hello. Yeah, 200 nautical miles, top of the descent. Oh man. Rough Jet 9190, proceed direct. So we got, we got, um, I'm passing direct to Irkham, uh, Roger, 390. You know, 380. Yeah, Vegas is good that year. Montreal Center, reliable. I'm an ATC, thank you so much for subscribing, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard, Air Canada 915. Air Canada 915, proceed direct to Irkham. Proceed direct, Irkham, Air Canada 915, thanks. And who is checking in? Oh, I will check 87 checking in. Awesome, he's cutting cutting a route for us. Excellent. So this might give us a better Yeah, it's might give us a better routing. Excellent. This is definitely gonna give us a better 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 route. Delta 9673, what waypoint are you direct? Uh, let's see. Looks like we're about 125 miles northeast of Iron Mountain. 
okay, Anman says, what's wrong with my flight plan? Okay, so I, I screwed it up. I think I'm gonna make a video about it. I know it's a bit embarrassing, but I screwed it up. So, oh, by the way, 266 for me uh, for a top of descent. So the, the way I screwed this up is I was rushing it, and I put my so I put my route on on sim brief, and then I I um, I generated the flight plan, and then I went back to sim brief, and then I adjusted something. Then I forgot to paste that flight plan again. And then I filed the wrong flight plan. Well, you know, SimBrief automatically out. gives yeah, you the route. We'll you back, okay. So that's what okay, happened. And I didn't really check the oceanic uh, track. So my track was the, the track okay. Bravo. Okay. But it picked like the wrong track and yeah, then we were kind of off the off the track. And then obviously... Okay, okay. Traffic at 12 o'clock and 10 miles, the westbound Airbus A300, flight level 380. Oh, just traffic inside Air Canada 905. Montreal, Charlie, mate, three, Charlie, three, eight. Yeah, I see the traffic. Okay, mate, three, Charlie, Montreal, Center, hold. Montreal, Center, so it's uh, the same altitude. We're over in Toronto. Yeah. We're still supposed to be with you. Can you just say same as Carolina? I'm just going to find, yeah. United 408, uh, eight exactly. Firm, exactly. Rush is never a good idea. It's horrible. I know it's. I feel so bad about it, but it is. It happens to, to me at angle. least. <laughs> I know. Like I, I think I was the only one who flew different track. I, I think. But the funny thing is, because I filed my my route, I did not really get uh, any problems from the ATC up until I changed it. And then they were like, "Oh, you're deviating from your yeah. How many zero tentatives?" I think you're only that one, only the one that you missed the previously, but so far... Canada 227, contact Toronto Center 121, decimal 225. Toronto Center 121, decimal 225. I think everything else is good. Zero <laughs> hot 85, heavy contact Toronto Center 134, decimal 425. Over to Toronto Center 134, decimal 425, here Canada 915. Uh, negative. That was for Eddie Hod eight five. Contact. There you go. That's Toronto another zero ten. There it is. Four two five. What's the four two five? Four two five. Eight five. Eight five. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> KLM six one one Sierra. Contact Toronto Center one. That's another one. That's another one. One two four four two five. Oh man, look at that. So we got some traffic. Bye bye. Traffic at the same altitude. <laughs> There's another zero ten. Did I get that? Do you ban me? You should check. That's why I should check my Discord message. I, I said like we accidentally banned you for a second, for just a second. So now we're just testing and see if. Beeper you... one tango mic. Proceed direct to Perkham. Uh, say again, fix please. Beeper one tango mic. Proceed direct to Perkham. Direct Urkham for speed work, one tango mic. Oh yeah, I think they're they're giving Urkham for everyone now. Lufthansa Cargo so 383, heavy cut contact short. Toronto Center on uh, 134.425. So this is a 134.425. Zap six niner Bravo contact Toronto on one two one. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. One two one two two five. Zap six niner Bravo. Have a good night. United four zero eight contact Toronto one three four decimal four two five. There's Ben. Confirmed for the count of six five. So, or correction, that it should be United. Sorry, I was looking at a different plane. United 408, contact Toronto, 134.425. 134.425. United 408, yeah. Lufthansa. Yeah, we still got enough. We'll, we'll have enough. Toronto uh, on 134.425. So we will have uh, 8,000 8, pounds by the time we reach Toronto, so we're good. United 77, contact <laughs> Toronto, 134.425. Montreal, we 
United 162, Heavy Montreal, hello. United 787, contact Toronto Center, 134.425. <laughs> yeah, exactly, we're worried. He Six, just seven, left. One, three, four, four, <laughs> United 787, We're like, you can't get, we, we have to make sure King J3 is here, so he gives us zero to tens. Tom 794, Heavy Montreal Center, hello. Air Canada 554 five, and Niner, proceed direct to Perkham. KLM 611 is with you. I'm glad you got your phone message. Yeah, my FO is at my. Uh, 611, Montreal Center, hello. I say 525, proceed direct to Perkham. First officer, Pixie, the cat, the in laws right now. So I got no FO. Only the imaginary one right here. The AI one. So, top of the descent. We've got... Oh, look at that. 220 miles uh, top of the descent. Oh, Danielle, thanks for sharing the stream. Thank you so much. It'll, it'll, it will most likely crash one point with all this events. Oh, man. So, you, you think it's going to crash your, your client? Head Canada 5549er, proceed direct to Urkham. So, they're cutting everyone to Urkham, which is good. So... So that's that's uh, your Canada 5549. So we're gonna go direct to Urkham. So that's me. It's North Bay. Yeah, so the event is almost over. Yeah, so not a lot of traffic anymore. So we're we're like at the tail end of it. Arrowwest four five five. Toronto looks good. Do you want a higher mock number? Or are you okay at eight eight oh? Um, would like to go back to. Uh, so we're predicting eight eight. So let's just start calculating the. What's, Arrowwest uh, what's gonna four have. five five. Let's try mock point eight three four. That's again you are talking. Correct four five five mock point eight three. Eight three. So we'll do auto break three. Flaps thirty. Six nine. Air Canada 25 Tango, proceed direct to Urkham. Direct to Urkham, uh, Air Canada, up to Tango. So we'll add plus 5 here. Zap six niner tango contact. So expecting Toronto to exit Center, at hotel four two. Four two five. Take care. So that's five thousand feet. So one three four four two five. So at hotel two, that's where we're gonna probably exit. Hotel two or hotel four. So arrival gate, they'll 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 tell us. They'll tell us. They they they'll know. They this is where we don't need to plan for for requesting one. They'll they'll let us know what gate we're gonna. Air do. West uh, four five five. Four five five Mach point eight four approved. My to four five five. That's kind of Here's Lake Air BTB. We're in Northern Ontario now, so. Six one three. Sorry, what what is your request? That's Lake Give me Give me on the right hand side. Go ahead, let me know when you're back. 
<laughs> Ben's got direct to his way ahead. Yeah, where he is. I, I noticed that. Ben and Josh are probably laughing at us right now. North Star 687. 108 nautical Lock miles. Uh, so we're getting closer. So that's good. So I'm going to recycle the... Um, the stream on Facebook. Six, eight, seven. Are you able mock point seven nine? Just Once we're ready to send. Sure, we can do mock point seven nine. Thank you. United three nine heavy contact Toronto Center one three four decimal four two five today. 134 decimal 425 United 399 Air West 455 proceed direct to Urca. Uh, There's the TD. We can already see it. There we go. Top of the descent point. We're going to start descending. And oh my god, that was took a while. Took a while. I think you got it. So 21.16. So that, that makes sense. Thanks. And if I could get 22 you to mock point eight zero for now. 22 just minutes until the same. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, we'll start reducing my tank. That's, there that's Good afternoon, Postman for Whiskey Flight. We don't have the turbulence anymore. Postman for Whiskey, Montreal Center. Hello. Postman. Hello. What's what what? Um, Montreal Center, Clipper four one four. What call sign is that? Whiskey Flight Level three five zero. Clipper four one four. Heavy Montreal Center. Hello. Atlanta 390 heavy, Montreal Center, hello. Clipper 414, uh, when you're ready to send flight level 340. When ready, we'll just send down to 340 for Clipper 414. Actually, sorry, are you able to flight level 360 now? Oh, well, Tiago, I got your... Um, hey, firm, I can't do 360. Uh, previous control, I had a I got your photo. For, you should uh, put it in... Um, traffic ahead. Oh, DHL? Oh, is it? 414 heavy uh, should be okay. Awesome. Climb flight level 360. To know. Up to 360. If you guys want me to repost your photos, Montreal tag me on Instagram okay. and a story, and I'll repost your story. On the 24 Kilo Yankee, Montreal. No holding, Center. no hold. We're not gonna hold. No. Nope. KLM 613, Mach that's point not the, 81. That's not the plan. And and I anticipated that too, right? So. So no holding. <laughs> KLM no, 613, yep. Mach point 81. No man, no, no holding. Mach take one, Mach one, Otherwise, we'll be in trouble for the fuel. We'll declare an emergency and we'll just Center say. 687, Mach nope. point 78. Mark 7, 8, 11, 6, 87. KLM 611, just wondering what will my next frequency be? KLM 611, your next frequency is going to be 134425. So, no holding. I don't think I've seen the hold. <laughs> 7700, seven, don't want to be on hold, so I right need to do that. Right to that, 134, decimal 45, yeah, 611, my next frequency. Yeah, I don't see, like, there's no reason for anyone to hold. So we got 24 left, 24 right, then we have the 23, right? So, not really any reason for anyone to go on hold. So Ben's here, 5 to, so look how fast Ben is going. Five to seven. So we're at four six. Oh well. Nomadic uh, four four descend flight level three eight zero. Descending level three eight zero. <laughs> French <Nomadic> baguette. <laughs> There's some number here. French baguette uh, two two three. <laughs> That's a 
there's baguette and that's in real life. and in real life baguette <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> that's a cool cool call sign for sure baguette Rust Jet 9190, contact Toronto Center 121, decimal 225. 121, 225, uh, 65 TV, show the best. Rust Jet 9190. ETS 982, heavy contact Toronto Center 121, decimal 225. 121, decimal 225 for UPS 982, heavy. Who's that Air Western? Canada 25 Tango, heavy, what's your current Mach number? Uh, current flying up Mach 0.85. Oh, there's Oscar. Canada 25 Tango, Roger, Roger. Roger. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> fly Mach 0.80 for now. Uh, fly Mach 0.80 back on uh, to five, uh, Tango Heavy. Also talking to the office for good. Felix, hello. Yeah, he's doing a great job. The controllers are doing a fantastic job today. Oh, yeah, it's we're almost done. Almost done. Ugh. Yeah, my favorite airlines. French baguette. FBT, the Icaco. Oh, interesting. FBT. You know what? Let's let's fly the French baguette sometime. I I, I love it. <laughs> Arrow West uh, four five five Mach point eight zero. Uh, let me just do something. Hey, can we get an attendance to the cockpit? Nomadic 4-4, four, four, contact Toronto Center, 134.425. No All right, awesome. So, I need to quickly do a... 134.425. Bye, break. I'll be back. Just one sec. Condor 7-9 Tango, slow tree, 9-0, Swift, you hello. Condor 7-9 Tango, back I'm back so there it is all right Marcus is asking what plane what specs okay so specs specs let's start with the specs specs are here so I'll just paste it to the well I just typed the command so we're flying the 737 800 uh, we are flying just gonna give you a little bit of a status update right Canada now the 915 contact Toronto Center 121 decimal 225 Over to Toronto Center, 121 decimal 225. Thanks so much for your help and have a great night. It's a great job tonight. Okay. okay, I'm 83 Charlie Heavy. Uh, what's your current Mach number? Sorry, one second, 121. Okay, I'm 83 Charlie, currently cruising Mach 0.89. Uh, 225. Thanks. KLM 613, what's your desired Mach? All right, excellent. So let's just check in with him. Toronto Center, good evening, Air Canada 915, flight level 380, max 79. Air Canada 915, good evening. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is what we're doing. So we just crossed, um, partially crossed the Atlantic today. There it is. Um, flew over Greenland. Did a bit of a diversion here because I screwed up my track. And now we're... We're in Toronto Center now, just just uh, to, to them. We're getting there. We're going to be descending roughly around here. 
and then we're going to be uh, flying the box from 7 arrival, runway 23. We've got about 11,000 pounds of fuel right now, so we should be at 8,000 pounds by the time we reach the destination. So stick around for landing, we should be, um, should be relatively soon. So our top of the descent is at, uh, is in 100 nautical miles. And that means we're going to be sending in 18 minutes, roughly 18 minutes. So once again, welcome aboard for those who just joined and enjoy the views. We're getting there. That's right. ASF just said it. We are getting there. So there's a whole bunch of towns, uh, First Nation towns, of course. Uh, it's quite typical for Northern Ontario. Um, we're going to be passing North Bay soon. That's going to be on our left, uh, left side. And just quickly going to check the weather in Toronto, what's happening with the weather. Yeah, Tufts are good now. So meets are, we're reporting winds 290, 17, gusting 28. So it is going to be a windy landing. That's good. And yeah, winds are going to die down at uh, 20, 24. And from 3 to uh, zero, zero, Zulu, it's going to be uh, 208. So it is going to be all right. Oh man, SB says just pulled into the gates. Uh, 131 Toronto, fine approaching, 24 left, excellent, great stream. See ya, man. See ya, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, and yeah, Ben just started his descent, so that's good. And we've got about 89 uh, nautical miles to go. So 12 minutes until descent for us. We'll let them know that we're ready shortly. Center, speed bird, one tender mic, flight level 340. Speed bird, one tango mic, Charles Center, good day. Ben and Josh are like, are like a rocket speeding so fast. But they're going to slow down too. <laughs> Now that you know, now that you're you're descending, so it's still doing 527. We're doing like 460. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Thanks Toronto so much Center, for... Toronto good evening. I say 525, flight level 380. I say 525, Toronto Center, good evening. Do you prefer 787 or A350? Well, um, we didn't really have A350 yet for MSFS, though. But I would lo I would prefer A350 over 787. If, if we had a really good A350, I would just... That will fly A315. I'm more inclined towards Airbus. So, so I'd say A315. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. So, top of the descent. So we got 38,000. First position is good. What plane are we flying? We're flying this this one right here, 787-800. We're kind of, you know, pretending like it's max with the with the winglets, but yeah, it's the 737-800. And 
And we're also pretending like it's ETOP to certify it today. So we're expecting runway 23. And we've already done our calculations. So let's say let's say if we do the speed break. So auto break two. Let's calculate that. Okay, so auto break two will give us six thousand. Yeah, I'll probably do three. Peachy W roll says LOL. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost in Toronto. So here's our arrival, box my arrival. And I'm also gonna select the approach. Yeah, Air Canada 800 looks so cursed. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a fictional one. I know it's like Air Canada flies the maxes, but we don't have a max in flight sim, so we're pretending, pretending like it's a max. It's a it's 800. It's a fictional livery, but we do have a performance package, so we've got some aerodynamically modified lights and so on. So it gives us a little bit be better performance. All right, anyway, so what do we have? So one, 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 this one, five. Yeah, let's start setting that, setting that. Let's anticipate two, three. But that can change any, any time, right? So that's one, 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 this one, five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna also Pin the two four left, two four right, just in case, just in case we need to change it. So, so two four left. Very good afternoon, Canada. Two five Tango Heavy. We are at. Uh, Flight level 400, right. maintaining those, max just uh, in case. Again, okay, the 2-5 Tango Toronto Center, good uh, evening, sir. New speed restriction for you, decimal 7-8. Roger, uh, decimal 7-8. Well, Let's just select tango. our minimums right now, it's going to get busier. So we're going to do 808 for the minimums. Might as well start prepping. It's right. It's always better to prep and then double check. So around the center from that four five five. But then it's four feet. So it's fair west four five five. Upper center good evening, sir. Stay current mark. Okay, elevation is five six nine. We got uh, Mr. Approach. And Arrow West. Climb one one five five. Um, speed restriction for it. One thousand one hundred heading two three seven. Climb right. Uh, turn two thousand seven inbound. Uh, Toronto V O R radio two eight seven to Ig dots. So there it is. There's the eek dots. So that's what the hope that we're not going to do any go around. Two thousand two four kilo Yankee flight level three eight zero. Two thousand two four kilo Yankee Toronto Center. One 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 five. One 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 five. So that's good. Perfect. That's pretty much it. Ladder eight two contact. Final course fix three thousand. Glide slope at nineteen seven zero. So that's actually, no, that's the final approach fix right here. Glide slow. Or wait, no, Calvi is going to be on final approach fix, and then I'll talk. That's where the glide slope is going to be captured. That's good. Let's keep our star. Here come. We need to be at 250 at Duos. UPS 982 Heavy is back and in the concrete. Above 8,000 at 220, then 210 at taxi. Welcome back, and you can contact uh, next channel center frequency 125775. Yeah. Uh, contact Toronto 125775, I believe, for UPS 982. 
That's correct. Started your descent. Nice. Awesome. So 31 nautical miles. We're going to be descending in four minutes. That's four minutes. We'll uh, let them know they're ready to descend. Oh, Aviation Ben's already about to land. Oh, wow. Ben's so fast. Okay, let's see where Ben is. I'm gonna double check where Ben is. Here we go. Uh, rest jet uh, 9190, contact channel center 125775. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. Ben, you're so close. Nice. Yeah, we're getting there. We're actually really close. Can wait for the max. Oh yeah, we can totally do uh, some real Air Canada ops for sure. That would be nice. Once Max is here, we'll definitely do it. Okay. Go so three zero zero two. Uh, we'll double check Tron altimeter once again. Uh, it is three zero zero two. Got it. Let's quickly double check the ATIS. So A is information Bravo, we've got uh, actually never mind. Information Sierra 28012 gusting 19. Yeah, winds have died down already. 15 such miles visibility broken 5000. Temperature 8, 2 point minus 2, altimeter 3002. ILS 23 and 24 left. Simultaneous person effect. Yeah, right after I think uh, they're gonna release Max after triple sevens um, um, variants. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start descent. And thanks so much for flying with us today on this awesome event. And I hope you're going to enjoy the landing. It's going to get busy. So not as busy as like it used to be. I know I remember <laughs> it was much busier across the pond. It looks like uh, we got some some good sequencing. Paul saying Adam says every time I get a VATSIM, I get terrified. No reason well, since I got it on stress trying to get back. Oh man, don't be terrified. Don't worry. Like I screwed up many times and you just, well, in the remarks, just put that you're new to VATSIM or you're, you know, just put like you're not comfortable and they'll, they'll accommodate you. The controllers are usually quite good. You know, it's, everyone's been there. It's, it's, you'll be fine. Just keep on doing it. You know, I remember my first time I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So you'll be fine. So, um, so yeah, just, 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 just do it. <laughs> like the Nike commercial. Okay. So I think, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just recycle the Facebook stream. Frayne, hello, says my favorite captain. No, thanks so much. Hello once again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your support and welcome Frayne. I hope you're going to enjoy the, the landing. Land ahoy! That's right. Okay, so restarting the Facebook. And Toronto Center, good afternoon. Postman for Ski Photo 360. I'm gonna quickly just. And Postman for Whiskey, uh, Toronto Center, good evening. Good evening. Toronto Center, Clipper 414 Heavy with you, flight level 360. Clipper 414, Toronto Center, good evening. Just uh, adjusting the Facebook stream. Uh, Clipper 414, say indicated mark. Clipper 414, mark 0.83. Clipper 414, speed restriction for you at decimal 80 for spacing. 0 0.80 for spacing, Clipper 414. Air 
Canada 915, Toronto Center, 125775, CM. Over to Toronto Center, one two five seven seven five. See ya. Thanks so much. Uh, good day. Uh, okay, nine one five. Two five seven seven five. Seven seven five. Okay, and we are ready to descend now. Toronto Center, hello, Air Canada nine one five. Uh, flight level three eight zero, ready to descend. Canada 915, Toronto Center, good evening. It's runway 23 for you. The altimeter 3002, ATIS Romeo, descend flight level 240. Roger, runway 23, ATIS Romeo, descend uh, 240 for Air Canada. Uh, 915, expect runway 23. Sure. Toronto Center, Speedbird 1 Tango Mike, flight level 340. Seabird, one tango mic, Toronto Center, good evening. It's the runway at 23 for you, altimeter 3002, it is Romeo. Nice. Okay, ready to land. Runway 23, it is Romeo, altimeter 3002. Get us 915, uh, what's your indicator? Sorry, what will be your mock number uh, in the center? Awesome, get your customs forms. Awesome, get your customs forms. And there's the, where's the moon? <laughs> So I will explain the oceanic clearance in just a sec. So, wow, look at that dive right now. Jeez. Okay, 915, what's your plan to mock number in the descent? Uh, we'll do a 755 and then uh, on, converge, on conversion uh, to an Okay, 915, roger, thank you. The over uh, one tango, Mike, uh, reduce the, uh, sorry, mock decimal 75 uh, until advised. Speed to decimal 75, speed mark one tango, Mike. Disclaimer, so. mock decimal 75. So. Yeah, mock decimal 75. UPS 982, contact uh, arrival, or correction, contact uh, Minneapolis Center on frequency 134, or correction, 132.42. Yeah, so Oceanic Clearance. All right, over to Minneapolis. Uh, you 132.42. need to use the NAT track. There's a NAT track website. Or, uh, well, you do need to do Oceanic Clearance because we're flying from Keflavik, Iceland. Good evening. ICF 525, but, uh, uh, you typically do the Oceanic Clearance through Frequent NAT track. Uh, 4136, contact Cleveland, or sorry, just stand by. We keep saying Minneapolis. Is there like a new state of Indiana or something? Bruh. <laughs> I'm tired. A fantastic job. All right, so threes. We're descending. Now we could probably put the seal belts, seat belts on. We had a little bit of a dive there. I did miss the top of the sensor there. There we go. So now we're we're descending and we're about to arrive. I'm gonna put it on Insta right now. Center uh, Speedbird One Tail Mike, uh, top of descent in 20 miles. One second, Mike Roger, descend uh, flight level 240. What's your plan to uh, mock number in this descent? Uh, mock point seven seven. Speed bird, one second, Mike. One second, Mike Roger. Uh, in the descent, mock decimal seven five. Descent speed, mock decimal seven five. And I can descend to flight level, say again. It'll be flight level 240. I'm not sure why it's not two four zero. Seven five. Speed one thing on mic. Well, we'll do... Canada 915. Uh, in the uh, transition, it'll just be uh, 290 knots or greater. Uh, say again for Canada 905. Two. Okay, that's uh, 915. Uh, in the descent, uh, or sorry, in the transition there, it'll be uh, speed 290 knots or greater. Roger, 290 knots or greater in transition there, Canada 915. Yes, yeah, so we get to do... 290, yeah, I'm not sure why. Okay, there we go. 290. 
Yeah, we'll, uh... Yeah, I'm already too tired, so <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Okay, so there it is, we have speed. 290. Zero, one Tango Mike, uh, in the transition, it'll be speed uh, 290 knots. So we got 290 zero. In the transition, speed 290 knots. We're speed bird, one Tango Mike. Front to front, sir. Very good afternoon. Uh, Canada 25 Tango Heavy. We're at uh, flight level 400, max decimal 78. You have control. Kansas, uh, 25 Tango, Toronto Center. Good evening. It's only uh, 2 3 for you. The altimeter 3002 and data Sierra. 2 3. Let's double check everything. Runway 2 3 and uh, 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 two information three. Sierra for uh, Canada 25 Tango. Okay. So one four three. So that's one four seven. Air West uh, four five five. Toronto Center, Roger. You can land runway two three. Runway two three. Air West four five five. Toronto Center. Uh, I say five two five. Flight level three eight zero. Is there five two five? Toronto Center. Good evening. Ada Sierra. Plan runway two three. Plan for two three, and we'll get Sierra. I say five two five. Air Canada 915, continue descent 10,000, Toronto altimeter 3002. 10,000, uh, 10,000, Air Canada 915, uh, we get the ADCR, Air Canada 915. Roger. So 10,000. Perfect. Toronto Sendo, good day, Lufthansa 24 Kilo Yankee, flight level 380. Lufthansa 24 Kilo Yankee, Toronto Sendo, Roger. Joel, I think you, you just got to do it. We're about to land, so yeah. <laughs> You're good. Speed break. Good. So. Once we're past. I say 525. Five, ready for this. We're going to do. Okay, so five, five, star. So we got. Two four zero. ILS, I say five, two, five. Laps 30. And 41 and 36. Contact. Breaks three. Single engine gates. Cleveland Center. One one nine. Red to nine. Final sector. Yes. Over Cleveland. 41 36. We've got the MDA. We've got 808. And then we have the Mr. Bridge altitude is 3000. And final fix. On approach fix. Yeah, we can we can probably refer to the um, to the light slope. There we go. So that's nine one nine seven zero. It's nine seven zero. Okay, we'll run the brief shortly. It's a really fast, good, and nice. And five two five in the transition. Speed two nine zero miles. Two nine zero at the transition. Uh, I say five two five. Again, it's uh, two five Tango. When you're ready to send a flight level two four zero. All right, so we're getting ready. Welcome aboard, Air Canada M5. We're getting ready to land. Finally, we flew Air all the way. Two five Tango. When you're ready to send a flight level two. All the way from Iceland, and now we're descending to Toronto. Stick around for landing, should be fun. So thanks so much once again, and uh, I'll go to stereo cockpit shortly. This is going to be busy. Okay, so altitude pre-select. So we've got get ten one zero ten thousand uh, pressurization checked. We're fine landing altitude. So we got five five zero. That's good. Landing data is obtained. We got the VRF at. Uh, one four three plus five, so we got one four seven. This is gonna be a uh, windy landing. Auto break three set. We got minimums uh, eight zero eight and have, uh, ADF radios are set. So we've got the localizer frequency on both. So one 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 decimal five. Double check that the we've got the localized frequency here, and now we can go back to the to the star. Four five five hundred and seven flight one two four zero. There it is. We're at point of Ikram right here. So we're essentially maintaining what we're um if you were, uh, one take a mic uh we're just to speak now uh two eight zero not to line. Speak to two eight zero not on left. Let's speed we're one take a mic. One take a mic roger they said one zero thousand Toronto altimeter three zero zero two. On the ground, nice. <laughs> Ben's on the ground now. Ben's gonna watch our landing. 
That's awesome. Down to 100,000, um, ultimate 3002, speed bar one Yeah, I think it's time, yep, it's time to do the seat belts. Seat belts are on, that's good. Say again, uh, speed two keep for speed bar one thing uh, there it is. I actually fly the diamond all around this lake, so the real plane. So I fly, fly the. Marked. Thank you so much for 200 stars. Oh, thank you so much for the stars. I haven't, I haven't even received stars in so long. So thank you so much for the 200 stars, Mart. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So FPV, I recycle the streams. Uh, so I'm just doing, doing another one. So I did the three parts. Mike, uh, vectors for the sequence turn right heading two one zero. One eight eighteen thousand. So we got three zero zero two sets. Let's go ahead and do that now. Three zero zero two. Uh, let's do the. I have control. You have control. Okay. So let's do the descent. Actually, let's do. Uh, let's do the approach briefing. Stand by. Stand by. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So let's do the brief. Are you ready for the approach brief? Okay. The arrival routine will be via the ATC assigned star, comply with all published speeds and altitude restrictions. For an ILS approach, planning a flaps 30 landing, final approach fixed altitude is 1,900 feet. Decision altitude is 808 feet. This approach altitude is 3,000 feet. Taxi routine will be assigned American by ATC. We'll be arriving at 8. Center. Then speeds and navigation radio is set and returns have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, concerns? No questions. Approach brief complete. Roger, one, two, five, eight, two. I have control. You have control. Okay, descent checklist. Descent checklist. Have a good day. Pressurization. Landing altitude is five, five, zero feet. Recall, check, auto brake, level three, landing data. VREF, one, four, three, minimum eight, zero, eight, feet. VREF, one, four, three, Resume public speed there, can I know five feet. Approach briefing. Here, one second, Mike, uh, reduce speed now to six. Uh, or actually two five zero. completed. Listen to checklist complete. Okay. So we'll two probably five do two zero five now. Speed we're one thing, Mike. So descent to five. Two five. Wait, 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 what just happened? Did you guys see what happened? I cleared... Just, it cleared all my, all my legs. Oh, man, look at that. Did you see that? I hear 525, reduce speed to 270. Did you guys see that? 270, I said 525. It cleared... 525, Roger, and you can descend... It cleared, uh, it cleared all of my... Did you see that bug? Uh, one zero thousand on three zero zero oh my two. God. I say five two five. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. Did you see that? Manual land if you got this. No, no, no. one second. You were done. What? Take a mic. Thanks for the help. Uh, direct box. Okay. Yeah, let's do this again. I don't know why it got Staying reset, in. but we'll just what, take a mic, uh, do this. Direct box in the box up, and uh, you can resume the publish. Seven two three. You say direct box on museum published speed. speed. It's really it's screwed it up. That's okay, we got it. We got this. We got this. Okay, so. There it goes. Uh, two five uh, tango. Descent one zero thousand. Tron altimeter three zero zero two. And uh, reduce the speed uh, in yeah. the set 20 transition. There uh, we go. Speed, uh, two seven zero. So did you see that bug? Did you see that bug? So we fixed it quickly. Oh my god, that's crazy. That that was crazy. That was a crazy bug. I didn't okay, so two five, yeah. That was a crazy bug. <laughs> that's a, that's gonna be a really good uh that's gonna be a really good really good reel, by the way. Toronto Center Clipper four one four with you flat level three six zero. There it is. Clipper four one four Toronto Center Roger. But we we fixed it quickly. No panic. Oh man, my heart dropped for sure. That's crazy. That was the crazy bug.
One two four four seven. There, Canon nine one five. Yeah, one thing is to fly the plane. Four Air seven. Air five two five. Resume uh, public speed. Public speed. I say five two five. Tron arrival. Hello, Air Canada nine two five one one eleven thousand. Sending ten thousand. Okay, now five arrival. Runway two three to send eight thousand. Send eight thousand. Runway two three. Air Canada nine one five. Oh man, this was that was not good. Well, okay, so uh, got the DCL two five then two two. Uh, let's let's actually do the two two zero. Canadian four two zero proceed direct to Calvi and send the five thousand. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start the. Yeah, Correct. watch direct. Calvi and down to five thousand Canadian four two zero. Yeah, did you see that bug? <laughs> that was a crazy bug. Everything just erased from FMS, so we needed to quickly, quickly act. So when you do, when you, when this happens, just don't panic. Uh, just, just redo this. If you ever had this happen, like redo the route. Just keep flying the plane. If anything, just ask for vectors. If, if you can't do it, but we can. So let's just double check. So we've got the one one five. We got at least we got the. Frequency set. Okay, here we go. So eight two two zero. It's Kevin crew prepare for landing. Yeah, you guys saw that, eh? Keep okay, camera crew prepare for landing. Ten thousand. Okay, approach checklist. Approach checklist. Altimeters. Three zero zero two set. Three zero zero two set. Approach checklist complete. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was kind of anticipating for this for something like this to happen, so I had to act quickly. But my heart, 10, like, I was like, "What the hell is this?" Okay, ten thousand uh, lights. Uh, Australian six from here, Bravo, to send five thousand. Five thousand. Okay, four two zero to send three thousand via Calvi cleared Alice two three. Down to three thousand and cleared via uh, Alice two three via Calvi Canadian four two zero. Okay, four two zero rider speed two zero zero knots or greater until advised. Okay, so our VREF is yeah, uh, one for seven. One for seven. Toronto approach, Speedbird, one thing on mic. Okay, one thing on mic, arrivals, runway 23, descend 8,000. 8,000, Speedbird, one thing on mic. That's good. Lost rate 6, Romeo Bravo, disregard. Rushjet 9190, speed 200. Speed 200, Rushjet 9190. 1,000 is too level. All right, so two two zero two one zero at tax Tasku two one zero. Rush at nine one nine zero to send six thousand. I'm listening to six thousand. Rush at nine one nine zero. Australian six from your brother to send to four thousand. Four thousand. Just call one eight seven. At Austrian Station, we're about to confirm you are set for the ILS 23 now. We reconfigured for runway 23, how to for Very good, thank you. I think everything's going good so far. Austrian Station, we're about to fly heading 060, speed 200. 060, 200, how to send six for Austrian 9190 to send to 5000. I'm just saying 5,000, so just in one and zero. Okay, 915 to send 6,000. Ground approaching him. Send 6,000, Air Canada 915. Straight uh, 6, Romeo Bravo, turn right, heading 140. 140, Austrian 6 from Bravo, descend to 3000. 3000, Austrian 6 from. Pressure 9190, descend to 4000. I'm descending 4000, for just an Runway 23. 
Canadian Sports, two zero speed one seven zero knots, are greater to Omtok at Omtok contact tower one one eight decimal seven. One seventy or greater to on talk and then on talk contact tower. Uh, sorry, can I get the frequency again? One one eight seven at on talk. One one eight seven at on talk for Canadian four two zero. Thank you. Uh, straight six from Bravo heading two one zero with our set localizer cleared ILS two three. Two one eight seven. We're going to speeding as well. Uh, two three. Uh, two three. Actually, cleared ILS approach way two three. Yes, I just want to ask you at two one zero. Ratchet 9190, speed 190 zero knots. 1,000 to 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 Flaps one now. Flaps one set. Austrian six round Bravo, you've gone through the localizer. Just wanted to start. To I wanted to start the. Um, we're gonna slow down to two zero zero now. Speed one tank alike to send six thousand. Six thousand speed one tank alike. Press it nine one nine zero. Turn right heading one three zero. To the right, one three zero, which is one nine one nine zero. It's a bit turbulent here in Toronto. There's everyone landing. Oh, gotcha. Good, good point. Good point. Nine one nine zero heading one seven zero now. One seven zero, which is one nine zero. Speedbird one tango mic to send to five thousand. Not to 5,000 speed or one thing. Fly the deck. Okay, thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this the sim's not gonna crash. I really hope so. I'm gonna save the final state. Fresh at 9190, okay, heading 210, intercept localizer, just <laughs> 3,000. That was, that was funny. Okay. I think 180 and 3 for localizer, just at 190, you're heading 210 and oh, Hopefully we'll butter it. Yeah, this pressure is on now. About thousands to level. Thousand to level? Yeah. So I already started recording now. Just started now. So it is gonna just gonna be a little bit of a slowdown, but that's fine. Uh, straight six from your Bravo speed one seven zero knots to greater to on talk. At on talk contact tower one one eight decimal seven. There we go. Thousands. This fine. Uh, Trent six from your Bravo. Speed one seven zero knot. I do think one seven zero knot. Sorry. Trent six from Bravo. Roger at on talk. Contact tower one one eight decimal seven. And on talk one one eight decimal seven knot. Something wrong with us. Speed one tango like speed two zero zero knot. Speed to zero zero knots for speed of one thing like. Key for a thousand. We're good. Yeah. Renty, we're. I'm. We are in. Uh, we're on YouTube right now. <laughs> so I do, I, I do read the, the Facebook comments, but. Not as often, but yeah, you haven't been here for a long time, yeah, for yeah, sure. Canada 915, turn right heading 140. Turn right heading 140, Canada 915. 140. Toronto, arrive, West 455, uh, 12,000. West 455, arrivals, uh, runway 23, descend to 9,000. Runway 23, descend to 9,000, the rest 455. It's your 525, turn left, direct to Davik, descend to 6,000. Uh, left to Davik and down to 6,000, I'd say 525. Sure, crash jet 9190, contact tower 118.7. Uh, tower 118.7, contact tower 119.7, which is 9090, we should go back. Bye. Ok, 
Okay, 915, descend to 3000, speed 190 knots. Okay, 915, descend to 3000, speed 190. 3000, 190 knots, Rekana 915. Speed bird 1, Tango Mike, descend to 5000. 5000, speed bird 1, Tango Mike. All right. Sterile cockpit here. We're about to land. Okay, 915 heading 220. We're intercept. Clear down LS2 for correction. Clear down LS23. 220 to intercept. Clear down LS23. Okay, 915. Get ready. One tank alike. Descend to 4000. Good. 4000 for speed rate. One tank alike. 2500. Radio altimeter. Okay, 525. Descend to 5000. 5000. I say 525. Air at 455, speed 220 knots, descend to 8000. 220 knots, 8000, air at 455. Arrival is good uh, evening, I can add 25 Tango Heavy, uh, flight level 100. Okay, 25 Tango Heavy arrivals, runway 23, descend to 8000. Runway 23, descend to 8000, I can add 25 Tango. Speedway 1 Tango Mike, turn right heading 180. That's 5. That's 5. Right 180, speed speedway 1 Tango Mike. Flaps 5, set. Air West 455, descend to 6000. 6000. Air West 455. Speedboard 1, Tango Mike, continue to turn all the way around, heading 210. Descend to 3000. Clear to ILS approach, runway 23. Heading 210, turn to 3000. Clear to ILS approach, uh, runway 23. Speedboard 1, Tango Mike. Air Canada 915, speed 170 knots to Omtok. At Omtok, contact tower 118.7. Speed 170, Omtok, uh, and then at Omtok, contact tower 187. Uh, thanks so much, Air Canada 915. Air West 455, turn left, direct to Davik. Direct to Davik, Air West 455. Air 525, speed 200 knots, then descend to 4000. 200 zero zero and then down to 4,000, I say 525. Alright, we'll localize here, almost at the glide slope. Probably 1265. Stand by. There was four okay, five five to four down. Speed check, speed break up, we are down. After 525, turn right heading 140. You're down. 140 and down to 3000, I say 525. Blops 15, set. Okay, 25 Tango, turn left, direct to Davik, descend to 6000. You're almost at Dontag. I turn left, direct to, uh... Could you repeat the direct to, back in the dark, 25 Tango. Direct to Davik. Direct to Davik and, uh, 6000, back in the dark, 25 Tango, I think. Tower, hello, Air Canada 915, file S23. Canada 915, Toronto Tower, good day, the wind 280 at 12, gusting 19, clear to land runway 23. Clear to land runway 23, Air Canada 915. Flaps 30. Flaps 30. Speed checked. Brush at 9190, welcome to Toronto, exit left when able, contact ground 121 decimal 65. Brush at 990, please confirm to us because we want to know the relation of him. 
One. Engine started to cheese. Sorry, where are you parking? Out of I just wanted to generate an area like uh, uh, near the Juliet, so Continuous. I'm uh, located to the right. Okay, not a problem. Exit right on Juliet Is 2, stable. contact ground yeah, 12 on decimal 65. Yeah, uh, just a bit of a... 1 to 1, there's more 6 cycles, that's a 1... Uh, bit of a windy condition, we have 2, 9, 8 so at 17, we get some Thanks gusty winds. Take care. Manning the flying now. And we're keeping some testing ground, because it's a 1, 1, 0. Oh my god, this thing is so annoying. Sorry, say again. Notifications. Stay again. And we're keeping some testing ground, 9, 1, 1, 0. Have a good day. Just a bit of a crosswind, is correct. Here we go. Four oh, landing gear. Down. Flaps. Approaching minimums. Approaching minimums. Flaps 30, green light. Landing checklist complete. Cleared. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. Continue. There we go. Just a bit gusty. 100. 50. 30. 20. 10. There we go. Speed brake armed. Speed brake up. Speed brake up. Very bad system. Speed brake Yeah, probably exit a Hotel 4, I think that's what we anticipated. There we go, for Hotel 4. Six Welcome to Toronto, everybody. And there we go, the local time is 5.49. Turn the ground, speedbird 1, Tango Mike, on the ILS runway 23. Yeah, just gotta get, yeah, to get a vacate, vacate. Speedbird 1, Tango Mike, Toronto Tower, good day, the wind 280 at 12, gusting 19 knots, clear to land, runway 23. Awesome. Clear to land, uh, clear to land, um, runway 23. <laughs> that's that's one thing. Yeah, that's the first one. Canada 915, welcome to Toronto, exit left, uh, contact ground 121, decimal 65. Uh, Roger, over to ground 1165, thanks so much, good night, sir, Canada 95. Key grounds. We're not, uh, for Canada 74. We're not done yet, we got a, <laughs> we got a taxi and we're gonna watch the replay, so thank you so much for tuning in. And once again, welcome to Toronto. Hope you enjoyed the landing and I'm gonna vacate Hotel 2. Ground Hilaria Canada 915. Hope vacated at Hotel 2. Air Canada 915 Toronto Ground. Welcome to Pearson Taxi Hotel Bravo. Ultra Tango. Cross 15 right and 15 left. Roger Taxi to Hotel Bravo Ultra Tango. Across uh, okay, runway 15 right and 15 left. So Air Canada 905. Canadian uh, 420, right turn on Echo Yankee, stand 525, good day. Oh, right on to Echo Short Yankee, tango. stand 525 for Canadian 420, thank you very much, have a great evening. You as well. Alright, nice lighting out, thank you. Once again, welcome to Toronto, and we're just taxiing to, to the gate now. We'll see what the gate assignments will be. Oh geez, that was a bit of a stressful landing because um, I had a bit of a failure initially with an FMS, but yeah. Look at the wool was sheep. <laughs> yeah, we did have a bit of a crosswind too. So we cleared to cross 15 right and 15 left. And we're going to turn right on Bravo and we're going to hold short tango. Whew. Oh, that was, a, that was a fun approach. Toronto, good afternoon there, Canada 766. We're uh, Charlie 30 with Sierra looking for IFR to Boston. Air Canada, I can't wait Toronto, until we get the 777. That's, that's going to be awesome. Departure. And I, sorry, I missed uh, some of your comments, so I'm going to read them in a, in a bit. Every time, I, right every time I land, seven, you know, it's, six, uh, six. it's always sterile, so I, Boston, I miss your comments. I'll, I'll check them in a bit. Transition, flight plan route. Departure 24 right 7066, Air Canada 766. Air Canada 766, feedback is correct. Push start, contact 8 grid 122 decimal 275. 22275 for uh, push and start, thanks, Air Canada 766. 
two on the ground, uh, Speedbird, one Tango Mike on the ground. Speedbird, one Tango Mike, turn on the ground, welcome to Pearson, taxi, terminal 3, so via Hotel speed. Bravo, hold for the Alpha Tango, cross one five right on the five left. Alright, so we got uh, EPUs running, that's good. Okay, uh, taxi to terminal three. Via so hotel don't go away. We're gonna watch the replay. Uh, so Tango, don't don't uh, exit the, the stream. Place. We're gonna we're gonna park and we're gonna watch the replay. See right how well we did. If we did well, we'll see. <laughs> And then cross one five right, then one five left. Speedboard, one tango mic. I'm going to Philly tomorrow, yeah, lucky. 7045, contact Toronto Tower, 118 decimal 7, good day. 18 Sonar, Canada 7045, good day. Yeah, we're at 12165, unfortunately, so we can't say hi to, to, uh, to Cyrus. Yeah, we're at, uh, we're at the north ground, unfortunately, 12165. Very realistic, by the way. It's the same thing, same way it's, it is in Pearson. There it is. You're all probably excited after this long flight. Like, oh, just let me out of here. I need to go to my gate. And uh, since you are flying from Iceland, you're gonna you're gonna probably use the new RIF Can app, or you're gonna use one of those scanning machines. So we don't we no longer have these paper forms that you need to fill out. So there's Tango. Yeah, we're going to Terminal 1 because it's Air Canada, so... We're going to see what gate they're going to assign us. Yeah, I think we need a stable triple seven. So I'm actually glad that PMDG did not release the triple seven. <laughs> did you see that? Like that's a very stable aircraft, okay? Like this one. And when I changed my speed on descent, it just crashed the whole uh, flight plan. So the flight plan got erased, right? So I had to, I had to put a new one. So. Oh, absolutely. Good evening. I said five two five. Two three. We have. Uh, we still have eight thousand pounds to go. Eight, eight and a half thousand pounds. So we, we had enough fuel. So that was good. In terms of fuel management. Yep. One short of Tango. Contact ground. One two one decimal niner. One two one niner. Okay. South grounds. One two one. on Tango. One two one decimal niner. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna talk to uh, to Cyrus. Ground, good evening, I said 525, just fake 823. I said 525, Toronto Ground, welcome to Pearson, taxi, terminal 3, hotel, Bravo, hold short, Alpha Tango, cross 15 right. F15 oh, Joel says best live ever, at least for me. Oh man, that was, that was terrifying. Terminal 3. <laughs> I was terrified with this Sorry, bug the happened, again? like, oh my god, this but I better not break everything else. I said 525, yep, that's not a problem. Taxi, yeah, it was fun. Hotel, I think it was a fun flight. Bravo. Ultra Regardless of the little hiccups here and there, right, and uh, I think it was it was a fun flight. Uh, hotel Bravo, we'll debrief hold as well. So, Alpha Tango, you know. cross one five right and one five left. Uh, I say five two five. Yes, yeah, so he's holding short Tango as well. Josh is happy flying. I have to go, but your it was fun. Good night. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks, thanks for flying with us. Yeah, you and Ben uh, rocked it tonight. That was awesome. His were fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. The incidents made things exciting. Oh, okay. So should we do some more some some like failures? I guess. Those were not scripted, by the way. It's it's the toilet thing, you know. Just 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 so, just so you know. 
I always have something happen to the, something breaks all the time in the stream. So I guess that's why it's fun, right? Maybe. Air Canada one nine or five contact ground one two one decimal nine. Or two uh, ground one two one nine. Thanks so much, Air Canada nine one five. As far as Delta Echo and Echo Bravo, UPS two seventy six. Thanks. Houston Grand, hello, Air Canada 915, uh, Bravo holding short, Tango, hey, sorry. Air Canada 915, Toronto on Tower, or question Toronto on Ground, hello. Uh, let's see, make a, make a left turn onto Alpha Lima and contact Apron 122.27. Roger, left on Alpha Lima, then Apron 122.27. Thanks so much, Air Canada 915. One to two. Uh, we got so we got apron. It's really cool, right? It's just like real world. It's incredible. It's one two two seven two seven two seven two seven. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll remain on this frequency, and then we're gonna go into apron, and then we'll get the assigned gates. See ya. Now we're gonna watch the replay of the landing. So if anyone was wondering how we did, uh, we're gonna watch the replay. But we have to disconnect from that, some otherwise we can get banned for that. So we have to wait until we fully park, debrief, and then we're gonna watch the replay before we say our final goodbyes. But yeah, uh, awesome. All right. So now that we are turning left, we're gonna go into apron. Apron, good evening, Air Canada 915, we're at Alpha Lima. Uh, Air Canada 915, looks like you're going to be the last person I'm controlling tonight. You're going to uh, gate 153 and then uh, lane 7, uh, gate 153. Wow, that's awesome. 153, lane 7 uh, for Air Canada 915, thank you. Gate 153. Good evening, Air Canada. Are we, are we last, last, last ones to come? That's amazing. Okay, so gate 1553. And lane seven. Okay, so that's there you go. Okay, let's show it. One, okay, one fifty-three. And uh, anybody in Pearson, be advised, uh, all of Toronto's going offline. Uh, you can all monitor to come one. Wow, we were last. That's amazing. Thanks so much. Uh, great job tonight. Uh, thanks for your help in AC. Yeah, can another thing. See ya. All right, excellent. So they're all going offline. That's good. That's a good sign. So that's one five three. So we were actually last ones to be serviced. That's amazing. That was good timing. Otherwise, they would have just went offline. So it is exactly six p.m. here in Toronto. So that was really good timing for us. I think it was incredible timing. I'm I'm actually happy because if we were one minute later, we probably would never have gotten to the to the um, uh, to the to the apron frequency. It's one five three. So wait, are we doing one five three? Let me see. Let me see. One five three. No, that was one five three. Change facility to one five three. Be great. I want to make sure I know where it is exactly. So let's. That's this one. Okay, perfect. That was his butter, nice. By the way, QRH, BMG, 737, but it's fine for MSFS. Yeah. Let's see. Pretty much everything is a failure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Q 
Okay, there's the gate 153. So we're gonna park personal marshal. Yeah, Thank you for the ATC. Bye bye. All right, that was a good cross the pond. Wow. Surprisingly, of course, with some failures, but you know, it is what it is. So once again, don't go away. We're gonna watch the, the way we landed. Maybe end up in a in a reel. Who knows? Oh, are you on your on my right? Oh, excellent! Nice. There's there's Eugene. Awesome. Sweet. You fly I Iceland there, and that's nice. There's the Eugene. Okay, now we gotta do a good parking job. Let's do it. All right. I bet you're quite sore. <laughs> Oh, it kind of feels like, oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's mixed feelings, right? It was, it was fun. It was fun with you guys. Okay, well, and they got off. Oh, no, Oscar, no. So Oscar was still with us. Okay, we're going to just... Stop momentarily. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Zero, zero. Excellence. Excellence. So, parking brakes on. Lights and doors. Lights and doors. Check. Can we go with this arm doors and cut check? Okay, perfect. So, we've got... Oh... There's that sweet sound of a shutdown. There it is. All right, let's get the gate connected. So we're gonna request the boarding first. Woohoo, there it is. There it is. Of course, we're gonna do the shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Fuel pumps off, probe heat off, hydraulic panel set, flaps. The flaps retracted. Up. Parking brake. All right, so parking brake set. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Cut off. Weather radar. Uh, weather radar is off. 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 Shutdown checklist complete. Awesome. Ooh, we're here. Nice. We did this. Yeah, let's request the ground power because, you know, it is what it is. We gotta get the ground power power connected. Uh, so we're gonna so we're gonna do two things right now. So we're gonna debrief. And then we're gonna watch the replay. So if you want to see how well we did on the landing, uh, we're gonna do just that. So for that, don't go away. Uh, but let's let's quickly debrief. So wow, so many things have happened, uh, but we did arrive alive. You know, it it was a uh, it was not the the perfect. I'd say the perfect cross the pond. It was the the start was good. The middle part was meh, and then the landing the the approach was. Oh my god, what the hell just happened, right, with a bug. And then, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go and talk about it. Okay, so, so, strobe lights. Uh, is it? Do we? Oh, <gasps> that's right. Yeah, the FO didn't do anything. So, it's off now. Okay, it's off now. It's off, it's off, it's off. <laughs> Mr. Fame's like, what the hell, your strobe lights? Yeah, strobe lights is off. And uh, I usually let FO do that. But I trust my FO way too much. <laughs> And I think, yeah, I think the, the yeah, all the all the other lights are off. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the briefing. All right. So, what did we do today? So we flew um, all the way from from Keflavik, from Iceland, right? So we flew from Iceland. So um, Iceland was wasn't usually. Oh, you glad you weren't the only one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm too tired. I like I'm telling you, I'm 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 done. <laughs> we have a toast. So, we flew from Iceland all the way to Toronto. So this was one of the one of the um, one of the <laughs> one of the uh, origins to our destination, right? So there were, I think there was London. There's there even uh, Saint Petersburg right here. Um, out of all those, right? So I think I don't think Copenhagen was on, but uh, actually I think. Cop Copenhagen was one of them. So anyways, it was just a whole bunch of cities. I know Amsterdam was on it. A whole bunch of cities. 
of course, going to different destinations. So we picked the, the shorter one, but we picked the slow plane. So that's why it didn't really take us that fast. So what happened there? So we did the... Um, uh, the What is it? Yeah, it was runway one niner. So it was a nice, uh, nice departure. So I think we did... Uh, which departure did we do? Because I... That was... Um, I think it was Dallas, Dallas to Charlie, I believe. That was it. Yeah, that was Dallas to Charlie. So we did that departure. And then what happened was, when I got into my first point, I screwed up and went into a completely wrong um, track, Oceania track. So this is why. Uh, let me tell you why. It was my mistake. So whenever you're using uh, Simbrief, double check the route that, that the cross the pond gives you so they give you a specific route so i pasted that route but on the sim brief i had to actually go back and re um you know regenerate the flight and what it did it is erased my original flight plan the one that i pasted and it put its own so whatever sim brief thought was better so they completely screwed up my track well i i screwed it up not sim brief but i should have double checked and because it was rushing through everything because we we were right on 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 a, on a takeoff right so we we pushed back at exact time. We were we took off at exact time. It was at fifteen thirty six. But I didn't double check the waypoints. That was my my mistake. And you know, I think it's good to learn that. And you know, whenever you guys we're gonna do in the next uh, across the pond, I'm actually gonna fix that. So we we went back in the track here. Um, so we had a we had a little bit of a funky uh, you know turns around here in Greenland. So I guess you you got to see Greenland a bit a little bit. So that was the that was the mistake, right? And then and then we got back back on track, and then they just kind of told us yeah to go direct to Ketla, and then we had to tell them to fix our flight plan because so they fixed it for us here, and then uh, Montreal Center also helped me out to fix the. The flight plan because I I filed the incorrect flight plan, not the one that CTP gave us. So yeah, actually it was a good idea through entire months just before the push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good idea to 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 do that. So please go through your FMS setup and cross check your your routes. Now, uh, the overall flight was pretty smooth, you know. So we didn't really get any any like really bad red flags. But the only problem that I had, and you've seen it. Uh, roughly about here, when I changed the speed on the descent forecast, what happened was my whole route got erased from FMS. The whole thing got erased. So a good thing is I'm used to these types of bugs. So quick resolution was, you know, so what it did is uh, it, it basically erased everything. So what you do is, you, if you are on an approach, so what it is, I typed in the Toronto Air Pearson Airport, right? So... Well, it should work. Anyways, it, it did it did work at the time. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working now. So, it should work now. So let's let's do it. So where is that? So yeah, it did work. Anyways, and then I selected my arrival right away. So that kind of recycled everything. So everything else was okay. So uh, my speeds, my performance was not affected. It's just the route got erased. So that was that was something that I had to do really quickly. Now, if you're unable to do that with your airplane, so what you do is you just request vectors. Just say, you know what, problem with my FMS? Request vectors. Take the take the manual control over 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 it. Let's say bringing wrong that track was pretty terrible <laughs> red flag. Yeah. So in real life, of course, uh, you know we're flying virtually, right? So of course it's all about having fun. So you know in real life, yes, I would probably uh, be fired from Air Canada for this. But in real life, they would call me immediately, right? So just because, you know, this is an event and we didn't really cause any problems for anyone and we were nicely sequenced out, um, you know, we actually flew our own VIP track. We didn't cause any problems. So if we did cause any problems, then I'd, I'd call this a red flag. So this was not a red flag. <laughs> it, was, it was a yellow flag, okay? And overall, I think it was it was good. Uh, oh, by the way, King, did you see that problem with the uh, on the approach? You should you should rewind to that when it when it was raised. That was funny. I think it was funny. Uh, my heart just stopped for a second. I'm like, what the hell do I do now? 
So yeah, then we had a nice uh, nice approach to only 2-3. So everything that was anticipated, thank God they didn't sidestep us to 2-4 to left or 2-4 right. You know, typically that's when wrong things happen. But if you're ready for something, you know, anticipate for it to happen, you just want to kind of just do it, right? But yeah, anyways, it was uh, it was a bit... Uh, I mean, I usually, I'm usually very calm, but honestly, this approach for some reason was very... Um, very unusual. It was it was a bit uh, nerve wracking because I'm like, I better not screw this up, okay? Like I know I screwed a couple of things. But yeah, and Microsoft Flight Sim still has this bug, by the way. This this one that you have to turn your head. Here it is. Anyways, all right. So let's uh, go ahead and do the um, the replays. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that. Well, first of all, I'm gonna stop the recording. So I've been recording the whole time. Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the, first of all, disconnect from Vatsim. Then I'm gonna go and save that, load that state. So let's load it up. So if this actions, um, so no, that's BMG setup. So state panel load. We're gonna load it. Uh, we saved it as landing. Yeah. Okay, so let's, um, There it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, load this situation and we're going to watch the replay. Let's watch that replay. So now we're going to teleport back to where we were. And it's weird one. Oh, yeah. You, I would have talked to you. That's right, Mr. Flame. That's right. Thank you so much, by the way, for staying on. Um, you know, this was, this was fun. Okay, so we're going to teleport into the... Uh, whoa, 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 to the, to the replay. So there's the replay. Oh, look at this bug. So <laughs> the replay bug, the, 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 the front landing gears. Yeah, anyways, the replay is not always like the, you know, it's not always the best. But here it is. Okay, there's the la landing gear down. All right, so here we go. There's the crosswind landing. We're crabbing a little bit. So there's that crosswind landing. We are crabbing into the wind. A bit gusty. Just fighting with the gusts. Color screen says, missed the stream. Oh no. Oh no. And here we go. I'm actually gonna get rid of Fest Realistic right now. There it is, moment of truth. That was not that bad, right? For for the gusty crosswind. to the wind and that was it that was good landing awesome I I'm glad you liked it so let's watch it from the passenger side I think we're gonna probably do this no let's do uh, this view right here from this angle It's funny how replay kind of just exaggerates on the on the, <laughs> the speed breaks. It's usually not the case. But let's see how it looks from the. Yeah, just a bit of a float. Yeah, it was a bit of a float. Not too much. But given the fact that it was gusty, right? It's it's inevitable that you'll float. Break up. Yeah, we need the G's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably buy it. Yeah, I'll probably buy it. Yeah, let me see uh, with this view how that's gonna look. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it now. 
Okay, you can see the wing flex, right? So it, it, due to the wind conditions, the wing flex is there. So it was gusting, I think gusting 18. So we were catching those gusts with a, with a bit of a crosswind. So there, there was a bit of a crab angle there. The famous runway 23, that's where you typically go and uh, watch the planes land. Let's do a couple more angles. I'm just gonna record this for the for the reel. Just so that uh Let's record this for the reel. You can see the gusts kicking us around. So there, bus go out. <laughs> yeah, I think that was good. Yeah. Maybe just one more angle like that. So I just, just wanna, once again, this is more for for the reels. into the wind. There we go. Yeah, welcome to Toronto once again. All right, awesome. All right, so this is it. And uh, yeah, we had to we had to apply the the thrust here because the auto brake kind of worked not in our favor. Anyways, thanks so much, everyone. You are a fantastic crew. Uh, appreciate the Mart Franco sending 200 stars. And of course, Eugene for sending a ridiculously huge donation of around 34 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. I would like to say huge thank you for everyone who flew with us today. Uh, of course, uh, you know, Eugene flew with us on offline. We have Ben, we have Josh, we have a whole bunch of folks that flew with us on Cross the Ponds. Uh, and of course, huge thank you to our wonderful controllers uh, that's some controllers for accommodating all the way through to the Pearson uh, and to all of you guys for sticking around all your amazing comments and, and you know that was fun I, I was that was all fun as always that's why I do this it's all because of you guys and thank you for, so much for supporting me you know sitting in the stream for me all the way through uh, like ASF aviation for example and <laughs> Ben and Eugene you guys are incredible thank you so much and thanks to all the monthly supporters as well. You guys are incredible. And all of you guys are awesome. Anyways, once again, welcome to Toronto. And uh, I'll see you soon. We will do the Chernobyl stream on April 26th. That's next Friday. And before that, we might squeeze in a couple of streams here and there. But that was it. Uh, I'm going to go have some have dinner. <laughs> so that's it. Amazing stream, amazing event, amazing community. Absolutely. The community is incredible. Thanks for doing all this. And... Uh, Huge thank you to Vatsim once again. Vatsim is insanely awesome for doing this for free. All those amazing controllers that did it today. There were over 3,200 people connected on to the network. 
over 1,000 pilots that threw, uh, that flew with us, over 200 controllers. And uh, yeah, this is a great hobby. And uh, it's all about aviation, it's all about you guys. And Tom says, as always, thanks for sharing a hobby with us. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for your support. All right, and with that, I'd like to, yeah, end the stream. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right, so see ya. Thank you.